Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Let's start this game. Hello? <laughs> my, uh, my, my, <laughs> my microphone button is broken. The lights button works. That's so weird, dude. My microphone button is broken. Sorry about that, chat. And the thing is, I did a really good job singing this week. Normally, you can tell it's kind of bad. What is, of course, of course. Huh, that's so weird. Yeah, my micro, for some reason, my microphone, every other button works, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, no. Why does this work? but none of the other buttons work. Y'all heard that, right? <laughs> All right, I mean, honestly, I'll just have to I'll just have to figure that out some other day. <laughs> honestly, uh that's that's a that's a problem for another day. Some of my buttons work, some of them don't. So I might accidentally forget to not mute myself when I'm singing my song. Apologies for that. Blame Firefox. I would love to blame Firefox, but this appears to be a stream, a stream deck issue. Here we go. Here we go. Are you talking to it? Are you talking? Yeah, that's a that's a stream deck issue, bro. Reboot it. It doesn't reboot. That thing that thing never closes. I never turn it on. I never turn it off. It's just always on. Stream deck. Always on. Can I accidentally play the Happy Monday song again? No, I only have the tolerance to hear it once per stream. I can't imagine what this poor audience feels like. Play it for Dak. Who are we talking? Dak who? Thief 2, thanks for being a 10-monther. Hey Kyle, looking forward to Pal World today? I think you missed some art from last week. Maybe check spam. I will do that, but I'm also thinking that you're lying to me because the first thing is, obviously, uh, there will be no Pal World today. There never has been any Pal World. I have never shown interest in streaming Pal World. Ooh. Yeah, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you send art to the art show, you gotta put something in the body of the email or else uh, Google will presume it's just spam. If you if you send me an attachment and then nothing else, Google's gonna assume, oh, that's that's no good. Especially if the video file is... Well, I mean, I'm not going to ruin it for you. Let's find out together. All right, so I got a video this week that was not vetted. When we get to the art, when we get to the art show, I, I got a new piece. Of, I got a new piece of art that has not been vetted. We're going to watch it together for the first time. Please don't let me forget about that. Yeah, and we did drop some frames. I see those too. Um, honestly, we probably dropped those frames because I downloaded a video. <laughs> we like that's probably because I had to just download somebody's video that they sp sent to my spam folder. Um, I think we're good now. I'm seeing a consistent frame right now.
malware. If you saw the title of this video, it looks like uh, malware. Wait, no Pal World? Yeah, j and just to triple confirm, it's not an April Fool's joke. There, I'm not streaming Pal World today. I'm being genuinely serious with you. I'm not going to stream any Pal World. Do you have a button for a sound that you've never used but are waiting for the right time to press it? No. Um, sorry, there was a brand new sub I saw earlier. Uh, GDTY, did we get to you? Thanks for being a 44 monther. Um... Yeah, let me catch up on that. There was a, it was like before I even went live. Pop up mops. I love that name. Thank you for being a brand new sus subscriber. Appreciate that. Pop up mops. I'm um. I uh you know I don't I don't like tell you when I'm feeling sick. I don't tell you when I'm feeling tired or upset. But I like a, this is a warning to you. Uh, it's just like I feel like so uh allergetic today so like you know we'll be doing this a lot where oh my buttons don't work we'll be doing this a lot where i like go and blow my nose with the cameras off stuff like that yeah i'm feeling allergized bro i refuse to believe we've heard every sound clip i have loaded up was i can't even like i can't even fucking press my buttons anymore You've heard that one. World. You've heard that one. Oh, I want to get away. I gotta get away, get away. We don't play that one enough. <laughs> that one we don't play enough. You can get allergy food for your cat that helps you be less allergic. Now it's not cat cat allergies. It's like if you live in the south, like it just like uh, there's just like this fucking yellow dust, an inch of it that just appears. Um, and honestly, I should be more accurate. I should just say that like uh, it because it is ridiculous to see for yourself. Just like your windshield just gets gets covered with yellow dust. Um, that happens in Vegas too. Yeah, it's crazy. Just pollen all over. Yeah, pollen all over. Bees are probably like fucking losing their minds the bees probably love this shit but in the meantime like me no i don't i don't love the i don't love the pollen getaway missed a play of similar roles mm, yeah i feel like getaway has to like really be like a true failure like we've lost all of our lives and that was really my last chance to beat that boss oops i missed a play that's just like that's just a nice little So my question would be, uh, when I lost to Raphael, because I didn't realize one of my party members has the ability to revive everybody all at once, would that be a getaway or an oops? Honeybee populations are at an all-time high, apparently. Tetris, do you have a source for that? Oh no, in there too. And on top of all that, there is. Yeah, I guess I got a few buttons that really serve the same purpose. Yeah, do we have do we have a, a source on the honeybees? I thought I thought I thought they were at an all time low. I hope I my um the last script I ever wrote in college, my senior year project. Uh, was about the honeybees dying and that indicating the end of the world. They were, but we fixed it. That's so cool. I've never heard of that before. Can you believe like we there's like a world ending event that like humanity actually fixed? Report. USB farms are buzzing. There could be a record number of bee farms in the US right now. All right, Chad, I do feel like you told me there are more bees now than ever, and we're really stretching it. Unusually high hive losses in the early 2000s. This is why I wrote that whole script. 
ignited fears that the domesticated western honeybee, an integral part of the world's food system, was headed for widespread population collapse from pesticide, climate change, and invasive mites. But recent data from... Hey, why don't I just show you as well? But recent data from the Department of Agriculture suggests that domesticated honeybees colonies are making a comeback. Fair enough. Chad, I love this shit. Thank you. This is uh, Axios, by the way. Can I get a happy birthday for it being my birthday today? 32! And my body feels like an old lady already! Happy birthday, Mimi Moonbeam. Now, do you mean it feels like an old lady in a bad way, or in a good way? Because some old ladies... You get what I mean? Um, let me tell you what's happening on the Discord this week. <laughs> don't, chat, don't let me near your grandmother. <laughs> I mean, that's a good bit. That's a good one. <laughs> don't let me near your grandmother. Um... Valeyard, congrats on turning 47. Don't say rest in peace. 47 is still young. Um, Thursday, Digimon Card Club, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I'm not sure what's going on in this image. Woojack, you might have to explain this one. I finished Yakuza? Yeah, we, uh, we did uh, midnight spoilers for that on Saturday night, actually. This, to me, looks like some, like, gross rookie Digimon doing a conga line with itself. It's a joke just for me, really. It's based on a card game lingo in the current Digimon meta. Oh, okay. So that is, it is what that is. <laughs> it is what it looks like. Uh, Gunpla Building. That'll be Sunday, 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Time. Um. That's a backlog. I did see that everyone was posting their backlogs on the Discord. Um, I got a backlog of one right now, and it makes, like, this makes you feel better about your situation. Can I be honest with you? I think... Some of these Gundams will never be assembled. <laughs> this is Wheels Backlog. Got it. Yeah, I got a, I got a feeling that like some of these will just like, just like I've got that win, one weird um uh Spectrobes game that always is on the bottom of the docket. Uh, that's this. I feel the same about some of these Gundams. They're always going to be on the bottom of this huge stack of backlogged Gundams, and that's okay. You're right, and that's okay. All right, so let me go grab my coffee, which I'm honestly quite desperate for today. Uh, and then uh, we can start the art show. Should we start it with our mystery video or end it with our mystery video? I think end. I think we should save it for last. That puts the stakes on at the highest. Dealer's choice. Well, that'd be me. There we go. We're back, baby. Ooh. Had to uh, try and out 
trying out something new today. Uh, Yeti. Trying out a Yeti. I was road tripping uh, with my dad yesterday. We went to Charlotte to see the uh, Charlotte Hornets attempt to play basketball against the Los Angeles Clippers. And, as expected, they embarrassingly failed, but they did, like, a pretty good job. Um, it's just so crazy to me to, like, go to Charlotte for the first time. Um, and, like, see this city where they, like, they actually like the Hornets. Unironically. <laughs> They have they have this basketball team that has only ever let them down. Um and they like they love that team. Love them to death. Did everyone have fun? Yeah. It's funny, uh, we were about to walk in and my dad says, uh, you excited? And I go, Yeah. He goes, You don't seem excited. Why aren't you acting excited? And it's like, you know, it's like, how do, how do I, how do I, how do I, how do I explain here in year 38? This like the depths of my depression. <laughs> all, all, all I just said, all I just said is like, you know, I'm just like, I'm a hard to excite. <laughs> I'm not going to be bouncing around to go see the, the Hornets and the Clippers. I'm having a great time. I'm happy to be here, but you know, I got a, I got a ceiling. I got a ceiling. Uh, Lord Beard, the guy, thanks for being a six mother. Can I get an oh no for no reason? So the value drops and I can buy it at a lower price. Unfortunately, I cannot do that. That would be manipulating the market. Uh, subjectively good. Thank you for being a 16 month or hey, Kyle and chat. Thanks for the good streams and vibes. If anyone's interested, I have edited a compilation compilation of Kyle's siphon filter streams, I think it turned out pretty well. All right, so unfortunately, I mean, this is like, this is me explore add-ons. I have not yet installed my uh, ad blocker. Um, this is just me today, right? Where I like, I have to make sure chat's not fucking around with some prank <laughs> for every click or every link that I click. This is, in fact, a two-hour edit of highlights from my playthrough of Siphon Filter. Can we get a taste? Yeah, I would like a taste. I would like a taste myself. This little. Nine, eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Burn it all. But what about the serum? Leave nothing. Now I would. Oh, that's my man. Too far away. He's got a flak jacket. Shit. Leon. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I would love to do a taser only run, but I feel like flak jacket means that the taser can't hurt them. That's how you learn. Flak jacket does in fact mean, past Kyle, that the taser can't hurt them. Yeah, go ahead and drop that link in chat again. Those are fun playthroughs. Are Hornets or Bobcats a better basketball team name? Hornets is a great basketball team name. They had a great mascot in the 90s that they keep fucking with for some dumb reason. Um, I think it's just... Uh, you know what? I think the color scheme needs like a third color. Right now it is blue and purple. Um, they need a third. And honestly, I think it's like hot pink. I think it's like hot pink or like a hot yellow. I think they need a third color. And that would basically probably get them to the playoffs. Until then, the organization is keep going to keep letting that poor city down. Did I like them when they were the Bobcats? Wasn't aware of them. I was like, I was only aware of the Hornets as like, in like this like 90s like media hype of like, the, here's a hot new team, look at their cool logo. I really associate it closely like with like the Jaguars popping up. 
Jaguars and Panthers were like the same season of NFL. And it's like, look how cool these like logos are, dude. These are modern teams. Modern color schemes. Did I like Muggsy Bogues? Now my only exposure to Muggsy Bogues is of course Space Jam. In which case, yeah, I fucking love Muggsy Bogues. <laughs> what food did I eat at the game? Another excellent question. Now, chat can probably answer this question because I've been asked before what f kind of food I like to eat at a stadium. And I could only think of two. And I only had one. Yeah, popcorn and chicken tenders. And all I, all I had was popcorn. <laughs> Just a big fucking tub of popcorn and it was so good. Loved that. Loved that tub. Ever thought about setting the stream to art category for the art show? Not a bad idea. However, I don't think the art category is for when a streamer is sitting by and appreciating art. I think if somebody is clicking on that category, they expect to see somebody creating art. And so I wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? If, we, if, we're, just, if we're just going to the Louvre.com and like clicking on paintings, I would not put us in the art category. And it would, it would crash the art, ma art market as well. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it'd be fucked up. Mucho's here. You're here, right? All right, good. Let's look at the Nottingham Panthers. You know what? This is a good logo. All right, so this is a, this is a British hockey team. However... This is very close to a U.S. fireworks company. <laughs> so it's not an entirely, like to me, like I would not be able to tell the difference between this and the fireworks company, Panther. Or an Ed Hardy shirt, yeah. So not a bad logo, definitely not. Black Cat Fireworks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, uh, let's pull that up real quick. Black Cat Fireworks. Excellent memory chat. Well, I gotta be honest with you. It's not at all like how I remembered it. <laughs> In my mind, this shares the same space as this. A similar color scheme, perhaps, but the cats are not the same. <laughs> Cass, no, thanks for being a 39 mother. Didn't realize you were a fireworks company enthusiast. Interesting factoid. Well, I mean, I've, I've clearly failed you on the enthusiasm I have for black cat fireworks. Same idea, different execution. No doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So somebody pointed at this fireworks cat and said, like, give me this times five. Gotcha. Gotcha. And now it's a logo. Black Cat misses the fact that cats put their ears down when mad. It's important detail. You're right. A cat doesn't come at you like this. <laughs> Comes at you like this. Excellent point. Excellent point. You're right. You know, that's, a, that's actually, that's a detail that's actually like visually striking too. I feel like some evolutionary part of you also like steps back a second when you see this. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's part of your brain. There's part of your DNA. The memory in your DNA is like, oh fuck, I should back up. That cat's mad. <laughs> But ears are harder to read from the front. If you if you accurately depict it, just just speak. Here's what I'm saying: is you like create art that speaks to your DNA. You know what I'm saying? Like create a logo that makes my DNA scared. Don't don't be concerned about the readability. Just uh, try to try to bring fear on a primal level.
our first piece of art, thank goodness, is a depiction of Mogwana by EGP Noodles. Mogwana issue one. Um, now, a strange thing happened last Friday where uh, it was my intent to stream season one of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Unfortunately, uh, it wasn't what I expected it to be. <laughs> And so even even for a laugh, it seemed like it was going to be a bad time stream. And I'm I'm learning to like try to like uh, circumvent bad time streams. So instead, we made the tactical pivot to DC Universe Online, which I thought we would just have a laugh at. But instead, I grew to love DC Universe Online. And in fact, we will be playing more of that game this Friday. <laughs> I got it lined up. And I did not, and for the record, I did not delete Suicide Squad. I'm holding out that maybe season two is cool. Maybe season two pulls it off. Farewell, Mario the Joker forever by Shabello. Now, I feel like uh, Shabello is becoming proficient with 3D modeling at an alarming rate. <laughs> She was on the Discord, just like I'm just I'm just picking up 3D. I'm just trying this out, and it's like it's like and why how, you know, you're like you're creating Mario Joker already. <laughs> yeah, for the record, I don't I don't like Mario Joker, but this is a reference, of course, into how I bailed on the Joker season one of Suicide Squad, but also. Uh, we played, uh, Mario Maker for the last time. Mario Maker 1, at least, for the last time on, uh, Saturday. Packed it up. Never going back. I reviewed all my games. Excuse me, levels. A lot of the levels were, uh, excellent and, like, better than anything any other streamer could come up with. But also, like, not that good. So, uh, yeah, it was humbling. It was humbling to have to score my own levels. All right, so here we see a, a masked villain uh, offering a bribe to a police officer. <laughs> Who then says, babe, we're getting a puppy. <laughs> and I can't tell you how much I love this piece. The fucking hat on the hat rack right it's there just in case you didn't recognize that it's the same police officer right and honestly you might not even recognize it's a police officer's hat until you see it on the hat rack in the second panel but the flip of like the the framing from him accepting the bribe on the left panel to him offering the money back to his babe in the right like i fucking love this piece man that's good shit That's nice. So that's a, that's a that's a new AFB. Sorry, that was uh one of the alarming things about uh DC Universe Online is you kind of expect to be playing as an anti-hero. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe like maybe you're doing some illegal things but with, you know, selfish intentions, but like ultimately you're still on the same side as the heroes. But like no, you're like playing as a villain who's doing bad things. And, um, one of them was just bribing police officers. <laughs> yeah, I think the offer was like $500 a week. You know, it wasn't too bad. It was a good bribe offer. Of course, it wasn't, it wasn't us offering that money. We were doing that, uh, for, uh, Falcone. So here's a baseball player uh, throwing an Eldritch Blast. It's Silk. It's just straight up Silk throwing that. <laughs> and then Gordius in the outfield saying, not my problem. <laughs> 
by didgeridoo list. Excellent. Yeah, God, I love that pose. That's Gordius's iconic pose, man. Honestly, like all Gith Yankee do it, <laughs> but to me, it belongs to Gordius. Now, this I obviously have to disqualify. Here, Mimi Moonbeam is featuring a bunch of things I said out loud during the boss fight against Raphael. Uh, like, yeah, those are, those are, I believe, probably direct quotes. <laughs> but you can't just do that. You can't, you can't just do that and then say that this is my piece for the art show this week. Because those are just things that I said. <laughs> One of the rules is don't make it about me, don't make it about you, make it about the streams and the games. What are WOTC and MTG? Great questions. Wizards of the Coast and uh, Magic the Gathering. So that's what Raphael looks like apparently on his Magic the Gathering card. Uh, owned by Wizards of the Coast. Uh, I think Dungeons and Dragons also currently owned by Wizards of the Coast. Currently owned by Mattel? Not sure who owns Wizards of the Coast. Hasbro. Hasbro. Thank you, chat. Some foolishly large uh, toy company. If in doubt, Embracer. No, it's, it's Hasbro. Stop drinking the fucking water with every fucking stroke. By Banana Denaniel. Okay, so this is because while we played uh, Mario Maker 1 and played the lanky Mario levels, they took lanky Mario out of Mario Maker 2. It was I'm glad we got some good lanky Mario time. Um, in his swimming animation, it looks like he's puffing. It looks like he's drinking in the water with every stroke of swimming. So here we see... A One Piece-esque visual style, implying perhaps Lanky Mario ate a devil fruit at one time. <laughs> and therefore uh, has an inability to swim at all. But also, I like the, the prospect of like, uh, you know... Luigi's definitely a little brother type to Mario, a big brother type. But I like the the uh, uh, dynamic of introducing lanky Mario as potentially a little Mario to Luigi. Someone Luigi has to take care of. A little source of chaos. Yeah, that's good. It's a good piece. Luigi had to save lanky Mario. Haben Sie Ihre Dachrinnen schon installiert? <laughs> By Gooblock. <laughs> now this is fucked in three ways. Uh, last week we saw somebody send a pest control van in that did in fact resemble the uh, Schwein hopped pig in some way you know what i mean it, it didn't quite but it did it didn't look like that pig but it looked like that pig now that anteater has been somehow combined into the uh gutter conversation and obviously i don't know quite what this says but i gotta assume dachrin in his gutter <laughs> have you installed your gutters 
today? God, that's just so funny and weird, man. That's just so funny and weird. You shouldn't make stuff like this. <laughs> just to be clear, I'm not condoning it, chat. Uh, uh, please don't. Please don't. Doc is roof. Rinnen is gutter. Roof gutter. What other kind of gutters are there? I mean, I guess there are floor gutters. <laughs> Now, this obviously is also disqualified. This is us back in the Louvre. Um, now, what you see here is the figure Kyle begging his men to hold him back. They, he's saying, like, please put some wax in your ears. Like, please, please, please. You can't hear their songs. Uh the chat is trying as hard as they can to push the boat away, but the siren song of collectibles is proving too strong for Kyle to resist. Now, what did I say? You can't, uh, you can't submit art about me, so unfortunately this is disqualified. <laughs> What's the name of the piece? I I'm sure somebody in the chat knows the actual like piece and artist here. And it's based on the Odyssey, I think. Bossman on the Boat by Michelangelo. No, quit that shit. Your head fits too well on that body. Chat, trust me, it does not. <laughs> Lash me to the mast, chat. <laughs> I fucking love that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> chat lash me to the mast uh war height thanks for your 45 butter <laughs> lash me to the mast all right obviously this is also disqualified and i can only presume like to me this is not a strong resemblance somebody somebody has created a pawn in an attempt to recreate a Kyle. Now, I, here's the thing that is strikingly accurate, is these two lines here. <laughs> yeah, like, that, like you did get, you, you got those two lines in there. That's impressive. Uh, Coleman, thanks for being a 46-monther. Ulysses and the Sirens, 1909 painting by Herbert James Draper. It's such a good painting, by the way. Really good shit. Otherwise, I don't think this is very accurate at all. But even if it was accurate, that's a disqualification. I just sent you a comic for today's stream. Sorry for being late. Scrambled to get it done in time. All right. Well, now we got two bonus pieces that are unvetted. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Is like If there is just like a big exposed butt, I'm not, I, I haven't vetted it. Oh my gosh. This is quite the piece. And there actually is a big exposed butt. Hold, what? <laughs> how dare you? Firstly, how dare you? Let me, let me get in there. Okay. Yeah. Huh. There you are. Yeah, no, I found it. I found it. You thought you could sneak in a little big exposed butt? How dare you? How dare you? I found it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll get this in the, we'll get this in the show too. Uh, 
one final piece that has not been disqualified, and I have vetted around the world with Lanky Mario. No, never mind. Okay, I'll be honest with you. Like, I, I hate the idea that a 2D Mario is the same on both sides, but I guess that's, like, how it would be, man. That's how it would be. Is this the final one? Was I missed? Yeah. Weird. I'll go... Ooh, let me... Little, okay, let's look at this one first. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go find that one. Here's Mario in some kind of ice hole. Lanky Mario winning a race. Lanky Mario... Presumably in a cameo of some kind of point-and-click PC game. Lanky Mario taking a shower. Lanky Mario hosting Late Night with Conan O'Brien. <laughs> By Snow Cone Guy. Actually, this is definitely from his TNT era, isn't it? Vandy Richter is there, and the set looks like it's like Hollywooded out. Yeah, I think I was from a TNT era, and I do not remember what his show was called at that time. It was just called Conan. Uh, chat, be careful on April Fool's Day being excited about a headline about Silk Song getting listed on the Xbox store. I would, I would say check it 14 times. Um, Lanky Mario as Conan is pretty good. <laughs> um, and then where would that not be? Where would that not be? I, I feel like uh, there's a few that I missed, actually. Yep, I missed four pieces. All right, let's drop these in. No, we didn't miss that one. There we go. Maguana? Dancing at the bad guys club, which I presume only the bad guys can attend. That, that I kind of like about it. If you're a good boy, you can't go dance at the club. What the fuck? What the fuck? That is so weird. Okay, 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 okay. You know what just happened in that instant? Uh, do you remember me? <laughs> Yosh. Do you remember me saying earlier my buttons don't work? Suddenly all the buttons just like they just caught up. <laughs> that was crazy, bro. So let me see this. Okay. Yeah, we're back. We're back in business, baby. And I promise my controller is not on the keyboard right now. That was just wild. The art saved the buttons. Yeah, that was crazy. Someone sample that? Don't not. Don't not. Um, and then another piece I missed. No. No. Okay. And then let me pull in the new ones. Been falling in the hole. I'm in the hole, bro. <laughs> That's a good ending. That's a good ending. I'm in the hole, bro. So, in the Llama Soft game, 
Uh, one of them is just the one of that one piece of like this one that's like a collection of eight different games. For one of them, it's like this crazy synthesizer where you can like speed up these chords and then you like go down to this other part of the grid and like speed like turn them and shift them in weird ways. So that was the clip of me playing that game. Yeah, that was a nice piece. Uh, it did feature nudity, but I don't think that was uh, uh, anything that'll get us banned from Twitch. We'll have to allow it. And then where's my last new thing? That one is huge. It's huge. It's huge. Okay. Raphael's Dinner Party. An unfinished comic by Pixel God. Prologue. One calm night, the party rests around the campfire. A letter? Wait, don't open that! Oopsie poopsie, my be. Oh, well, it's open now. Go ahead and read it. It reads, Dear Gorius, oh, that's me. I'd like to invite you all, blah, blah, blah. Castle party. Love from Raph. P.S. Don't even think of not showing. Cordius. That invite is cursed with a demon seal. Whoever breaks its seal must obey. We have to attend. Can I eat the magic letter, by the way? Oh, this is still when, uh, <laughs> back when he had to eat magic items. Part one. The castle. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, part one. The castle. Oh great, we've lo we're lost again. Oh yes, I have a good library. I love a good library. Uh, where are we going? Duh. The driver hall of fame, of course. I'm gonna have to make this bigger. This is already big, but I gotta make it bigger. It's the dinner hall of fame? What hall of fame is this? I gotta make it bigger. Bigger. It's the Dinner Hall of Fame. I know that. <laughs> but how? Perception check failed. <laughs> Did you feel that? I better have a look around carefully. Grr. Grr. Huh? What's up, Goo? <laughs> Goo being in this party is very funny. Grr. Grr. Ah, I see. Does little Goo want to read a book from the library? Just like that... Neville Gale. What word am I missing there? Just like that Gale. Nerd. Just like that nerd Gale. Mm, let's see. No, not that. Oh, what kind of book would a creature like you enjoy? Uh, oh? What do we have here? A book on hag magic, finally! <laughs> Whoa! Good job, Gordius! Uh, ah, I, I, well, of course. Behold, the fruits of my genius, the way forwards. I'm sure this passage will lead us the right way. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> Foolish monster. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> wow, this is this is nice. Now die. Meanwhile. Too late. Swoop attack. Magic missile! <laughs> Roll the twenty. Excellent. <laughs> Hell's bells, Gale! You almost killed me! Sorry, it's a new spell. I can't reanimate that. Stick to grease next time, would you? How about this? Ooh, yes, let's see. It's been a while since I got my hands on a fresh corpse. This'll do just fine. Rise, undead! 
Now tell me, where do you keep your valuables? Only had sword. By the way, Gale disapproves. Cuts through fire. Hmm. I guess it's better than nothing. Hey, no fair. How come you get to get that loot? Well, come on now. We must press onwards. Don't want to keep everyone waiting. It's all right now, Goo. Let's keep moving. Goo. Why him? By the way, this was the scene I had to uh, add the, the old black rectangle to. <laughs> How come things always turn out in his man favor? How is it someone like him gets so lucky? So anyway, then you get to the flute and the letter. That's where the real fun starts. So carefree. Into the darkness. La di da da da. Release the butt cut. Now, I was visually scanning it. I thought, based off of the way the butt looked, that the, he wasn't wearing pants. But it turns out, like, it was just, like, very, very tight. But also, like, the pants had cheek socks. We're talking about, like, boob socks. Uh, last week. It, it looked like it would look like like the pants that he would have had to buy have like sock like uh cups that you would have to just shift each cheek into as you put them on. So that's on me. Anyway, <laughs> you could have helped out in that fight back there, you know, goo. You better s suit up or shit out. <laughs> If you want to be a part of this party still. Gordius! Emotional awareness check failure. Gale disapproves. It's a nice Gale. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Suit up or shit out. This art is excellent. Part two, the dining hall. <sharp inhale> Raph. Gordius. My, my, what an entrance. Please, take a seat. All right, well, there's another but I should have censored. To be continued. Sorry, couldn't finish the comic. No, that's cool. That's, a, it's, hey, absolutely still worth sending in. Look at this. This is actually how much comic there was there. You know what's crazy is I actually think like the action on this page is really good. This one. Yeah, it's so cool. Who needs dialogue? Magic missile as a speech bubble. Oh, you know what? I didn't appreciate how cool that was at the at the moment. That is cool. It's like the spoken word becomes the spell, and you can actually see it piercing through the villain too. Yeah, that's nice. And that is the art show. If you would like to submit any art to the art show, send that to dearbossman at gmail.com. Put your name on it if you want it to be attributed to you. Uh, if it's a song or music video, try to keep it a minute or less. Don't make it about me. Don't make it about you. Make it about the games we're playing, the, the things that happen during the streams. Video. The video was this, chat. Kyle Door 64, though. I never called out your name. Thank you for saying it. My god. Chat's like, where's our video? You promised me a video! <laughs> uh.
<laughs> you promised. <laughs> Just slapping their menus. You already it's on your it's on your plate. <laughs> <laughs> Look down at your plate. You ate it. You ate the video already. <laughs> okay. Uh Oh, I guess I boot up the PC. I guess I booted up. Not much else to cover, right? Uh Friday stream is going to be DC Universe Online the continued adventures of uh, Maguana and believe me believe me chat believe me believe me believe me I looked at other options I was looking at other games I was looking at like ah oh, maybe we could play that like it'd be so fun to play that I could give this game a chance and at the end of it I was like man I really just want to play more DC Universe Online <laughs> I really just want to play more of that fucking game. No, there's going to be no heat on the Stellar Blade demo on Friday. Everybody who wanted to check it out has already checked it out. And you already know I'm not going to like it. I don't like the meat beasts. You got you to gotta like respect your villains as much as you like your uh, heroes. You know what I mean? She's just like, she's just like uh, agonizing over slicing up meat beasts. Is when I when I check in on a stream, it's like, oh, okay, so this person's just cutting up some meat beasts. There's a vote up on the Discord for the next fighting game club. If it, uh, you could mention it, I am indeed locking in results Wednesday. Can I guess? I'm gonna guess fighting game club sticks with Tekken. That's my bet. It'd be cool if it's a, like a rotational thing, but like you know. Tekken's the hot one right now. It's not an option. We are rotating. Oh, okay. Copy that. Did we figure out the album concept? Yes. Yes. And actually, uh, I've already, I have been thinking about it a lot. I'm going to take, like, I'm going to make it simpler than I was even thinking on Saturday. So the concept for the concept album is that the band makes an entire album out of found, discovered 90s cartoon shows. Uh, basically the idea of like, you like imagine like finding like a, a video VHS tape or maybe like a box of them in a warehouse of a bunch of like animated pilots that never got aired. No one has ever seen these. Um, and, uh, That'll be what the album is. The album will be what those uh, theme songs are. Not me trying to rewrite or reproduce what theme songs were already in there, right? Just like cut off one layer, make it very simple. So it's like, and also TV shows was in there. It was a cartoons and TV shows. I'm just making it cartoons. Again, just chopping things off. I'm making things ultra simple. It's going to be a bunch of theme songs. You open up a box, you get a bunch, there's like eight tapes in there. Here are the theme songs for each of those eight videos. Um, or six. Or two. I'll do more than two, I promise. Uh, Zeno Jinsu, thanks for being a nine-monther. Yeah, exactly. It's, just, it's a simplification. Let's just, let's just, let's, just, let's pump the brakes a second. And because, honestly, the ideas I had are so fun, they were, like, missing one layer of irony. It's like, uh, just cut the irony. Cut the irony. Uh, am I going to make up the shows? Yes. Yeah. Of course I am. No one's ever seen these shows before. No one's ever seen any of these. They were all uh, unproduced. They didn't make it to air. Why? I have some ideas for why. <laughs> I got some ideas uh, for why, but you know we gotta uh, we gotta get a song and we gotta add music to it first. What arm do I use? Honestly, Captain Crazy Pants, I went cheap on my microphone arm. I did not get a nice brand. 
but it has served me well. It's not even branded. I didn't get branded. I just went to Amazon and probably got like what was like third cheapest, right? Never get the cheapest cheapest on Amazon. But um Yeah, I can't even I can't even tell you who made this thing. It's not a road. It looks like a road. Road would say road right here. You know what I mean? It's it's not a road, but it is designed to look like a road, absolutely. Tease us with one of the possible show ideas. I don't you know I don't do that. Not that kind of guy. Sorry, Bob. I'm not that top. Um theme. Some 90s sitcom, please. No, I'm not doing sitcoms. Doesn't make sense. Why would there be a sitcom in a box full of cartoons? Simplifying this shit, chat. Simple. Make the idea simple. First and foremost, chop it all off. Make it the simplest possible thing. Ooh, we got a little update today. Anime? Why would anime be in a box full of other US-produced cartoons? You're complicating shit, chat. Simpsons is a sitcom. Chat. You're not thinking this through. What is it? Chat. Chat. What is the Simpsons? The, the, excuse me. What is the Simpsons theme song? You want me to fucking write that? <laughs> like, shit, chat. You should make it more like the Simpsons theme song, actually. What I was, Kyle, actually, what I was thinking, it was going to be cool if you do, like, the Simpsons. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going <laughs> to. Shit. <laughs> Come in with the animated sequences. I know, this chat won't be happy. Like, <laughs> honestly, I wish he animated these. This is, it's okay. The album's okay, but I kind of like, it's not really that good <laughs> if he doesn't animate it. Got it. Sorry, chat. Uh, the idea is that a lot of 90s cartoons uh, have a, have um, the premise just like stated musically. The idea of like a, making making an album of 90s of of found 90s cartoons is that the premise of each setup is what is fun. Where, where like you you set up the whole premise within the lyrics of the song. I don't understand what you don't get about that chat. <laughs> like Animaniacs, like Rescue Rangers, yeah. Some theme songs are just bangers, though. Yeah, but that's not like that's not that's not what we're doing here. <laughs> Please don't expect that. Who is that statue in the middle of the screen? We have yet to find out. We haven't gotten that far in the story yet. Uh, to catch you all up on what's been happening. Uh. We went into town and Gordius started solving a crime and uh, Minthara didn't like it. <laughs> she was bored and she thought it had nothing to do with her main quest. And so 
uh, perhaps to impress Minthara, or perhaps it was just fate, the next building they walked into led them to hell. Straight to the hammer they would need to free the Gith Yankee Cosmic Prince. Uh, they just happened upon it. It was just the next room they walked into. Chat didn't be like, okay, okay, go northeast. You know what I mean? It just happened. That's just, we just found that building. Um, so we went to hell. Uh, Gordius signed his sex like this away for life. Uh, and then Raphael showed up and they had to kill him. They had to kill Raphael, the, the devil, uh, in order to leave with that hammer. And so now we're going back to the surface realm where Lazelle is ready, willing, and able to smash open the container that has Orpheus in it with the Orphic hammer, of course. Uh, when she does this, I'm not sure we'll be able to fight back the parasites anymore. It's entirely possible that we'll just kind of end the story. Uh, I'm not sure what happens once Orpheus is free. He might say like, oh, I... Blazel, thank you. Thank you. I see these three are infected. And she can say, yeah, please kill those three. And that might be the end of the story. I'm not positive what's about to happen. Zorgla, thanks for being a 20-monther. Kyle, are you saying sitcoms don't have intro songs with lyrics? Uh, no. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Read my lips. I'm make, I'm doing cartoons only to keep it simple. That's my first statement. Chat says, Simpsons is a cartoon! And it's like, what, what fucking song is Simpsons using? <laughs> so, the reason I'm not doing sitcoms is because I'm only doing cartoons that would appear uh, in the 90s. Throughout the 90s. Don't say Family Matters. Family Matters is not a cartoon. <laughs> Don't you understand, chat? Why would chat? Why would this? Why would this box have cartoons and also some sitcoms in it? Why would it? Why would it have all of those? You forced my hand. You forced my hand. It's been a long time since I've added any words or phrases to the band list. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, look I'm looking at some of the other words that are in here. It's funny, bro. No one can say Family Guy on this channel ever again. Nice try, chat. <laughs> yes, Family Guy is a sitcom that has a theme song that explains what the show is about. <laughs> <laughs> hey Lois, if you the thing is, you could just say "Hey Lois," and we all know what you're talking about. Okay, good God. All right, so here's a first. I think first order of business is getting the team to an inn. Um, chat's right. On our way out of this shop, we can make good on our promise to give our gloves away to uh, the shopkeeper who gave us the portal to hell. 
We should take a look at them though first, right? Just out of curiosity. We got it. We got these gloves that give you giant strength. Jeremy Shockey power. There they are. Gauntlets of Hill Giant Strength. Set the wearer's strength to 63. Sorry, 23. 23? Like, I, uh... Was I laughing at the Balan block? Yeah, you also cannot say Balan Wonderland. <laughs> You'll be prompted to say Wonderworld. If you ever try typing in Balan Wonderland into chat, you can't do it. You're gonna be like, oh, okay, 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 my bad, my bad. Wonder World, got it. <laughs> Why is Jeremy Shockey your go-to for a strong guy? I was trying, chat, I was trying to think of a New York Giant. He's also a New York Giant. <laughs> it absolutely was a pull, yeah. You thought it was a fantasy thing from this. Oh, a guy named Jeremy Shockey. <laughs> like it could be, bro. That's such a D&D &D name. <laughs> Jeremy Shockey. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, uh, I am indeed comfortable with handing off these really cool gloves. Uh, we gotta make sure Gale gets his hammer back. You can't have that hammer, Gale. That's your hammer. Um. Gloves of soul catching. Where do we get these? Oh, yeah, we can't even, we don't have any monks. We can't even use those. The other thing I was curious about, we stole three artifacts. Uh, we stole the hammer. We stole the gloves of Jeremy Shockey strength. And then we stole one other thing. And I can't remember what that was. This. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. Set the wearer's construct constitution, excuse me, score to 23. The enchantment has no effect if their constitution score is already higher without it. Yeah, right. Who even has that? Um, who would like that much constitution? I think Lazel or Minthara. This is some of the stuff we got from the food chest. Gale needs the constitution the most? Uh, all right, and so the other thing I really want to do is I got to take these masks off. This, like, this bothers me. I don't like looking at it. So unfortunately, we're going to lose the infernal sight. And even worse, we're going to lose the uh, plus two bonus to attack rolls. I just hate how it looks. And don't even chat. Do not begin to talk about hiding them. I'm not willing to budge on this. A mask is a mask. You're right. And also, Gale should use his... No, no, no. Not Lazel. Ready and willing. Gale should use... Well, actually, we're going to do a long rest. After coming back from hell, we're definitely going to take a long rest, and then we can put his makeup back on. Shaq Soda, thank you for gifting that gift sub. Um, but yeah, that is what I would like to do right now is get everybody rested. Uh, they're going to have to have a conversation. I'm really nervous about the rift we're about to create once Lazel frees the god of Gith Yankees. <sighs> I'm pretty nervous about that. Um, chat did say we can go visit an inn. Yeah, Lazel has easily become the main character of this party. Not only that, I think like if you, if we did like a cool like um pie chart of the damage dealt during that fight, I think Lazel might have like forty percent of it. 
And that's with uh, Hope and the um, invisible stabbing demon. That's if, that's including them. She did so much damage. Raphael's death is already causing quite a stir across the hells. It's a rare thing for a mortal to slay a devil of his stature. In all the excitement, I hope you didn't forget our bargain. Do you have the gauntlets? Audio? The 23 strength gloves would be nice for Lazelle. She's at 18 right now. All right, so here's what sucks here. We could easily fucking pass this shit. These boots have seen everything. Oh no. Gail. Gail, don't talk. Gail, don't talk to her. Gail, goddammit. God damn it, Gail. Let me handle this. <laughs> Push him. Okay. <laughs> God damn it, Gail. <laughs> I'm doing something. Keep pushing, it'll work. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I really don't think it, I think she's locked to that conversation. All right. We had a deal. Gail, shut up. Shut up, Gail. God damn it. God damn it, Gail. That was a crucial error. I made a crucial error. I entered the conversation as the wrong person, and they locked me out of switching. Uh, that'd be funny to just straight up kill Gail. <laughs> we do have a button for that, and uh, we have three buttons for that. I'm going to go with... I missed the play. I missed the play. I feel like that was most appropriate. Soon, I may just get a tad malcontent. Okay, bro. Let me get that mask out. Get that mask out. Uh, what else did we change? And we gave the hammer. Got to get that hammer back to Gale. There you go. Okay, because I know Gordius passes passes this deception check. I know he passes this. the hells are usually one way especially usually when the one way is the kind of trouble you did i knew you were a thief didn't realize you were a killer Raphael's death is already causing quite a stir across the hell in multiplayer pushing it's out of others out of conversation works oh uh, okay so it wasn't just a joke that you told me to push Gail got it in all the excitement I hope you didn't forget our bargain and I really want this hat do you have the gauntlets here we go still not as good as our regular deception check um we're missing like a plus six in there somehow Oh, and look how easy that is. Hell yeah.
That invalidates our deal, I'm afraid. I fulfilled my part of the bargain, so my you part owe the me the fee I proposed initially. I just killed a devil in you, his own home. You really don't want to test my patience. Yeah. 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 Paid the price. Paid the price. Haggai, baby. Not a subtle point, but well made. A loser. Keep the gauntlets. Your threats aren't necessary, but your coin is still welcome. Devil Slayer. Hell yeah. Fucking Gale was like, I, I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> Talk to the orb? What orb? That was easy. Those were ten, two ten checks. But honestly, um, what orb? Um, Honestly, though, uh, it makes sense, logically. Yeah, we did just go kill Raphael, which we, she thought we had no chance at. She knows that she doesn't have a lot of ground to stand on, saying like, oh, can you give me those gauntlets? Who said talk to the orb? What orb are you talking about? Uh, all right. At the Elf Song Tavern, apparently you can just uh, get a room. Get a room. Yeah, I, Gale's a hypocrite, but I do I do feel like Gale, his justification is probably ju th just that he feels like uh, powerless against this. You know what I mean? He is of weak will. I agree with that. Yeah, this is the titular uh, Baldur's Gate. smart stuff. I'm Willoughby, the comedian. And we got a little contest here called the Laugh Riot. You wanna play along? Suits me. I'm pretty good at riots. I'm in. Great! I'll go first to show you how it's done, and then you can see if you can top me. Hello, Baldarians! You know, I wouldn't be here tonight. Except my wife ran off with a cambium. That's right. I got fiend zoned. <laughs> we used to have a drow comedian. I had to ask her to stop casting Tasha's hideous laughter on the audience. Then I asked her how many drow it takes to light a torch, and she said, None. We have dark vision. <laughs> so I killed her. The elf song patrons think that one's funny. There may be hope for you yet. Your turn, smart stuff. Knock them dead. But not literally. Got me? Okay. Will it be the comedian, folks? Or is jokes good, or does he just smell funny? Say, what's the difference between a dwarf and a bullet? You can't toss the bullet. Hey, I asked my wizard to cast Shatter. He said, Shatter? I hardly know her. What happened here? Gordius has a fucking charisma of 83, dude. Why is like why did they write these jokes for him? I thought he I thought he was gonna come up here and slay. If that's the best you got, smart stuff, you should quit before the crowd gets angry.
All right, here we have an intimidation check here. What is your, what do you call, what does you call a room full of people who don't applaud? Dead. This is how Gordius gets laughs. <laughs> He's like, oh, hey, what does you call uh... a... <laughs> Hang on. This should be against the rules. Clap or I'll rip out your spines. <laughs> I love this shit. These are tough checks, bro. These are tough to get. These are these are nasty checks. But Gordius is just too kitted out. Are you kidding? Come on. A single person applauds from the back of the room. Probably out of pity. Sorry, smart stuff. No joy for you, I'm afraid. But that sounds like job security for me. You know why they're called steel watches, right? <laughs> Their spines are mine. Chess is time to make good. No, I'm sorry, chat. We have other affairs to get to. Unfortunately, we have other affairs. We have other affairs. Not worth our time. Where do I get a room? Oi, oi. Pull up a seat. If you can find one spare, that is. I'll tell you what. The murder upstairs has brought some punters, but it's also really spooked folk out of renting rooms. If we get you staying up there, perhaps folk will calm down and realize there's nothing to worry about. You can have the whole upstairs floor until this killer thing blows over. Perhaps I could get a discount? No, okay, okay, okay. Two hundred is fine. All yours. If it gets a bit too noisy at night, well, don't sleep above a pub. Veterans hotspot. All right, chat's uh, chat's insisting that no one will take Gordius seriously now. So we're gonna see if he can get away with this without ending the game. Nobody leaves. of killing a fight is unavoidable now he got caught <laughs> oh, look at this poor game engine look at this shit how did that guy survive all right that's what chat that's why we don't do it that's uh, gordius knew this shit would happen if he tried to kill everybody in that room he knew he knew Gail opened the door. <laughs> Wait, did he really chat? I thought the first person who ran in was a guard. XY baby, thanks for being on 44 a month. Or watch Saturday's stream from the VOD. It was so good to watch chat listen to 404 proof again. I had tears and chills reliving it. Most talented communi community in the biz by far. You gotta be careful, that's gonna go to their heads. You gotta be careful with that kind of phrase. Just say good job. Stuff, baby beholder, that's crazy.
What is that child doing here? Fuck um, off. Hi. It's me, Yena. You remember me, right? Yeah. I met you before, and um, my mom hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Oh. If the child's desperate enough to seek safety in our company, who are we to turn her away? I can cook really good. Whatever you want. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> There's no way it's not a demon cat. Trust me. <laughs> I've got a good read on this kind of thing, chat. Trust me. <laughs> Seems like a good moment to talk. <laughs> Eager for battle. Objective noted. <laughs> okay, all right. It seems that you could not attack this uh, story driven, obvious plant meat woman who has invaded your party. Yeah. All right. All right. I guess I got to reload that. I'm not letting that child into this party. Insane moment to join the stream. Just be like electrocuting this poor cat. Now, the thing is, it's not a poor cat. It's a shapeshifter. It's a shapeshifter. I'm too I'm too fucking smart for this game. Like, I'm not I'm not falling for your shit game. This game thinks they could just have like a cute little spunky kid with a big hairy cat and they're like, oh, join my party, child. You know what I mean? That's my chat. That's what my chat would do. Not me. What's no, 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 discussion? no. I'm too street smart. Welcome back. What can I do you for? <laughs> I guess we've already bought the room. Swift as my feet can carry me. What would you have actually done if you actually murdered a normal kid just then? Wouldn't be, like what what would what would you actually do if like uh I'll give it a shot. Your nose turned into a tornado. You know what I mean? Why like what kind of what if is this? Um hi. It's me, Yena. You remember me, right? I met you before, and, um, my mom hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it would be cool if your nose was a tornado. Goblins again. Yeah, me too, Minthara. Get the fuck out. No but kids allowed. I won't make it that long on my own. I don't give a shit. You're not real. And for some reason, I can't attack you. I already told you no. But, um... And for the record, this is the second time we've had this exact conversation. Right. The game is insisting this child see. upon us. You should have said yes. You wish you said yes. My chat, my chat's like, yes, you can stay, child. <laughs> my chat, my chat's like, yes, I'm, a, I'm doing the good thing. Please, child, stay in my camp. The hammer is ours. The devil is snuffed out. Our power is undeniable. Yeah, it's also possible we died and lost our save from when we had talked to that child. That's possible too. So I actually think I do want to talk to Minthara. 
I'm saying I don't know what's going to happen once we break him out. Sorry, uh, Lazelle, I meant. Um... What about him? Is he gonna kill me? <laughs> Orpheus is honor guard, loyal to the end. Trapped by Vlakith in the same prism holding their noble prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as geich, tadpoled husks in the Empress thrall. I regret their deaths, but I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. I didn't truly appreciate before, and no, the answer is I don't like it. That Lazelle has a bit of like uh, Jojo hair sticking through the top of her fabric of her hood. Uh, QWERTY Keyboard, thanks for being a 23 monther. All right, uh, I don't think she has the answers to my questions. That That's actually old dialogue. We could have asked her that a long time ago. Where do we rest, on the rug? I mean, you got beds. Go to your bed. We are unstoppable. I feel like we could conquer the hells. Yeah. Uh, you seem nervous. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're just going to see how everybody feels about Orpheus when it's time to uh, meet Orpheus. That's not how we do it. We got to go like this. Combine, right? You gotta like combine. Red on bone white actually might be nice. Combine. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Everyone else is good. I don't know if I should get no, no, or no, yeah. I'll tell you. Just spent four hours with medical stuff, and while my current problem has gotten better, it means that there is a new problem causing my new symptoms. While my current problem has gotten better, it means that there is a new problem causing my new symptoms. Yeah, is that no, yeah? Or let's, let's do, oh, yeah, let's do, oh, yeah, for now. You know what? We take the victories as they come. Oh, yeah. No traps, please. The Harley Quinn hammer is so funny, bro. Where do we rest? End the day. There it is. You're not over here, Gordius. There you go. Yes. Oh. A bit of salt on the top, and I told you to fucking go. Please don't hurt me. I know you don't want me, but give me a chance. I I thought you'd be hungry, so I made this for you. My mum's favorite recipe. <laughs> His fucking undies are so funny, bro. His fucking undies are so ornate. All right. Uh, get away from me. I know, but I don't have nowhere else to go. I didn't come to beg. I can work. I can cook for you. I can help. Let me prove it. Get the hells out of here. Well, go. Um... I can sew a little bit, and, um, 
I, I know most of the letters for my writing. I think cooking is really my main talent. Be Please, gone! Just try it. I promise it's good. Get the fuck out! I... I made it especially for you. I thought you'd like it. It took me hours to chop the little vegetables. You don't get know me! Roasted, right? and, no, you won't even try it. Take the food and throw it away is very funny. <laughs> it's fucking up. It's fucking underwear. <laughs> what a waste of good flesh. Nice meat suit, lady. She's like, I got, she's like, April Look Fools. It, crawling, <laughs> like, we know, we know. <laughs> filth. Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? She's like, I got you. <laughs> Orin will take care of you and your little pet. Tara and Cordy is a matching underwear. Everybody, everybody rolled out of bed in their undies, bro. God, that's funny. Yeah, she's all yours. You we don't give her. a shit. She will make such tender meat for the slab. But not yet. I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. <laughs> Gail's trying to post up right now like he's a tough guy. <laughs> uh, so, I see. I see now. I see now. The point of that character was for us to like her in the first place and then be like, oh, you took, you took Yenna? Oh my God. I love Yenna. Give Enna back. Yenna, excuse me. So it, it was a manipulation, but Yenna wasn't meant to always be meat suit lady. Come for me and you'll meet your god soon enough. Silly little worm. My god is always with me. He shudders to see how my blades plunge into soft, surrendered flesh. You are dull. A blunt blade unfit to flay. But you could be sharpened. Thin and jagged. Yes, I will tell you what to do. Her skin's got a really cool texture on it. I love the way that the, like, the blood flows under it. I'll show you right now. I'll show you how sharp I am right now. No, no, not here, not now. The tyrant must fall first. You've heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. 
didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath, never to hang him from the hooks. Trip trade him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the Netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. There we slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is bars. I like her. I like her plan. Agree. And I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Our what friend? demands a fight to the death. What friend? The prize for the victor, the nether stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and the child's life may be forfeit. I don't give a shit. As might your own. Warren's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. God, that is so funny. So Chad is explaining that Yenna is basically the backup, 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 backup. If you don't have anybody added to your party, your camp, who you like, Orin would take them instead. So basically, if you have none of those people... They have this character named Yenna who appears. Like a last ditch effort to get you to feel something about an NPC. <laughs> Can I get an oh yeah for unlocking Joker and Suicide Squad without spending money? Oh yeah. Heck yeah. She took Lazelle in your playthrough? Whoa. She can take out an actual party member? That's messed up. So maybe if you have enough uh, surplus party members, she takes one of them. Yeah, they have to be in the camp. Got it. So they wouldn't be in your party at the time. That's messed up, bro. That's messed up. However, because we didn't have party members, <laughs> we're strapped for party members, which she had to take Yenna instead. That's so funny. Chai, you see that weird flicker on the top, or is that just on my monitor? Every once in a while, I get like a frame of a, like a, just a black bar across the top. Could just be a monitor. Okay, um... Just please, uh, don't hurt Yenna. If we see something, you'll know. I guess you're right. So I think that was probably my monitor. Uh, it happens when I'm editing too, actually. Uh, okay, so what she's offering now is like kind of cool. She says, let's do a battle royale. I think that's fucking awesome. But like, don't hurt Yenna is not at all my motivation. I don't know. Okay, two also presumes you give a shit about Yenna. <laughs> two is also not true to Gordius. So be it, I will kill Gortash. Yenna lives. He doesn't fucking know who Yenna is. He doesn't know her name. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we see where one goes, but I think one she'll just explain something and then move forward. <laughs> Oh, no. We had a balance. The chosen three. <laughs> but it tumbled when you turned the Bone Lord to ash. Now, Gortash tries to gouge me from the city. That festering inadequate thinks me a flesher, butchering and cleaving only to whip the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You must kill him, gore him like a pig prepped for the spit. Only 
only then will you be sweet and sharp, ready for the murder lord's purpose. You need me. Need? No, no. I yeah, I had a flicker again. So it's my monitor. It's my monitor. Must be my weird settings or something. Let's flesh and bone. I do not need. I offer. Ball's age approaches, and you could be there to see it. An idol of flesh, made to welcome his bleeding dawn. There is time for you yet. Time to save. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> that is Baal's offer. He will not make another. Huh? Ooh, I like that teleport thing. That's a cool effect. Um. Twisting the ring, I think, is a cool uh, activation. Um, chat says that voice actor is also Lady D's, who I think won a game award for uh, best for performance. Yeah, so basically, if we go straight to ball right now, Yenna dies. And remember, we don't give a shit. However, uh, I do find her proposition of deactivating all of the robots fairly compelling. But uh, before any of that, we got a free Orpheus. We've got Gith Yankee work to do. Sausages tonight. Sausages, sausages. Oh my gosh, we're having a sausage feast. Damn. That's huge. This party loves sausages. And so I guess, I guess after that Raphael fight, they're deserving of them. Everybody had their sausages. Time to get out of here. I'll just scan around, make sure nobody's got any dialogue. All right. Um, so, unfortunately, before we even before we even make that decision of which of the uh, two demon lords we have to kill first. We must shatter Orpheus's chains. And we know who wants to do it. Please, Elsa, give me the hammer. Uh, or let me in. Let me in now. Check your journal. Okay. <laughs> Cause I actually, I actually have no idea how to, um, Get in there.
free Orpheus. Wait for the opportunity to free Orpheus. We defeated Raphael and can now leave the House of Hope. We should wait for our next opportunity to enter the Astral Prism and free Orpheus. What do they mean, wait? Voss will be pleased with our progress. Come to the underground. We must show him the Orphic Hammer. I see. We're going to get fucked for this. It's never that easy, is it, chat? Voss has done his duty. Now, we will do ours. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will break Orpheus free. With the Prince of the Comet at our sides, we can end the Grand Design and restore the throne to Gith's heir. To the Undercity. Voss deserves to know the hammer is ours. Okay. So we gotta go to the Undercity to talk to Voss. And then we can go inside of the crystal. The Undercity is not close, Beb. You're in the Undercity. No, I'm not. This is the Undercity. Worm's Crossing is the Undercity. No, this is it, dude. So I haven't been to the Undercity yet? You're in Lower City. She's talking about the sewers under you. So I gotta I gotta go I gotta go travel to the sewers to find one more Gith Yankee scrub so that I can enter the orb. But like that guy's he's gonna he's gonna fuck this shit up. Okay, all right, all right. Yes. If I were to make a home-cooked feast, what would be the primary components? Chat. Again, it's like, Kyle, if you were to swim in a sea of rings of hair what sort of cap would you fashion for yourself i'm not making a home cooked feast <laughs> it's not going to happen can i go break time uh i would like to um give me underground first what would be the path to the Undercity? This guy seems like a good moment to talk. You! You two must submit to Lord Gortash if you are to be saved. Oh. I don't know shit. Submit to Lord Gortash. If you were in the hair dimension, what color hair would you breathe? <laughs> Gray. Explore, Kyle. No fun just telling you. Um, we're past exploring is the thing. You know what I mean? Like, uh, unfortunately, like, narratively, it makes no sense to stop and listen to any fucking NPC who's like, Oh, hello there. Could you help me with something? It's like, bro, we're past that. We're past that. What's creepier? All white eyes or all black? Like, no iris pupil. I think all white eyes are really cool. Interviews, politics, gossip. All of it gets in that bloody boulder's mouth, Rad. Casting dancing lights out here? Uh, we'll take a break once I get to the lower city. Sorry, the under city. Lower city is not good. Shh. Confound my auntie Cotter's charm. 
bombs after you laughed up the city. This looks like NPC poppin' does not bother me. You can't you can't play through uh, infinite wealth if you don't like NPC poppin'. You'd have to leave the game. Ho oh, that. Oh, that's a quake. One of the quakes. If you need help, sire, just speak to the clerks. Coin made and gold your coffers. A list of politely phrased advisories from the Fellowship of Financiers. Alarm machine is troubling. That's troubling. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not gonna we're not gonna murder our way through this scenario. Some people should have all day to spend talking to bankrupts. And believe me, I thought about it. If only Jahara Jahira didn't die, what is what, what would she have done in that situation? Neat proxy, thanks for being a 39 monther. High Stark time. No, that's the fucking thing. That's a chat. There's a fucking god of our race trapped in a time crystal. <laughs> I'm trapped in a time crystal. Uh, that is my priority right now. That's the shit I got to take care of. It is ridiculous to do anything otherwise. What's another day? He's been trapped so long. The stakes, man. Who likes this rain? Yeah, Infinite Wealth will have NPCs popping in mid cutscene and just like running away very suddenly too. You just kind of have to accept it. the last place you need to be clear off yeah oh guido <laughs> two words guild business only an idiot gets between them and their shipments deception is usually more fun than intimidation yeah we we fuck with that yep good luck bro Game thinks they beat me. No, 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 no. Four is actually fine. Um, look out for manholes. That's our ticket in, really. Okay. <laughs> Why didn't you leave with that? I trust you're gonna balance the books too, yeah. You want a thousand gold? No. Oh yeah, weapons, drugs, a bit of fire, wine, you know. The usuals. No, I'm not gonna give this guy a thousand gold, bro. Cocky shit. I'm gonna enjoy this. Cocky shit. Um oh, 
target is too close. We can still hit Dolo. Dolo, bro. Get fucked. <laughs> Yeah, that's good shit. Yeah, right, you hit that shot. Get charmed. Yep, come on up. Climb the ladder. Climb the. Yep, come on up. Come on up. <laughs> yeah, this game's mechanics are not built for like a ladder climb, bro. Half interrupted. Path is interrupted. Got your butt. Got your little butt, bro. Chat's like, every turn takes 10 seconds. This guy just fucking scaled that ladder as quickly as another. <laughs> Could walk five feet, you know? They're just like da, 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 da. all right so i guess we'll just loot your bodies is what he said shit shit the first guy no he's right there Five thirty gold thank you huido something good here. <laughs> <Low> play. <laughs> It did, you didn't have to do this fight. You didn't have to. You were foolish for this, Jesse Tops. <laughs> like, obviously, chat, obviously, in a world with, like, Jesse Tops, Jeremy Shockey just fits right in. I get it. No, I get it. inside? They're not that different. I was expecting that. I mean, you just got the key to their chest. They got a chest somewhere, bro. All right, I just don't want to get too far away. Maybe we go on their ship? Look at this ship. Another one to the easy path. Halt, citizen. Oh, shit. This is a restricted area. Now we don't win these deception checks. Copy that. Copy that. Oh! Alright, now we're here. My treasure. Where's your treasure, bro? We got a key to their treasure. I'm not gonna... Uh, but there was something up here I wanted to do before I went and talked to that guy, right? I was like, I want to do this thing, I want to do this. And then I totally got sidetracked because Huido started talking to me. Stupid Huido. All right, I think I'll just look for a manhole. And then we can take it. Oh, sailor's chest. Use the key. Damn. I guess we don't do that. Especially in front of that sentinel. Yeah, 
Did you miss anything exciting? Hmm? Meat suit lady uh, offered us a pretty good deal. She said kill me last of the three and uh, I will not kill that child you care so deeply about. Um, one thing she did say though, she explained the deal that like, you know Gortash has got like a robot army? Hey, chat, let's talk about the statue. Here you go, chat. Here's your answer. Alderaan, the city's founder, gazes out to sea. The statue is on the title screen of Balderon. And look, people love gold here. I remind you again, As for the unruly no respect, Gordius. No respect. Now I personally love the book setting. Twisty corridors, flickering candlelight. Oh, such compelling reading. Okay, looking for manholes. Keep your eyes peeled. If you go down to the water feature, I think you can take gold out of that too. Oh, you missed me. Fountain, gotcha. We got our gold. All I need, oh, all I need before we take our break is to find a manhole. That's up for discussion. Right. Let me back in. I'll bring Laroakin out here, you tin tube. You tell Laroakin I went for his goddamn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Uh oh. Please tell me you found it. I heard some ding dongs. How am I feeling about BG3 so far? Uh, so chat's a little upset that I'm not filling up the map, right? That has never been a component of my playthrough. To me, BG3 is much more fun as like um, a telltale game than it is as an RPG. In that like, I truly don't really get that invested in my like character's stat progression or whatever new moves I learn or the intricacies of the battle system. Um, those have not been pulling me through. What has been is like the interactions we have with our party and are able to have in conversations like this. I love in any video game just being able to lie to somebody. There's no reason for him to lie, but he's going to. And so I jacked up my character. He's got a 23 bonus on this. <laughs> no way we fail this. What's a good way to start in this game? I'm just starting to really get into games, so I'm a strong newbie. So I would say that, for me, I would, I like, definitely play on easy mode. Easy mode, like, I think it's called, like, a uh, narrative mode or something like that. It shows just a bunch of bards playing around. And guides, you know what I mean? I would look up help all the time. This chat has helped me through this game so much. Hope you lost fewer people along the way than I did. Bloody comments. Explorer Laura mode is what's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would recommend Explorer mode. Absolutely. Got it. Enough. Laura Kid and his precious night song just about ruined my life. If you value yours, I'd stay well clear of this place. This is the guy you saved from the goblins all the way back in the first stream. He was a jerk to you. Uh, we should have killed that man. Thank you, chat. I did not remember that guy at all. What a curious place this is. Right, we're just looking for a manhole, though. I tried Big Barbarian, but it ended up being kind of boring, personally. I think I'd have a better time playing a bard or someone with a lot of persuasion and deception skills. Yeah, for me, that's all, that's, 
most of the fun I've had with this game is snickering to myself after I lie to somebody. Persuasion, persuasion skills are super fun. Also, Grease, yeah, making a big boss slip over and fall on their own butts is so fun. Manhole hunt. This is the magic store bookstore I think you wanted to visit? We're done with that. <laughs> Chat, at this point in the story, we see a dead body on the street and we keep walking. <laughs> A manhole is marked on the map next to a waypoint. You're right. This is this is the store Gale wanted to check out. All right. So the only waypoint I have is this one. There it is. Yep. Good shit, chat. So it'll be to our left. There it is. Here goes nothing. Don't forget Gordius hasn't finished reading the Book of Wacket. Are you talking about the evil book? We're definitely, we finished that evil book. All right, I did tell you, chat, that I would, in fact... Oh, there's our wall. We got a wall guy. Gale leveled up! <laughs> See, like, leveling up in this game is, like, less... It's What's crazy is early levels super satisfying. It, like, it, it changes the game dramatically. The higher you go, the less satisfying it gets, actually. Did I see the cassette version of BG3 soundtrack has a synthwave remix of the theme? No, I think that's cool to make that a special thing. All right, Gail. Gail wants a cantrip? I love cantrips, obviously. Um, acid splash? Bone chill is pretty cool if you have an annoying healing boss. And then Dancing Lights is kind of cool, just like as an explorational uh, cantrip. Let's do Bone Chill. Okay, spells? Oh, more spells for Dale. God damn it, Dale. How many spells must you have? Wall of Stone. I've seen Banishment be pretty good. Oh, it's temporary, though. Oh, okay. I didn't appreciate that when I did that. So then let's do, let's do Kona Cold. All right. Again, like, you know, Gale's, Gale's ready to fight the final boss, right? Now. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't really matter too much. Elminster's All right, so let me hammer this door, this wall away, and then we can take oh, our breaks. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What's that? Come on, Gail. <laughs> you got this, Gail. There you go. Uh huh. Just be clear with you, anyone else in this party could hit this wall in one hit. <laughs> Gale could too. He, he has Eldritch Blast, honestly. He could crush this wall. But we like to make him use the hammer. <laughs> Gale. Come on, Gale. Big roll, Gale. Come on. 
Come on, get a big roll here. There we go, Gale. <laughs> All right, now we can take our break, chat. Now we can take our quick break. When we get back. Uh, some like intergalactic mythical drama is about to go down. Like maybe more important than whatever's happening with the fucking brain that's wearing a crown is like uh, the Gith Yankee Prince. Uh, currently we're using his power to keep the uh, brain worms from completely taking over and so uh i don't i really don't know what happens if you free that man so we'll find out soon i think after the break see y'all on the other side We're back, baby. Who should be added to Mario Maker 3? What sort of question is this? None of them. None of them. Why is none not an option? <laughs> Um, I'm liking the Yeti so far. This actually is keeping the coffee hot. The Monster Hunter stuff for Street Fighter 6 had already been announced. I was presuming it was just lobby shit, right? Is there an actual, like, you get to fight a monster in 2D? I guess I'll click and find out. I 
actually, Chad, I got a question for you. I was thinking about doing a delayed input all about analyzing Hero Wars trailers. This is my favorite shit on YouTube. Oh, it's gone. Fuck. And I was wondering if there is, like, a YouTube channel that has all of them. Like, if, if they post them or if they're, like, just delisted immediately afterward. What is Hero Wars? It's like a mobile game that has nothing to do with what is being advertised, right? The advertisements are always this guy who's got hair like Jin, and he's like traveling and like trying to beat things with higher numbers, right? It's what you saw one second before Monster Hunter took over on that thumbnail. chat we're gonna have to have a long in-depth conversation about what classifies as something that looks cool it's all avatar gear I am glad- yeah, 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 that's an important emo. I'm actually glad it's in the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do not think that's a cool collaboration. But, honestly, I do prefer that to them adding, like, a skin to one of the playable characters. I actually like- you know what I mean? Like, Ken in Monster Hunter gear, like, looks like shit. In Street Fighter V. So I actually- I like that, you know, the crossover stuff is limited to, uh, Avatar stuff. The stage is cool? That stage was all stuff from the campaign. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so, well, ah, uh, shit. I couldn't take it from this channel because this seems like a third-party channel that's just been collecting everything. But here, you can get an idea of, like, why I think these trailers oh, are so everyone. good. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Shut up. No, this is shit they added for their own shit. Okay, so stuff like this. Oh, and then they add their own interstitials? This is so weird. This is weird. This is weird. I don't like that. But anyway, if you've ever seen an ad that looks like this, and then some guy's like, Hey! Yeah! Right? This isn't the game. This is not the game that you get to play. This is not Hero Wars. And they always fucking fuck up. That's the, that's the whole point. Love this shit. Okay, obviously he should attack uh, 15 or 6. He goes for 19! What are you doing? What are you doing? No! So that compels you to want to play the game. Ribbons all marked. Thanks for being a 27 monther. Did you see that Hero Wars and Street Fighter 6 collab though? No chat? Quit that. So anyway, yeah, I wonder I wonder if they have an official YouTube channel that has everything. Uh, I mean that that third party channel had to get those clips somewhere, I guess. But I do think, like, I actually think, like, a, a video analyzing the progression of each of those trailers would be interesting. I like the one where he falls into the panties. Into me. Um, I bet that's a bunch of them, chat. What do you mean, the one where he falls into the panties? Freaky, bro. There's a murder target behind us. Another murder target. Alright, so we gotta keep moving forward. 
keep moving on. Don't let Naughty Dog trick you. Don't let Naughty Dog trick you right here. That's a Naughty Dog trick. I'm not touching it. I saw one where he falls into that monster's panties and then his her husband kicks him down. See, that's a much better description. <laughs> no entry, no exit. We'll see about that, bro. What are you talking about? Still breathing, despite everything. Twenty, we can pass. Uh, it might take a. It might. Oh, I'm down to one thieves' tools. Shit. Nice. Reads like an early Dragon Ball punchline. It's what's like. Okay, so one of the like. There's like a thousand things that just get forgotten in Dragon Ball, and are never an element ever again. One. One of them is like. Bulma created like a shrinking wristwatch where if you just like sh flip it, she shrinks and she used that to travel with Goku really quickly. So it's like, oh yeah, you can get on my cloud if I shrink down. That was merely a setup for Master Roshi to like try to peep on girls in the bathroom. He ends up flushing himself in the toilet. But also, uh, that's it. Bulma's ability to shrink is never mentioned again. <laughs> Here we go. Guild hall. Hey, we're getting some more points of inspiration, which is nice. What's going on now? You're just like a sewer guild? What is this shit? I should speak up. It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Sees their toys as payment. Well, they failed to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... <sighs> we already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me? This is a private council. Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. Keep We're your underpants clean, chat. You recall our reports of Kethrick Thorne, general of the absolute, champion of Merkel, unkillable, tyrant of unkillable. Moonrise. Meet the one who killed him. Um, capsules I fucking love. Because here's the thing about capsules is like, uh, Dragon Ball could have been a show about capsules. Um,. Like, it could have been a world where, like, uh... People can just store anything inside of a small capsule and that could have been it, right? It's, like, just such, like, a side thing to this expansive world of, like... Extreme martial artists is what it becomes, right? Like, uh... What's so funny is the first tournament, right? Um, there's this guy who entered the tournament so that he could bring back water to his village that badly needs it. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I remember, Master Roshi is going to win this tournament, and then he's going to give his prize money to this guy. But no, he beats that guy up, and then he says, by the way, you're to capsules. You could just fill one with water and bring some water back to your, to your home. <laughs> And the guy's like, what? It's like, yeah, so there's a well over there. The well has free water. So put a bunch of water inside of a capsule and then take that home. And then he kept the prize money. <laughs> Unfortunately, all of that prize money went away in one night because of all the food they Goku needed to eat to refresh his uh, energy levels. Uh, and at that, in that moment... <laughs> 
Welcome in, Max Raiders. Welcome into the Monday stream. What do I think about Dragon's Dogma 2? I've been watching the streams of Dragon's Dogma 2. Um, I think that if I'm ever playing that game, if it does get nominated for Game of the Year, we'll say, and I gotta, I like, I have to play it, I think I'm gonna play um, a violent brute who has no business in the city. Everything that seems fun about that game to me is outside of the city walls and outside of the, the quests. So like always. No, because what I'm talking about with like, like with this game is I like the dialogues. I like I like uh like manipulating and being conniving and lying. I like all that stuff. Um it doesn't seem like that's even a fun path in Dragon's Dogma 2. I don't I don't think you should even like get invested in that story is my my perception of it. It's mostly about like how difficult the adventuring itself is. You know what I mean? I'm cr I'm crying about like camp supplies in this game. I think that's like a huge element of Dragon's Dogma 2. I think Dragon's Dogma 2 is meant to be like uh gritty. Like a gritty survival game. How much of this city have I seen? I'd say I'd say about 99%, 98 maybe. Yeah, I don't, you know what? I just like, here's the thing. I shouldn't have even talked to this guild. I was just wandering around the sewers. Like I have no, like I have an intergalactic issue to solve. And now they're just like, who are you? What are you doing here? You know, my fame precedes me. That's what you've been spying on me. Eh? Am I interrupting your gods? Just let me of pass. Course. They knew you were expected. The guild is this city's first and last line of defense. It's only natural that we watch the gates for anyone interesting. I'd say you qualify. I already know the one thing about you that I need to. You've crossed paths with the cult's leadership before, and you're still standing. I mean to burn the Absolute from the face of my city. So if you mean to help, congratulations. We just became the best of friends. Now, all right, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. My primary my primary thing I'm worried about right now um is smashing Orpheus out of jail. However, I am thinking about the eventual boss fights against the two uh uh demigods left. Uh And I like obviously are are we're aligned here, right? We both want to take down Gortash. So like, how confident do? Here's what I'm what I'm asking myself as the player. This is what I kind of like about this game is that like, yeah, you can't just like stomp through everything. What I'm wondering is, can this team of four heroes walk into Gortash's office and kill him, or am I going to need some help? And what I liked about the Raphael fight actually is that we couldn't. The four of us alone we could not win that fight. We did need help. Uh. So I'm wondering if these next two will be similar to that. I'm wondering if I actually do need to recruit the help of the sewer guild. Sorry, I saw a question. I'm like way back on chat too. I'm I'm, I'm like thinking about three things at once right now. Um, the ultimate alliance, Marvel Ultimate Alliance games. Two is very fun. Three, I can't even recommend. I played a ton of three. <laughs> I forget what it's I forget what it's called. It's like the like the Eve Six biome or whatever. Like uh the like you have to like uh like uh modify your own DNA. I, I totally forget what it's called. Uh, but like the the late game becomes so unfun. Uh of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Like actually like you're progressing your character stats and learning new moves is like not at all a fun factor of that game. Yeah, what am I trying to think? It's like something eight. It's called, it's like ISO eight. Is it ISO eight? Is that what they call it? 
I don't I really don't remember. There's like a little crystals into DNA and just like a yeah, ISO 8. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I can't recommend it. I will tell you that I played a lot of that game <laughs> and I enjoy it, but I can't even tell anybody else to play it, you know. Mm. You have, but don't be so quick to bat away a helping hand. You find few enough of them in this city. The flaming fist can be bought. The harpers are scattered and the parliament of beers, well, they're just generally too inbred to be useful. The absolutes at our gate. And the guild are the only ones truly standing against it. No, honestly, for me, I feel I kind of feel like uh, hopping in with Yakuza 7, right? Like, that's my first entry into the franchise, and I've played every since then. I think this is a similar kind of thing. I don't think I'll ever go back to D Divinity Original Sin, but I'll be playing every game Larian makes henceforth. This is my entry point. I'm locked in. I'm with it. But I don't think um, I'll go and do the backlog. Manually trashing ISO 8 was the worst, but you can get levels from replaying your choice of the story missions. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the thing is, I was doing that. The thing is, I was treating that game like an MMO, like a game as a service, like as if building my character would matter, and it didn't. It, what was I doing? What was I even doing? Oh my gosh. No, I played way too much of Mar Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. I was planning to soften you up a bit first, but... Straight to business, then. <sighs> of all the pains in my ass, the absolute was delivered. One in particular keeps growing. A new gang boss who calls himself the Stone Lord. If he was just another upstart who didn't like paying guild dues, fair enough. But he and his crew make no very demands. Enough. Leave no survivors to pass on the message. All I know is that on every scrap of ground he takes from me, the cult of the absolute soon starts sprouting. This game does have good voice actors. Um, uh, uh, one thing about this game, actually, that we should acknowledge is that they did say, uh, hey, we're not adding any more content, but we are adding more cinematic endings, notably for the bad endings. And I, I wonder if, like, if I waited a few more weeks, we might get one of those, you know? I am, like, obviously, like, you are a little apprehensive when you hear something like that. But, yeah, we're going to charge forward as we are. And you want this to become my problem. We know where he plans to it next. A little operation the guild have run in the city's counting house. Likely my crew. I've been to the counting house. Snare set ready to draw it tight. But I like a little certainty. And you've dealt with bigger bastards handily enough. That's true. Obliged. Shouldn't pose any problem for you. In return, if I can offer aid, information, just ask. You haven't been that evil? Oh my god. Chat, whenever you call Gordia soft, it hurts me. It hurts to hear that. Can't slow down. Two sides. Each itching to draw blades against the other. The sensation is contagious. Which the sensation is contagious. Either or both, so long as I get to spill blood. We're all on the same side, friend. Nine fingers invited. Oh, it won't be until June or July, is what chat's saying. Okay. Well, we don't like we don't like cinematics anyway because we're pure gamers. Am I right, pure gamers? Shit. It's <laughs> not at all where I wanted to end up. Revealed entrance. That's cool. So, still in the sewers deep. 
lies my friend Kithrak Voss. So we're gonna have to. I, well, let's just see what's on the other side of this room. Okay. When was our last Chrono Trigger playthrough? Chrono Trigger was actually on the docket for a minute. I would love to play through Chrono Trigger again. And while I prefer playthrough spelled O-U-G-H, I will not knock anyone for just uh, sticking with the U. I'm sorry, sweetie pie. I don't do requests. But toss me a few coppers, and I'll shoot you a saucy wink across the bar. Very kind see that of wink. you, sir. I'll be dedicating the next keening elven ballad to you. You look like the type to enjoy one. Now it's just a lot of sulky pickpockets. Those sulks are paying us for this. What a strange exchange. The dev room ending? That would be the only ending we're not going to see. I will do all 21 endings except for the dev room. And honestly, chat, I would really love to play the PlayStation version because it's got those super nice uh, 2D animated cutscenes. I'm trying to go north, dude. Yeah, I think I, dude, you ignored this room. Remember the gas room? Yeah, we gotta go to back to the gas. Uh, most of this team can fly. It shouldn't be a real issue. The DS version had the cutscenes. I don't think I'm playing the DS version. And I know, chat, I know you're you're going to tell me the DS version is the best version. It's so weird to deal with two screens while you're trying to uh, just stream something. The PC version does have the cutscenes. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, there you have it. Oh, there's a chest down there. Ooh, I don't think we are equipped. I don't think there's a single party member equipped to dispel the gas. We could do like a mage hand. No, you can't. Try it. Mage hand, flip this lever. Mage hand. Can't reach. Fuck off. Mage hand. What are you doing? Mage hand, where'd you go? Mage hand? <laughs> there it is. Get over here. No, no, no. Just... Mage hand, where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Mage hand can fly. Mage hand fly. There you go. You understand now, Mage hand? Fly to this. It died. All right, I did remember just now that we got to level everybody up and I'm so sorry to everybody who's just waiting for me to do that. Fighting style. What is that? Adopt a particular uh, style of fighting for your specialty. Now, she is a tosser now. Um, Like, would archery work for that? Ranged weapon? So when she throws her spear, does that count as a ranged weapon attack? It 
It does not. Okay. So then I would probably just pick defense. Yeah. Defense is really the only thing that could really play with it right now. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about leveling up in uh, Dungeons and Dragons. You know what I mean? You're just like, oh, okay. Well, that's another level, I guess. You know, it's like, okay. Ooh, we love cantrips. Um, there will never be a reason for him to use a cantrip other than um, Eldritch Blast. So maybe Minor Illusion. Sure. New spell slot. Hold monster chat says is pretty good. I'll do it. Yep. <sighs> Class features. Gain an additional lay on hands charge to heal yourself or allies. Very nice. Aura of Courage. You and any nearby allies cannot be frightened. The aura disappears if you fall unconscious. Sure. The way her uh, armor is so sparkly, I'm not sure if it fits, but the purple's nice. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. All right. Anyway, Mage Hand. Where is my Mage Hand? That's a conjuration cantrip, dude. It requires long rest. Now, chat says I can just Eldritch Blast. It. Let's try that, too. Eldritch Blast. All right, so let's, uh, hold on. Let's get you, uh, to fly to here. TB do Mm-hmm. Get over here. Fly to here. Oh, my God. Just jump here, then. Gordius, why are you being so weird, bro? Okay, and now jump to here. Or too far. Just fly to it then. Got it. Good looking out, chat. No, I didn't say everybody come. Hey, Dolo. How you doing, Dolo? Alright, now we get into this rustic chest. Walk pick it. With a flick of the wrist. Ooh, we need 15 for this. Alright, alright, alright. 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 You never confirmed him in Thara's level, my bad. <laughs> I'll lock it in. My bad, chat. Thank you for looking out. This is what I'm talking about. I don't succeed in this game without chat. Invasion plans for Baldur's Gate? A uh, map of Baldur's Gate depicting upper city, lower city, and outer city as far as Worms Crossing, as well as Grey Harbor and the near course of Chatha. Uh huh. Camp supplies, hell yeah. We should take those plans. They're evidence of something. All right. Now we can go north, I believe. I don't think you want to go north, dude. That's just a murder victim. It's the Emperor's old hideout, dude. I'm going in there. Okay, fine. Let's see what this does. There might be good shit in here. And Minthara did forget her again. I'm so sorry, chat. This is this is my you're witnessing my level of attention. <laughs> Except there we go. More invasion plans. Now, Emperor, why would you have these plans in the bottom of your basement, bro? 
Why do you have this shit? My own home. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful to you. Clothes? Get Yankee. Blackie has found us. Get my own wardrobe. The home of all my disguises. We are what we appear to be. And so appearances matter. Sorry, what did we what did we perceive? Charm or frighten a creature to gain 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Now we do charm a bunch. You perceived the wardrobe. Yeah, I already perceived it. Uh, I am curious if that armor is going to be good for anybody. So it's, uh, what was it, 18? 18 rare heavy. What do you got? 19 heavy. You can't even do medium. 19. Uncommon heavy. I think it'll be worth it because it's got Lithid protection if the wearer is inflect infected by a Mind Flayer tadpole, as Minthara is. They gain plus one to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Can never be frightened. What do we think? Minthara already can't be frightened because of the aura she just got. The lion's aura? Nice. All right, then let's just go. Let's go maximum armor power then. Uh, basically, your armor cl class is so clutch. Your armor class is everything. We can make Gale wear it. So what, uh, what's the disadvantage Gale has now? It's actually great for Gale. He won't cast spells. Oh. <laughs> All right, fine, 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 fine. That's nice. Oh my god, that's why everybody was in their underwear. When we got when we went to jail, everybody had their shit unequipped, right? You're right, we need Gail needs to put his makeup on. And you shall find me. So now everybody's just chilling in their underwear. Alright, well get your uh get your clothes on. Lazelle, I guess, never had a shirt. Just the pants. Um, yeah, Gordius has the backless extravaganza. You can have the Lionheart pink green. And you're going to need the, the obsidian. Eminently obsidian. All right. Oh, Gail. Um, shit. What happened to your regular clown clothes, dude? I lost it. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Love the streams, but can someone kick my ass and tell me to go practice bassoon? 
Randy, you gotta go practice bassoon. Easy enough. You got it. You're gonna you're gonna forget how to play bassoon if you don't keep playing bassoon. What the fuck? Oh, there's trouble out here. I see Get Yankee even. What's weird is this objective, Emperor's Sword? Sword of the Emperor. Oh, I see it now. My own sword. My first purchase as an adventurer. No use to me anymore. It's yours, if you want it. If you want it, ooh. Um, how good is it? My first purchase. Not that good, bro. Shapeshifter Slayer. This weapon deals an additional 1d4 damage against shapeshifters. Or polymorphed creatures. The wielder has a plus 2 bonus to save throws against spells. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Thanks for the XP, though. Oh, the constitutional amulet. You're right. Um... I guess we'll give it to our main character. Shit. So she's already got a necklace that gives her the poisonous damage, which is actually pretty sweet. Hmm. Mm. Gale. Oh, so when we're doing cantrips with Gale, we should actually be doing elemental damage because uh, uh, Eldritch Blast doesn't have any. Gale's got acid, cold, fire, lightning, thunder bonus damage on his uh, cantrips. We should absolutely be doing that. Uh, Dark Lord Ty, thanks for being a 15 monther. Hey Kyle, thanks for the streams. What's been my favorite stream game so far this year? Um. I mean, it's tricky. I think that both the uh, Infinite Wealth and FF7 streams were really fun. Uh, but they weren't full playthroughs. Um, Suicide Squad was a full playthrough. That was pretty good. And then DC Universe Online has a good start, no doubt. But I'm not done with it yet. All right, so uh, Gordius might be the one wearing that necklace. He's taking the Constitution. There you go, bub. That made his HP go up so high. Damn. That's crazy. Watch your HP. In this case, it is kind of a waste to give it to Gordius, but he wants it. The problem is he wants it. Shit. And Gail's got his makeup back on. The important thing. Let's get going. going. Okay, we should go talk to these freaks, I think. I think we're getting in trouble, but like, you can't just open a door to a bunch of freaks and then let them go. Who that? Should mind my step. Hmm. What's that? Lazel, glad you could join. <laughs> we failed a Give lot of perception checks. Of that artifact that you carry. Tell me, Lazel of Kalir, what reward do you think the astral prism will fetch once I pluck it from your corpse and present it to Vlakith? What honors, what riches will the undying queen grant me when I hand her the failed prince? Stand down. I protect the prism on our queen's behalf. The undying queen cares not for who delivers her the prism and the traitor prince within. All that matters is that it is delivered. The false heir's head will make a fine trophy for Vlakith. As for you, I will leave nothing behind but meat and shattered bone. 
Um, and you're, I'm so sorry, chat. You're right. We got away with the Jeremy Shockey gloves, but then I forgot to put them on anybody. <laughs> Yeah, it's an excellent angry face. Um, no, because the, the question was what what's well, they would ask what is the best game you stream? That was a, what was the best stream game? And to me, a stream game is very different from a best game. You know. Yeah, what are you fucking thinking? Look at look at who stands before you. I have given my life to Vlakith, and you, Lazel, Lazel a child loves that shit. Look and unascended, at her. would snatch my glory for herself. You may keep your head, but I will yet be exalted. I will yet see my name carved in slate. Vlakithka sivim hrath krashet. Ooh, that's a lot of XP. Um, all right, the gloves. I'm so sorry about the gloves. Now, I got a question for you. Uh, when Lazelle throws that spear, does that use her strength? Looks like it, because it's got the star over it. Yep. I'm thinking about giving it to Lazelle. I think to balance out the team, the play would be to give it to Minthara. But Minthara, basically, she's been doing a lot of spells lately. She doesn't get to smack with that cool mace much anymore. So I think we're going to give the uh, the gloves to Lazelle, main character. Now, honestly, a part of Gordius does still suspect that Lazelle will turn on him the moment she gets what she wants in terms of uh, freeing Gith Yankee kind. But, uh... For now, he has to act like an ally. Oh yeah, let's see actually. Let's see where she's at. I don't think, I mean, you, you chat, you can see what I got. I don't think I have any good rings for her. Um, yeah, strength 23 now, damn. Damn. Breaking the barrier. You're not supposed to go above 20. You're not supposed to. Oh, they just left. They had a p whole portal open and everything. They're just gone now. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. As we were. Seems simple enough. All right, so checking our map again. I think if I get up around here or straight through here, this will be how we eventually get to our main man, Kithrak boss. Why is Gordy half health? It's because I equipped uh, a thing that increased his constitution, which in effect created increased his max HP. But this game is not going to give you that for free. Obviously, obviously, we gotta keep side barrack cells. I'm so curious about that. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check that out. Can you jump up here? You can fly up there. Okay. So can you? Shit, flying is gone. I can't use it anymore. Up the old Gith Yankee jump. There you go. Okay. We're going in. Maybe this was another way to escape from the prison, is what I'm guessing. 
Yeah, that's cool. Different prison. There's another murder target in here. That's so crazy. Man, if you're doing the murder target quest, you're going all over the city. Uh, we're actually just going to go right back in that pipe. The pit latrine, excuse me. Z is your lithid fly. Got it. That's the one we always have access to. Thank you, chat. And it looks as though we might need that. Oh? What the fuck? Alright, unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna have to pick a side. And chat's gonna be mad, but I'm gonna fight against the, uh... Death's heads. Your death in the Dreadlord's name. Minthari, you need to see on. this shit. No, 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 come on. Come on. Proceeding. Minthari, you need to see this shit. Okay, she's involved now. Okay, we love this. So, uh, when she throws a weapon, it typically uh, does a lot of splash damage to our own allies. So when all of the enemies are just bunched up next to each other without any, any of us nearby, we're happy. In my best interest. Good damage. And then we do it again. Nice try. All right, Gale. Gale's actually stoked they're bunched up too. Gale finally gets to do some of his crazy shit. Uh, hurt them, Gale. Oh my God, Gale. Gale. Gale's chat. Gale is so stoked he finally got to use one of his spell slots. <laughs> like, Gale's always that's all Gale ever wants to do, but I'm always like, Gale, you know what you should do right now is grease. <laughs> Gale, you should use a cantrip, okay? Only use your free shit. He's been dying to do that this whole playthrough. Unfortunately, we could not save the refugees. I think they all died as Minthara was getting her way over here. Yeah, and I do th I do think Gale is upset that we did not walk into the bookstore. Scary noises from beyond this door. Can't keep me out. Oh, what am I thinking? No, no, no. Ow, ow, ow! Stepped on a trap. Cranium rat? No, we don't have speak with animals. A huge fucking adventure down here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got a huge adventure down here. Um, okay. So, uh, I do believe we could probably, like, pull this over if... Oh. I see. Alright, so we're gonna fly over there like freaks. I mean, target is too far. Stop saying that shit.
It looks like we really can't. Can we misty step out there? No. Damn. All right. We got. Looks like we gotta go the long way. Uh, like you would kind of think maybe, maybe you could just fly over to this shit. But no, he can't stop on any of that stuff. All right. Fair enough. Good tease. We won't be speaking to the cranium rat. Sorry you're missing that dialogue, chat. Now who's soft? can't lockpick anymore shit so i think when i canceled my last lockpick he used up my final tools here's our guy here's our guy here's our guy here's our guy this is him actually kithrak voss may the astral sea be still as you cross it and may your mind be of steel so your blade may be of silver to lack gear have you retrieved the Orphic Hammer? Will oh, we got it, Buster. chains finally be broken? I have retrieved the hammer. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. The prophecy is one step closer to fruition. Gith's son will soon ride against Vlakith, Voss, and I will follow him into battle. And you will wield the greatest <laughs> gift. Lazella approves of what she just said. <laughs> A silver sword. I will carry it for the honor of Gith, the great liberator, and her unforgotten son. Vinisk, now that you have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the astral prism. Once inside, smash Orpheus's bonds. His cry will shake the plains, and I will fly to your aid. The Prince of the Comet will sear the heavens again. Oh, this is freaky, First, we'll dude. defeat the Absolute, then we let the Lich Queen tremble. Think again. I will not permit your entry. Oh. Um, my Emperor says we can't. Hey, is there any way I could convince you to let me destroy your plans? Uh, what are you thinking here, Chad? I like I like one or four. I like ignoring the Emperor. Uh, because the truth is I have no idea how to get into the prison. Questions, Vinisk? You seem Leave to him on red, okay. Thought. Yeah, yeah, we're doing four. Yeah, ha bro, I have no idea how to get in. Yes, but you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others. No, just tell me how to get in. We've actually already asked him that before. Vinisk, friend to Orpheus. Together, we will end the Elder Brain, which shakes this city. Then, we turn our sights to Vlakith, the Queen of Deceit. When you break Prince Orpheus free, his psionic cry will alert us. I will fly to your The highest grade of weapon in give Yankee we will custom. Fell the elder brain and thwart the grand design. <laughs> we never fucking met that dragonborn. <laughs> like I never spoke a peep. We could have asked about him. To be fair, we could have and who's the new companion? Who is this? Let's see about this sword. What's so special about this? Five to twenty damage. Got uh when wielded by a Githyanki, this weapon deals an additional one to six. Uh a Githyanki holding this weapon has advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws, resistance to psychic damage, and cannot bench harmed. Weapon enchantment plus three. Uh I wonder if our buddy 
Gordius should just wield this sword. I'm gonna miss the cool butterfly attack. That thing was cool. You like it more than the trident? Trident to me is such a fun gimmick weapon. So let's see about this comparison, right? Um, it definitely, oh, look at her max damage with this bad boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see, I see. This would do probably more damage. Yeah, I feel like Lazel is built and destined for this. But then we'd have to like, we'd have to like think about who becomes our spear thrower then. Minthara? <laughs> it does seem at home in her hands. Yeah, I'm going to miss Sunbeam. Sunbeam we do get some good damage with. But, uh... Yeah, I'm, co I'm cool with giving this thing to Minthara. You can kind of just use both. Oh, so basically we could uh, be attacking with this, but if there's somebody ranged, we choose throw spear. Got it. And then it'll be equipped. And then you unfortunately would have to spend another turn equipping that. Got it. <laughs> Yeah, Gale is not a clown. He's Harley Quinn. <laughs> Good shit. Since I was old enough to hold a blade, I've dreamt of Oh, uh, I'm glad we gave it to her then. We made the right call there, chat. Swords cleave both meat and mind, body and brain. To swing one mesmerizing to be slain by one agonizing everyone i bleed with the sword will be my tribute to prince orpheus yeah that sword means something to her think on your history oh no did she fucking miss something oh i hope we pass this there's something we're missing here chat oh no there's something about the sword we like that all right here we go Okay. What did Lazel miss? What details did she miss? You recall another fact about silver swords. The Githyanki forbid their use by all other peoples. Oh. Wait, so what if we let Minthara use it? Only Gith's children may wield swords of silver. Unless a Githyanki grants the right in exceptional circumstance. The Illithid Grand Design nears. The true heir is shackled. These are exceptional circumstances. I grant my allies the right to my silver. That's our protagonist. Look how big that honking sword is, dude. <laughs> Alright, and now we got this like aquatic uh raft. Aquatic raft? Is that what you just said? Yeah, it's like an elevator. It's like a sideways elevator. <laughs> Bro, what are you trying to say? I'm gonna I'm saying I'm getting on it. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we have no idea how to progress this quest. So now we if are going to have to decide whether we're going to try to kill Gortash or uh, Ednar first. Minthara? Okay. Oof. That was close. Sideways a tram. I guess I would call it a tram. Sure. Hello? Lona? What 
are you doing down here, Lorna? Ho oh, there. Seems like a good moment to talk. Ah, a friendly face at last. <laughs> friendly. Are you going to the party as well? Every option but four would have told you if you wanted to know. Oh, how to oh, how to crack that that bad boy open? That's funny. You're, we're talking about uh, when the emperor was talking to us. The emperor was talking shit. We chose to ignore him, and that was the only way to not know how to progress that that side quest. I know. Bit strange, isn't it? But then you have to be open to trying new things. The venue's Good, called uh, the Palace. Performance capture. Not sure what it stands for, but it sounds very exclusive. My date's supposed to meet me here, but there's no sign of him. You haven't seen him, have you? Pale, skinny, extremely piercing eyes. The individual descriptions could refer to many things, but taken together, she can only be referring to something vampiric in nature. It's funny. He was ever so keen for me to come. I did not pick up on he that. Didn't seem that was a good roll. Uh, your date was a vampire, bud. A vampire? No. no he wasn't. Yeah, he was. Was he? Yep. But then, why am I still here? He could have had me by the neck any time he liked. You think something's happened to him? You know what? I might give this party a miss. Plenty more fish in the Chionthar, as they say. Chomp. If you see him, don't tell him I was here. Just tell him I, um, I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. I'm sure he'll understand. So there's a vampire party down here? How about that? Um... New Vampire Weekend album soon, chat. Let's see. Don't be too cool for it. A lot of sludge around here, huh? Oh yeah, these are their vampire eggs. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, you know what? Let the vampires have their party. I remember no <laughs> shit. God, this is a chat. This is I get so easily distracted. I do remember there were a couple of flapping demons that were chatting before we finally found Voss. I remember them now. I remember them now. Can't go further that way. Okay. Uh, actually, honestly, I think it's faster just to teleport it back to the surface. Uh. Goldash? Or Orin? Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna fucking do. Disable the steel watch. Kill Orin. Kill Gortash. Something going on in the lower city. There's a there's a robot factory in the lower city. Will we fall victim to falsehoods? No. This is the lower city. It is.
The Suspicious Toys. I'm over Suspicious Toys game. I'm over it. This is the bookstore that uh, Gail really wants to go to. And because they're simply not marking a spot on my map where we would find the robot factory, I may have no choice but to humor Gale. All right. So be it, Gale. It's not a lie. If you would just listen, I could explain. You have done quite enough. <laughs> you have explain done quite enough. <laughs> you have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies, your delusions, your conspiracies. Though you hide behind a mask of stories, we have seen beyond the veil. We see what you really are. Fearmonger. Hear, hear! Attention seeker. Hear, hear! <laughs> Agent of chaos. Why is my party getting involved in this shit? Parasite stirs in recognition. This man is infected. Wreck the hell's Volo! Today, citizens... Oh, okay, so we've met Volo before. Of this Today, Volo is uh, at the goblin camp, apparently, earlier. Falsehoods. Today, we will be divided no longer, for today we rise in truth. Wait. Wait. No. Stop. I won't keep you from helping, but an explosion sounds far more entertaining. Oh, shit. At that, like, when she says it like that, I just want to entertain her, you know? Chat, strap me to the mast. <laughs> well, go on then. Do whatever it is you're planning to do to him. Lash. Lash me to the mast. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Chat? Lash me to the mast. I think we're going to let that man explode. Suit up or shit out. Yeah. I mean, really, chat? There's no reason. Okay, the only reason, the only reason, the only stated reason is that we had a perception roll and he realized that there's something squirming in this guy's mind. Uh. However, we're on our way to find the robot army, so. No. No. Goodbye, Volo. Please, no. I take it back! Dear citizens, justice awaits! No! Please! No! It is so crazy that happened in engine, basically. You know what I mean? Like this game fucking rolled on all of that damage. There's no reason to do that. It could have just been a cutscene, but they're like, no, 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 we'll make it fair. I love that, bro. What's hiding here? Minthara used fly. She didn't want to touch that fire. There appears to be barely legible notes of a work and heavily in progress. Ghost, Banshee, Poltergeist, Spooky? Eee! One mugful ice, one half mugful distilled potato spirit, three thimbles citrus juice, garnish with mint. Am 
Master Volo, I have been a great fan of your work for many years, most notably your theories on the bowl spawn and stale form. In fact, I have recently unearthed some information that I believe you will find most fascinating. Let us meet at the docks and confer, one scholar to another. Trust me, you do not want to miss this. Ooh. Okay, we got Volo's eye. When this is embedded in your eye socket, you can see through the tiny orb as though it were a normal eye. Can't be removed once inserted. So what is it for? It's an eye for your eye hole? I mean, wait, I got I got a hag eye, bro. I'm not I'm not swapping. You can't make us split up the family. I do kind of want to talk to that person who knows about uh rage form. What did he call it? This guy knows how to digivolve. You let him try to get the worm out, and he fucks up your eye and gives you that instead. Oh, Got it. Mother, queen of the depths, hear me. Please carry Holly to her final rest. Wave mother? Wilds. Are Please. these mermaids? Sorry. Are you here for Wave Servant Holly's funeral? Oh, it's already started. Out the just inside. Uh. Okay. Yes. Oh, please, you're most welcome. We have much to be thankful for. May the Wave Mother smile on you as she did Holly. I guess we're going to a funeral, chat. The Water Queen's house. I think we're about to fuck up this situation. I think this conversation ends in murder. Rejoice, sisters, for Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death. Her lips blue with her kiss, her lungs full of her quenching word. Umberly's mercy saves Yeah, look at his skeptical snow, face. Sinking death in the beast's shadow. How dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's, but a suffocating flood of fruitless guards and bursting flesh. You, supplicant. Supplicant? What do you bring to honor the wave mother's fallen daughter? Nothing. <laughs> it's like the way Gail looks at Gordius right now. <laughs> uh, I don't have any tribute. Then you'd better have a good reason for approaching so brazenly. Was the deceased Holly, one of Umberly's beloved wave servants, blessed Umberly, saw fit to spare an ignoble death. But her passing was not as the wave mother intended. It was a beast who took her life, an unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly, a wretched metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. Here we go. Yes. Metal monstrosity, you say? Black blood into Umberly's pristine waters. Let's talk. I too am at odds with the metal monstrosities. The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her, 
And her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if she's talking about Gortash or like some Gortash underling who's like engineering the shit. The beast struck Holly while she was swimming in Grey Harbor. She was found by some fishermen. We haven't found its lair as yet. Perhaps you can find where the beast takes its slumber and skewer it before it wakes. All right. I'll see what I can do. Salt kiss your brow. We await your return and the beast master's demise. Salt kiss your brow is good oh, fantasy writing, chat. I don't care what you think, it's good. For this injustice, leave its master. A bloated carcass in the spew. What a bunch of weird mermaids. They just hang out here? This is the house of the Water Queen, Kyle. I'm just gonna steal her shit. Let's just skip a few steps here, right? Darkbreaker. Stop! These are the flood tides chambers. You've no business here, Flotsam. Flotsam? Did you call me Flotsam? All right, can we win this fight without alerting everybody downstairs? I don't think so. I don't think so, but we'll give it a shot. Joe Town, thanks for being a 46 monther. Violence hasn't gone unnoticed. <laughs> I'm sure. It's about to be returned in kind. See you weak with your lungs full of water. Oh no 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 no! Please don't come upstairs. Please don't come upstairs. This is where chat would fucking lock this door. Chat has a spell. Oh no. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Chat's got a spell that can like keep a door locked. <laughs> and I was like, chat, I'll never need that spell. I will never need that spell is what I said. Shit. That was our chance. Yeah, it sounds like a useful spell, actually. If you're, like, a murderer. We have it? Who's got it? Who's got it? Mm, Gail, you got arcane lock? Taste. All right. What now? Oh, chat has it. Okay. Yeah, of course you have it. Congratulations. I do kind of want to meet these fishermen down here. Damn, there's a secret uh, dirt over here. Big liar bronze on? I challenge you to a lying duel. trying to tell me about fishing. I've been fishing here all my life. That's a lie. I'll give it a shot. Water Queen's lair? Oh, there's mermaid drama going on down here. You shouldn't be down here. Very cool. This place is off limits to lay people. I don't give a shit. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order. They did put a lot of enemies down here. May you wait with your lovely of water. <laughs> I love the shove. Always worth a shot. 
Ah, he says. Okay. Let's do some. Eldritch Blast. Doesn't quite work like uh, Infinite Well, where you're trying to knock enemies into allies. Burned in holy light, bro. There was one thing she's supposed to be doing every turn. Maybe we don't have that anymore. This one. You are these things? But what's our new shit? What is that? Soul breaker. Ooh, awesome. Rend the enemy's body and soul and possibly stun them. Fuck yeah. So what can we do? What do we like? A firebolt should like add damage on top of this if he hits. Uh, what are you trying to do? Out water elementals suck. We'll counterspell that. No problem. Yeah, I remember now. I can do a water uh, elemental now. I remember now. I can do that too. Dola. Don't waste a step. Oh, the fucking water elemental. My bad. Let him go. <laughs> Let him go. <laughs> He's like, ha. <laughs> Your command. Damn it, Gail, get out of the way. Gail. Gail. Gail, shit. All right, let's see if we can do Gail's turn now. We can. Let me recite that demo. See if like Ray of Frost. This should be your most. Twenty six. Okay. Yeah, we should be doing his spell slots. Oh, I forgot to move him. Damn it, Gil. Big miss. No, I think you aimed at a rock. My bad. Cool. And then the little water buddy she summoned splashed away. <laughs> there is no running from an oh, no. blast. Okay. Water demons? Let's see. What were you hiding? Treasures untold, of course. Hell yeah. Polished necklace, not nice. No, no, no. no we take camp supplies. No. 
Yeah, look at that fish. Yummy. What the fuck? Steal from the very sea that birthed you. Enjoy these breaths. They shall be your last. Okay. Okay. These seem to be bad boys. These seem to be bad boys. This might be a more difficult fight. <laughs> well, they're missing their shots. Alright. Get you to move up. Oh, first this. First this. Uh-huh. Then we like a little... Boop. Share the wealth! Uh-huh. I like it. <laughs> that was sick. Great. Spear throw. No time to waste. Let's do it again. Good. Uh. Charmed you. <laughs> it worked. Okay. Blood Frenzy on Gordius. Why? I just charmed you, bro. No Blood Frenzy. Uh, just allow you walk forward. Give him a little chop. Chop, chop. Great. Continue onward. A wise move. A little bonus damage here. Gail's gonna be able to clean this up. You missed. Get charmed. See, this is why that one thing that does extra damage to charmed enemies is actually pretty good. Kyle, you stole from the ocean. I didn't steal from shit. I earned this treasure. Alright, so actually, just because this guy's like, he's dead. Oh, let's do some of this shit. Give him a bone chill, bro. Good miss. Got it. <laughs> That's a miss. Oh, did you forget how D&D &D works? <laughs> Lazel got an attack of opportunity for some reason. You fool. Target's too close. Uh, we can hit him one or three times. Another step forward. Time to strike. Time. My path be true. In my best interest. The heroes. Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum. No, 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 no. You shouldn't have done that. You did a bad thing. That's yeah, so we can loot them. I don't think they have anything. Yeah, these were just, you know, underground scrubs. They're not like... Oh yeah, we got a sapphire, sounds fancy. A little pouch, a little peridot, sure. A flute? She was a musician. Ooh, that's too much for Gordius. We gotta move some gear off of him. Sorry, I really just want to see what Gordius looks like in the scale mail. This is just out of curiosity. Oh, it does not have the same effect. I thought he'd have the cool mermaid clothes. Not even close, bro. Okay. Yeah. 
of crones, dude. What are you doing with that still? Uh, break time. Let's go a little deeper into uh, discovering the crimes of the mermaids. They were definitely chat. They were definitely up to some shit. I'll take that. I got their horn shell. They're about to eat this fish, man. They wouldn't have attacked us if they weren't hiding something. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I've learned that I actually love the dice. Don't waste a step. Wait, I think that's it. No, there's more up here. An illusory wall, perhaps? Somebody pass a check. <laughs> There we go. Immune to slashing damage, you say? Okay. What kind of damage can you take? How about this shit? Dolo. Dolo, bro. We should have had Gale handle that. What's in here? Scroll of Disintegrate. Very rare. That is 550 to 100 damage. That is easily the best sell spell we've seen. Shoot a thin green ray from your finger. If the 50 to 100 force damage reduces the target to zero hit points, it disintegrates into a crumbly ash. Do we give that to Gale or Gordius? What would you do? You'd give a clown that power? <laughs> it is. It's don't own raid. It's 100% is. Gordius can't even learn that? Oh, man. N Warlock's not allowed, huh? Can Minthara learn it? That's a nice spell, bro. We got your best shit, you dumb mermaids. <laughs> I wonder if there's any reason to come down here. I bet it won't even let you. Yeah, it won't. You just meant to look at this. Got it. Only wizards learn from scrolls. Got it. Got it. Honestly, I think that's, that's a fair rule. I'm not even mad about that rule. I think that makes sense and it makes wizards special. I'm way cool with it. Um, let's do it, and then we can take a quick break. Disintegrate, bro. Level 6 spell. He's not even ready to learn that. <laughs> Shit. Gail's like, I, I don't, I don't, I, uh, uh, none of this makes sense to me. Disintegrate? I don't... I'm sorry. No, I get it. That's all right. That's all right, Gail. We got it for the future. Yeah, I, I don't think Gail's close to leveling up. Here goes nothing. All right, so one thing I am curious about, and we'll see about this, is if uh, the mermaids up top will know what we have done with the mermaids down below. <laughs> Lizelle slipped twice. Very humanizing. I think I'm afraid of swaggle jeans. Ah, don't worry. Big lawyers just own your leg. And no. It was a safari. Bigger size. Bands. What's all that? Discussion. May you too feel Umberly's embrace. One May day. you too. May you too. They don't know. Chat, they don't know. Now, here's the thing. I actually, like, I was actually into whatever dialogue was being spouted down there. There was some rift in, like, how much they believe in their ocean goddess, but, uh, we had no time for that.
So, out of that, we did get an extremely good spell for Gale, which I suspect he would, like, on his next level up, he probably would learn anyway or whatever. But, uh, in a pinch, he can just use it. He won't learn it. It'll, it'll, it will burn the scroll. But, uh, in a pinch, we could just make Gale use that attack. Minimum 50 damage is pretty nice. But obviously, like, uh, that sounds like a good thing to keep around. I long for such a beautiful death! <laughs> okay. Um, alright, so we'll take a quick break there, chat. Now, chat is telling me we're actually super close to the robot warehouse. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, no. Well, I guess it might be a double-double. Chat's saying the train tracks lead to the robot warehouse. So, this way or that way. We're, we are actually already very close to it, so we'll get there. Yeah, actually, I mean, I love shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, that, that scroll is overpowered for what our party is at right now, but we would not have happened upon it unless we had done a bunch of mermaid shit or, in fact, just killed the mermaids and taken their treasure. That's just silly. All right, uh, quick break chat. See ya on the other side.
We're back, baby. Oh, that's a rude one. And now, actually, just over the break, I was checking it out. It is legit. <laughs> there is a Microsoft Store page for Silk Song. You can now wishlist that game. Um, it seems like only the Xbox One is up. Like, I don't think we can wishlist it on Steam or Switch, but hey, that's something, man. Like, uh, Team Cherry is tweeting it. Um, themselves, like, official channels are saying, check this out. You can now wishlist Hollow Knight Silk Song. So, um... At the very least, you don't have to presume that it's gone, right? Some people are like, that game's never coming out. At the very least, like, it's coming out. But at the very most, soon? At the very most, can we expect it this year? I would gladly stream that game for day one. Uh, Hollow Knight took me a long time. And if that's going to be, if it's going to be like a 50 hour game, I think that would be tough on a weekly basis to stream, honestly, because it's not like uh, things change too much. It wouldn't be an evolving stream that picks up momentum as it goes, I think. It kind of rubs me the wrong way when you say it doesn't exist. I never, no, 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 I never said that. <laughs> Are you talking about me saying it doesn't exist? I've always believed. <laughs> I've never stopped believing in Silk Song. Not you, but people. Okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Many people have said that. Copy that, chat. Well, I, okay, here's the thing, though. Uh, to sympathize, empathize, I guess I should say. Uh, for those people, it's like, They've been burned too many times. A person who says that believed in a game that got canceled. You know what I mean? They've been through it too many times. So yeah, I mean, like, their their cynicism is semi-warranted based off of uh, historical evidence. But also, you gotta believe, bro. Silk Song. May I recommend a long rest before you go in and try the Steel Watch Foundry? Ah, uh, recommendation? Denied. Uh, best I can give you is a short rest, but we barely used any spell slot. Oh no, we used up both of uh, Gordius's. Action, not reaction. Only two of Gales. By my oath. And two of Mintharas. So this does use up a spell slot. Got it. Looking ahead. Gord gets him back on a short rest. All right, let's do a short rest then. still draw breath yeah me too that's why i would have wanted to do a short one it's crazy they just keep her like eyes open flaunt, lying on the floor this whole time that's a mermaid that was killed by a robot um dr fairwise <laughs> who are you seems like a good moment to talk did you hear the wave servants talking about a beast in Grey Harbor? If that's true, prayers are the least we can do. Okay, buddy. Copy that. So that's just a warlock thing. Warlocks get their spell slots back, but um, wizards are, they need a long rest to remember their spells. No, I'm cool with it. You need rules, right? Okay, so the question is if we're doing a stealth mission? <laughs> Poor Volo. Or if we're just going to try to uh, defeat robots. Shit. Yeah, we all know what you're about to try. 
<laughs> shit, 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 shit. All right, we're gonna try it. Go, 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 go. You've set foot in Fuck. a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order. All right. Well, so, I mean, you know, we can convince humans pretty easily. I don't know about a robot. Let's try. Oh, shit. Uh, deception or persuasion give us the exact same bonuses. So we could say, why are you looking at me like that? I live here. Or we can say, just a quick look around. Won't hurt anyone. You won't even know I was there. I have a paperback source book called Volo's Guide to Monsters. So Volo's like an established character, huh? You like one better? One seems like... I think it's, I feel like it'd be a harder role to convince a robot that I live here than I'm supposed to be here. I'm just doing a quick look. One is Gordius. Okay. Shit, chat. 22. Now we do have a 23 bonus and an advantage on this, so it's likely we win. Oh, they killed one of my die. They gotta stop doing that. Favorable beginnings. <laughs> what was favorable beginnings? I don't even know why I have most of these bonuses, you know what I mean? I don't know I got a plus six from favorable passage. beginnings. What you do with that privilege is up to you. Not so infallible after all. All right, we might actually have uh, topped off again on our. Wonder what's past this. Um. Ooh, twenty. Shit. Uh, points of inspiration. I think we might be at uh, four points again. Well, let's try. Well, I could use one of my points of inspiration if we fail this. Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> we'll take it, bro. Good hacking, Gordius. Oh, yeah, this is a fucking robot factory, bro. Gail, come on, bro. Okay. good are they without their limbs? I think we're gonna have to kill these two guys. Curse to put my hands on everything. It looks like there's no talking our way through that scenario. Here we go. sharp gaze. I can barely keep my eyes open. I need to rest. You have a son, do you not? Is he as lazy and pathetic as his spineless mother? Sounds like a game publisher. Wait! Stay your hand, I beg you. Prinsky's motivation sequence activated. Tell me, Gondian. Tell me about your son. He's not... <sighs> yes. Motivation Obviously sequence not. activated. <laughs> He's frail in body and mind like me, like all of us. <laughs> Yet by your grace, he lives. And your wife? She is... was... useless. And interfered with production quotas. You were wise to remove her from this world. Forgive my outburst. I will work through the night. This watcher will be operational by dawn. I will allow it. But if your work is anything short of impeccable, your son will die screaming. Is that clear? 
Yes. Overseer Holtz. Chat, you know I struggle with media literacy. Um, which person was the bad guy? <laughs> Gordius, got it, got it, thank you. <laughs> this one. My brother, stand ready. Gondians, so much as twitch, and I'll rip your tongues out myself. Yeah, we need to steal that crystal, I agree. She's a follower of Bane, the god of tyranny. The god of tyranny. Um, let us deceive you then. Ooh, see, this what we don't get our full deception roll here. Um, that one's good. I wish to bathe in the blood of those worthless Baneites. You can help, Gondians, or you can die. Gondians, fight back. Do not let these people torment you. Or, I'm here to help, Gondians. Together, we can free you all. Looks like intimidation check is my best shit. No, the in yeah, the intimidation checks are... I think this one is good because we get to use a little bonus of uh, the religious check. But this is very funny. So it, it sounds like it sounds like um uh everything but number one, and we start a fight. What's going on here with this armor? Bulging out of her thigh armor, bro. <laughs> Minthara's flexing her thighs, it's like breaking her armor. Easy, Minthara. Uh how do we get the crystal? I think we kill her. I'm kind of ready to brawl. Let's uh, let's we'll see. I bet we can win this brawl. Can you steal in this game? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna try brawling. Ooh, easy roll too. Hell yeah. Charisma, paid the price. Intimidation, intimidation. An interloper? How did you get in here? It matters not. You revealed yourself for nothing. The Gondians wouldn't know a spine if I ripped it from their backs and beat them with it. You're wrong. Even if we beg, even if we humiliate ourselves, it won't matter. You'll kill us all anyway. What was that? I said, we shall bow no more. Uh, little For birthmarks the like these God. are kind of cool, I think. I think that comes from, like, scanning a lot of human beings. All right. Look at that fucking sword. Taking position. Yeah, I mean, this is too good because it's AoE, man. We get so much splash damage off of this shit. That's incredible. I understand, like, she, yeah, we'll, we'll keep the sword on her. Nobody deserves a sword more than, uh, Blazel. Yeah, I don't think you can swap it even. Ooh, acid arrow. I like that. Scorching ray, good shit. If you saved the Gondians back in Act 2 in the prison in Caven, you can use their name to make these Gondians fight on your side without a check. That won't be necessary. <laughs> Bro, this fight's over. This fight's over. I'm doing it. All right. It's in the spell slot. Uh, counter spell. Prinsky's motivation sequence activated. No, the motivator. Deactivate. 
Activate it! Hurry! Uh... What? Hex. Ready for battle. Chat, was that soft? Onward. I'm starting to understand what you're talking about. Yeah, I wanted to do the tentacles for the novelty. That wasn't a smart move. Taking position. So much blood. One problem is time. The smell. Deal with the bodies. So much blood. The fucking tentacles are still doing shit. Dale. Pushing tempers to the limit. Persist, and things may get out of hand. God damn it, Gale. Incinerate them. Gale. Dismiss the tentacles. Your actions have not gone unnoticed. If they persist, it seems they will not go unpunished. All right. How do you chat? How do you dismiss? Here we go. Okay. Fresh orders. <laughs> Fucking everyone. Everyone's like Gale. Gale. <laughs> Gale, turn him off! Turn him off, Gale! Alright. So, uh, let us ransack this corpse. Kill switch protocol! So valuable! Prinsky's motivator is the supreme Bayonite means of ultimate coercion, but it is safe, useful solely as a deterrent and not as a weapon. When triggered, the user has only moments to deactivate it before the prison tank charges detonate and the hostages are killed. Uh, taking with it our leverage over the Gandhian artificers. Threaten convincingly, but never go to full detonation unless the entire foundry falls to our enemies. Details. So long as you hold the motivator, you are safe from the Gandhians. For they know that if they are attacked, you are attacked, their loved ones will die. However, if to prevent accidental massacre, the motivator can be deactivated easily with the correct input. Don't worry about the Gandians. They're far too far terrified to grab a dropped motivator. They are weak and cowardly, and natural prey to the worshipper of the worshipper of vain. Um. Uh, that is some nice armor, dude. Infernal mace. And a better mace than what she's got? Yeah, you lose sunbeam. But the extra poison damage is worth it, bro. Alright, Minthara. Get yourself a new mace. No one stopped me yet. Chess says poison sucks. Oh, well, it's better than that light damage, right? It's a better mace. It's a better mace. I should speak up. Blessed be. Can maces be dual wielded? Excellent what question. Have we done? They're dead. They're all dead. It's resisted a lot. Yeah, I do feel like any RPG where where poison is good balances itself by making like any tough boss immune to poison. How does it feel to have a spine? Like I'm about to projectile vomit. The overseers hold more than our lives hostage. They have our families. And if they see what we've done, killing me will only be the beginning. God help us. Radiant and One force damage is up. king. So there, we got some debate. Chat would like for Minthara to get her old mace back. Oh, we didn't even actually equip it. So she still got it. She still got it. The the 
She keeps the money. Gail, I don't even know why you had that much money on you. Let Minthara handle the money. Are you gonna be sick? Cut them up? Or perhaps incinerate them? What if I get caught? I helped kill an overseer. We're not thinking that. Like dead! Please, someone! Dead! Shut up. Uh, let's take a look at the, uh, activator, right? But we should give this to Gale just in case he's got to use it in a pinch. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I know you don't. Um, it should be up higher. Oh, Minthara's got it. No, Gordius picked it up in the middle of that match. It was Gordius who saved her life. The crystal is still on the ground. All I did was deactivate it. Got it. There it is. so much blood. I think it's. I guess it's just once it's deactivated, it's worthless. Can y'all stop talking? Sheesh. What if I get caught? No, so much blood. I don't think you might. Oh, and the smell. I think her armor is really cool. It might be an upgrade for Mindara. Oh, not at all, actually. Shit. Yeah, it's not always the case where the armor they're wearing in-game becomes the armor the character wears. Some, with some bosses, absolutely, but definitely not always. Did we swap that armor? You did. Alright, so we're not done in here yet. We still have to go to the heart. Bastards deserved it. Greater toughness, you say. Alright, well, there's gotta be a switch for it. These are fucking scary. We do not want them to wake up. I don't like daddy. Alright, let's try going up this ladder. We have a gift dar. Yeah, I don't even like... What do we even have that for? I don't remember picking that up. I bet we could pick that lock. Everybody is still yammering. Cut the cackle. I think we should auto save again. Cause this guy is up to some shit. Tubin is do Tubin is uh mind controlled or something. Cool. That'll get us down to the heart of the beasts. Very sweet. Alright, Tubin. Where'd you go? gate betrays your presence stranger you don't belong here ow oh that's hot coffee damn that burned my throat 
What about that giant sword? I don't think any of us can wield it. What? Go away. Your presence imperils us all. Beware if the Yeti, yeah. To escape, Absolutely, dude. That was die. nasty. The overseers, they have a contraption. When triggered, it will kill everyone who wears a collar. Yeah, and I broke it, bro. Before any of them can press a button in the palm of their hands, you may be quick, but nobody is that quick. Um, all right. Well, the, honestly, bro, if you all blow up, I'm okay with that. A grim solution. <laughs> Gail's like, come on, man. That's not cool. <laughs> if your understanding of the situation were correct. Unfortunately, we are not the only ones threatened by the collars, or we would have laid down our tools and rebelled against our oppressors already. Our families are held elsewhere. The overseers need only activate those contraptions they hold, and they suffer the consequences of our actions too. We cannot win. We must aid in building these Vagun. Is he doing Gith Yankee swears? Ooh. Yeah, tell him, Gordius. It's selfish to value your families more than an entire city. Maybe. But it yeah. could be unnatural. <laughs> Show to some mercy. Otherwise. I know this place better than anyone. Better than the Gondians, even. I could help you destroy it if I knew our families were safe. Can I lie? It seems like I should be able to lie to him right now and be like, oh yeah, I already saved them. Gond, spare us all. Perhaps if I adjusted the watcher's room to me. Your wife? Zagdar? Your horse? Dead. Blemish? Breathe. Your child? You have Dingda? Oh, Why did you use that key? Hard it's too heavy. Can't even lift it, chat. Alright, everybody in. Everybody in. Everybody in. That was alarming. Oh, we're just fighting? Okay. Shit. We're just fighting. We got a robot involved in the fight, too. All right. Okay. Taking position. Oh, and even these, uh... Gondians are fighting. They think they have to protect their stupid families. So be it, bro. Damn. Yeah, Gordius gets auto auto blur, which is awesome. <laughs> Psionic dominance, bro. Didn't we convince the Gondians upstairs? We convinced the one upstairs one, yes. But not the downstairs Gondians, unfortunately. Um wait, that is the same one. No, a different one. Different one. Um, I'm not gonna uh, counter spell yet. What I've learned is this: pocket your counter spells for more serious shit. Gale. And now this shit's this guy's just blocking the exit. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh. 
I banish you. That will not work on this. Fifty percent chance. What do you think, chat? Will he roll the dice? Of course I will. Good idea. Oh. We can, however, uh, shadow step out of it. Mistra Rill. Okay. Uh Gale is stuck. Gale cannot shadow step. So he's gonna have to like uh give you the chili willies. Um What do you got, Gale? Conjure Elemental is a really good idea right now. I don't know what a robot would be weak to, but I like foyer. Sure. I think a robot would be weak to fire. Not enough space. Immobile maimed. What are you talking about? Who's maimed? You can right click it. I can right click what? You can right click it to see its resistances. Examine, got it. Lightning vulnerability. Cool, 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 cool. Unfortunately, Gale is maimed right now, so he can't summon shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm maimed. Immobile maimed. He can't do shit. Damn. All right. Um, at least like do do this. Gail rolled three dice. Right. He got a one twice. <laughs> All right. Not your best rolling, Gail. Actually, do, uh, well, see, she might need to be healing. This sucks. I actually wonder what her best shit against this bad boy is. I like it. What do you mean, no target? Look in front of you. Do it on yourself and then the target? I am not impressed with that damage, quite frankly. So chat says in their playthrough, they went down here and uh, the rebels worked alongside them. Harry. Blight. No blight. For me, they were just, they just wanted to attack immediately. That's tough. Yeah, unfortunately, we got to stick with uh, throwing the spear because of all this nice splash damage, man. No time to waste. That's, that's awesome. Critical mass? We got one in there. And honestly, yeah, I'm taking the second, the action surge now. It actually makes more sense to do it earlier in the fight than save it for later. Path is not interrupted. It's not. Good God. My main character right there. Yeah. <laughs> did it just jump out of the way? It did. I wonder why. That's weird. All right. God, yes. Disadvantage, and I feel like I can't 
Oh, the Aura of Terra is working. Excellent kill. Uh, Alright, unfortunately this time I have no incentive to deactivate this shit. They're attacking me. I want your heads to explode. I think you should probably deactivate it. I can't reach it up in the sky. I can't reach it. Oh no, it's because he's maimed still. <laughs> Do you need healing to become unmaimed? Gail can't even move right now. <laughs> he's just stuck. shoulders oh yeah i'm not i'm not saying it's unfair that these um these gondians are not as motivated as the ones that upstairs were yeah, i think it's funny to point out that when, like when so somebody in chat did this mission they were happy to join the fight immediately and i do think the difference is the way that i had my exchange with the gondian upstairs Oh, shit. I didn't know those worked like that. <laughs> yeah, you did not. Okay, you gotta, you gotta fly. Not enough resources. Shit. Okay, let's, uh, let's get you out here. Maybe you can get the kill before something bad happens. Oh, shit. Picking the rust bucket. That's a point of inspiration, huh? Right, are we cool now? No. You still want to save your family. Okay. So be it. Blood comes easy these days. Alright, what can you do about this motivator, bro? Phew. Phew, he says. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another robot found us. <laughs> That's bullshit, bro. It just walks right up. That's some role you had. Okay. Um. Now let me ask you this on Lazel's turn. I'm Fury. If I'm I just wanted dead. to smack this thing with the other weapon, would I have to go inventory? Sword? Here? There we go. Okay. That's all we gotta do. Oh, but that took my turn. Shit. So be it. Nice. That would still provoke an attack of opportunity, even though we saw it get knocked down. Come on, bro. Okay, then forget it. Victims await. I don't understand it. I will enjoy this. A big miss? I don't think it was a big miss. I think it just wasn't a lot of damage. Got it. Uh, let's give that to. Oh, soul burning. I don't fancy their chances. All right. Would you like to use a spell, Gale? Would you like to use Witch Bolt? No. Gale would like to summon an element. If I were to read his mind, I think he's like, I would love a little lightning buddy to help us throughout this entire place. We don't have a lightning buddy. Gail, goddammit! Alright, well, let's, uh, I guess stick with our plan for fire. Ooh, it had a good roll. Hell yeah. 70. So what do you got? So you have uh, 2 to 12 with uh, Smoldering Touch. We always love it. Erupting Cinder does 4 to 24. Multi-attack. Oh, it's great. Yep, perfect. Good job, buddy. 
and then we'll elemental warp you up to keep you safe. Okay, good job, Gale. And your turn, bud. Critical miss! The way it used that blade, man. You gotta respect it. Hit three targets with one sweep. Yeah. You sure she shouldn't heal Gale? I'm sure. All right. Ooh, thunder damage. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Uh, all right. So fucked up, you always save her first. Main character. Alright, that's doing damage to ever. You're gonna kill Gale with that shit. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Still on my feet. No, just do it, don't. There you go, bud. All right, we all cool with a little short rest? I'm gonna take a little short rest. There we go. So I guess the play actually there is to, um... I hope this is important. Get everybody out of the way before it explodes. You shouldn't try to kill it. That's foolish. Who had the nice stuff? I guess Interesting. It's... Here we go. To Clotilda. Dear Reaper of Ball Clotilda, it was at one of the Chosen's meetings that I saw you. I was gording Lord Gortash. You were gording Lady Orden. They went into a meeting room while we guarded the door, and you and I spoke so briefly, but every word you said is graven on my heart, as if craved by an interrogation chisel. I looked into your fiery eyes, and I felt, how can I describe it? I felt a real connection, like nothing I'd ever... And then he died. <laughs> Chad, I don't want to hear it. It's actually, it was actually a, like a fairly accurate accent. Oh, we got another person right upstairs. All right, I won't be taking notes on that performance right now. Oh, there's a lot of fucking people. Oh shit, we have so many people to kill. Why won't you just join me? Why won't you just join me? Now, the nice thing is that we're actually, like, somehow just pulling in one at a time. That kind of helps. Hell, game rude as hell. Yeah, I wish we had some combat cantrips for um, Minthara. Too close, huh? Well, you didn't give me much of an option, game. Too close yet too far to slash with a braid. Bra uh, excuse me, a blade. Um. Can you get the Yankee jump all the way up there? How's it get the Yankee jump? Oh, you used up all your movement already. Got it, got it, got it. We could probably still spear from here, though. Spear will do splash damage, is what I'm afraid of. Got it. Ah. 
Yeah, no reason to hurt Minthara like that. So next time, what I would suggest, Kyle, because you could do any of them in any order. Don't even finish that. Sentence. Okay. Copy that. These mortals be. You got it. fucking do it i fucking dare you blow up their heads what do you think why would you do that light on my feet oh now they all now all these people are involved unfortunately now i don't think that we can force the activation, unfortunately. There's no crystal up here. So I don't think that actually happened. Dang. Ooh, they've got a nice uh, vantage point there. Missile snaring. Gale's never gotten to use this. Reduce damage from a ranged weapon, 1d10 plus your dexterity modifier. Might as well try. Zero damage. Ow! Critical miss, actually. Okay. Yeah, they're like playing Gears of War up there. Acid splash? No chance, dude. Fuck off. You're wasting your spell slots, bro. Fire Elemental is my best party member, bro. There are a lot of people in this basement. Yes. I wish I didn't have to fight them all. I will not fail. I hope not. Why don't you heal yourself? That'd be probably the best thing you can do. Because the fight is coming. Okay. So, yeah, I think that is the way up. Get a misty step. That'd be a big advantage for us. And then, do you have uh, an angle on a good toss here? Yes. Yes. Let's do it. In my best interest. Excellent. Unleash me. Unleash me. Alright. Gail, my friend, I would like for you to fly all the way up here. Good Galen, good Galen. And then how about, uh, how about just, like, putting a firewall here, dude? Yeah. Never now they gotta walk through your shit to even get to us. Thing is, Kyle, they're not trying to get to us. Oh, here's the thing that's gonna detonate. Cool. It might light them all up, dude. No way you have that shot. Dolo. Dolo, baby. Psionic or silence on Minthar is not bad. You can go ahead and do that.
This is kind of fun. Um, the only reason we're down in here, like scrapping it out, right? Is to gain a huge tactical advantage in an upcoming boss fight against one of the demon lords. I dig this shit. Unleash me. Unleash me. Yeah, you forgot your own advice again. I really did. You want to just make some butterflies? No, no. Just use the uh, arrows. Nice crit. We love crits. All right, so here's why I was a fool, is we're going to use the spear throw on these two guys. I should have done that first and then allow Menthara in. Uh, I got to get used to uh, using my own turn order. Taking position. That still hit you? Come on now. We're so far away. Go for the kill. So I'm gonna Gale's gonna hang out here behind the fire. The fire is protecting you, Gale. Use the flames. Dola. Survival is all that matters. Honestly, the fire is protecting Gordon's way forward. Ooh, knock him into the lava! Hell yeah. Unfortunately, he's just going to die from the first hit, but still pretty cool. Oh, a critical miss on him. Hey, man, that happens sometimes. Oh, this guy's playing an RPG, bro. He just lined us all up. That was nice. Important news from Taco. New Tetris 99 theme, Princess Peach Showtime. Is that this Friday? It is, in fact. All right, we'll, we'll add that to Friday's stream, no doubt. Or a chance at an impossible fight against Gortash. The way they overdid the Steel Watchers. Takes me two hours to just lose that battle. Damn. <laughs> Damn. At least you weren't on like true pride mode. Why do they keep why do they keep activating they, like That's their only ally. They keep trying to blow up their buddies. Nice. You got your second hit. Fresh orders. Okay, so here is where I need to correct my order of events. First, we do our throws. Good. Oh, we still got hit by that. That's crazy. The range on the splash damage is wild. In my best interest. Good. And then if you want to get out of that acid, I'd recommend it. Oh, but we'll get an attack of opportunity from this door. Got it. So let's have my victims await. And Thara turn him into a victim. Good. And now you will not be getting an attack of opportunity. hasn't done their shit yet. Victory Gale? is assured. Victory, victory is assured. You got a shot? Dolo, baby. 
on your command. No, you already did your shit. Can't stay idle. God, I really want to knock somebody into a pit of lava. Two ones? And I made fun of Gale for doing that. Might as well make fun of Gordius for the same mistake. Michael, come on. Thanks for being a 37-monther. Ooh. Good boot. Okay, bro. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. I will ascend. Actually, I want to see if I can slash him. Let's see some cool slash and shit. Uh... She doesn't have that cool sweeping attack, unfortunately. Oh, because she still has the spear equipped. My bad. At least that guy's maimed. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to do another fun thing at the end of that turn. Cool. All right, Gail, can you turn off the fire? Good job. All right, what do we have? Oh, brain jar. Hell yeah, get a brain jar. No, not as bad as it could have. Get it. The brain. It doesn't work like that. And what was crazy, actually, this was like a targetable uh, object during the fight. The inscription reads, Fresh supplies for the steel watch, courtesy of necromancer Balthazar. Didn't we kill Balthazar? Please don't start Tetris 99 until I get home from work. Okay, that's a tall order, because we normally start with Tetris 99. We can save it for the uh, end of the stream. There was some other freaky stuff over here, right? Yeah, Bane's Book of Admonition. Let's see what this does. We can stall you for an hour or so. Saturday? Oh, you know what? Well, shit, Saturday's pretty stacked. We'll see. Like, fri this, this week, Friday's gonna be the laid-back day as we just uh, play more DC Universe Online. That's such a laid-back day. Uh, Saturday is the ultra stressful, uh, fixing the Dreamcast day. Where I'm gonna pry my HD Dreamcast open and attempt to replace its, um, power source. And then ideally boot it up and play some Dreamcast games. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be lucky if that works out. We're doing that on stream, yes. Egg I've been thinking about. But the problem is we got halfway through Egg. <laughs> we're like, we're like at the halfway point. It would be like, it, it's been like four years. Just hop in at four years later after we left our Egg save and pick it up and try to keep going with that would be tough. Nothing wrong with dipping our toes back. Yeah, maybe we just dip our toes. We did work really hard to get that one uh, superpower. It's basically how we played BG3. No doubt. Fair enough. The book opens easily to a page with two of Bane's most popular admonitions. Number six, the reprimand for leniency. And number seven, the rebuke. Was false compassion. Okay. Take the book. All right. Now there is something important down here that we have not yet discovered. Somewhere down here is the key to turning off all these fucking robots. 
so that Gortash can't use them against us. The heart is down here. <laughs> Just found out you can close the Baldur's Gate 3 Twitch integration window. Oh, you know what? I think somebody else was talking about that earlier in the stream and I didn't know what they were talking about. I'm so sorry if that's been annoying. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not even know. I didn't even like it didn't register with me. Step one. Orbital trepanation of the cranium can be completed using the provided trephine or drill. Ensure the surgical tool does not pierce the somatosensory cortex. Now I got a question for you, chat. You can't reach the lamp, Gordius. The families are dead, right? Breathe deep and move. You go you go to find the families and they're all dead. No comment. I'm not gonna be seeking out the end of that storyline. I guess it's just a cool place for people to hang out. No secrets up here. Probably after this. Yeah, they're all... Oh, hey, there's another door, dude. Use. And I've got the key. Antichamba. Brain jars. The watcher this brain controls is offline for maintenance. The brain dreams. Images of life in a garden cottage in spring. Give me the that. The watcher this brain controls is offline for maintenance. Should brain we attack? Dreams. Your tadpole Images. eagerly responds to the parasite in the brain jar. You blink to find yourself standing at Worms Crossing. You are a steel watcher. A guardian of Baldur's Gate. Before you stands a group of humans. He said he was Flaming Fist. That we had to empty our pockets if we wanted to enter the city. We didn't know it was a scam. We have nothing left, and my kids are half starved. Please, half let us starved. into the city. We have nowhere else to go. Wisdom says, step to one side to let the family pass. Elithid wisdom, rest control from the parasite and allow the family to pass. Attack the family. Now, now, I knew this was a possibility. Now, I, no, 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 what's fair is I saw this coming off the wall, and I did nothing about it. <laughs> earlier, earlier today, earlier today, there was like, a, there was like a little gap, and I was like, huh, well, can't be that bad. Um... There is a little pull off the... Ooh, I can't even get in the shot. There it is. You can see the very... We got a little bit of wallpaper going. Otherwise, you know, no, no, no real harm. <laughs> Just a little bit of wallpaper off the wall. And yeah, I am pretty impressed by Mucho there, who seemingly had no real problem with that. You're a brave cat. Though you have to understand, I'm doing weird stuff all over the apartment, all the time. Mucho is weird, used to like weird bullshit happening at any given moment. You know what I mean? There goes the deposit. Yeah. Don't chat. Don't tell my landlord. Don't tell him. Mucho is weird proof. Exactly. Yeah, that's rough, man. That's rough.
Uh, okay, so the reason I put this to chat is I don't fully understand what's happening here. I think these brains are trapped in their last memory of, like, wanting to be let into the city. How did you secure it to the wall? Okay, so here's the here's here's the honest gosh darn gosh darn truth, is there were like it's like the sticky wall things, right? Sticky wall clingers. Um, when I opened the box, two came out, and so I presumed that it only came with two. However, it does in fact, if you open all of the cardboard, come with one sticky thing for each octagonal panel. Pardon me, hexagonal panel. So, uh, I had successfully hung it up with just two stickies, and I said, well, it's too late now. Because I, I, found, I found the remaining stickies after I had already put it up on the wall. I said, oh, I, like, it's, like it's, already, it's working. <laughs> so if it's, it's successfully up on the wall now with just two stickies, I'm not going to take that stuff off the wall just to put five more stickies up there and so yeah i did i did in fact pay the price jin sippy cup thanks for being a 15 monther dm i attack the drywall uh, well it does appear as though my chat has selected attack the family because they're sick of gordius being soft so be it screams for help as the watcher draws its sword at the last thing you hear. Hope you're happy, Chad. What's inside? Yeah, I feel like I should destroy them all. I do. With a jerk, your mind is transported. With a jerk. You look down. Your body of pure steel and power whirring. A dwarf cowers before you. Please, Mr. Steel Watcher, sir. I'll, I'll never steal again. I swear it on my mom's life. Just let me go. <laughs> I'm not, Chad, I'm not, I'm just disconnecting. I don't the like these silly games. Here before you disconnect is the dwarf screaming and the squelch of flesh beneath metal. Squelch of flesh. To the control center. Ari. Alright, there's probably more baddies in here. Gail, you're in trouble. Minthara can probably heal you. I suspect we're gonna run into some baddies. You highly recommend saving and resting. Uh, I'm not sure we could rest. We're in hostile territory. You can just kind of see it a little bit beneath the minimap right here. Sweeney! Thanks for being a 46 monther. Um, so we cannot short rest nor long rest. Uh, best I can do is heal up now. So I guess we can do that. Let's, if it is for the best. Heal. Dale. Heal thyself. Heal thyself. Heal Gail. Hope was a much better healer, dude. We're not about we're not a healing team. That's not who we are. Uh Blackets will be done. And then let's get you your main weapon equipped. Let me ask you this. If I smash these brains, does it change the impending fight at all? Non-judgmental questions. Did your parents teach you any DYI skills? Are you sure that's not judgmental? Open up. Chat, nobody's parents taught them how to connect light panels to their walls. The light panels simply didn't exist 10 years ago. <laughs> this is this is state of the art technology.
Yeah, that's the thing is she's done healing. She's done healing. She won't be doing any more healing for the rest of this fight. But here we go. An efficient path. Robot, robot, robot. Maybe just three robots? I thought for a second the robots- Oh, fuck! The debilitating shot for 24 damage, too. Nasty. <laughs> Crazy they all had excellent initiative rolls, too, right? Uh, all right, so I'm actually thinking about using one of Gale's. Oh, Gale doesn't have a shit left, actually. The best Gale can do is basically grease. Hell yeah. These lumbering robots all, like, all got to move faster than any of our uh, party members. So, you can throw your spear. I'm wondering what our best defense against Big Boy is. Big Boy hates lightning damage. Psychic immunity. Oh, okay. Hey, that means this shit won't actually be that good. Poison immunity. Bludgeoning resistance, piercing resistance, slashing resistance. Okay, so you're meant to use magic against that thing. Um, all right, so I think we're gonna go for the double toss. Taking position. Excellent. And then get yourself uh, away from everybody else. Make them come to you. Excellent. All right, my fire creature. I don't want to dispel the grease after one turn, you know what I mean? Like, we obviously, we're going to dispel that grease. We're going to light it up. Can't even catch my breath. Nice crits. We love them. Go ahead and get out of there. And then you are melee for the rest of this match, unfortunately. She's got one level three left, which is healing. Okay, she's got one level three left for healing. Those are not humanoids. All right, I'm gonna save it. Zero psychic damage, bro. Damn. Nasty damage. Hellfire exhaust. What a cool move. You know what I like about this fight? There's no fucking demon singing at you the whole time. <laughs> Don't forget the normal bots explode. Yeah, that's why I was thinking like I should just focus on one and then make spider bot eat the damage of a fallen um, big boy. So let's see if we can kill this guy this turn. Taking position. Yeah, there we go. That's nice.
Vampire Helm Elemental is so cool, dude. Good. You stay there. No choice but to keep going. Actually, if this explodes now, I think it'll still deal the damage to Big Boy. So I think it's worth it to kill it now. Before it can get out of the way. Oh, it didn't do it. And that's, you know what's fucked? You know what's fucked? Those circles absolutely overlapped. Allow me to demonstrate. That's rude, game. That's rude. Sometimes your circles are just for pretend, and now I know. Now I know. My victims await. Yeah, yeah. So you are a maimed fuck. The one person that we really do not need maimed is maimed. Best I can do for you. Oh, that actually, uh, that healed her maiming. Yeah. Sweet. Very sweet. Right away. Right away. Ha ha! Aha! How do I feel about the singing boss fight in Mario plus Rabbids? I don't remember that being as annoying, right? Because I don't think that happens mid-combat. Um, maybe I'm rem remembering it wrong. But I feel like that's like, uh, you like, see it in sequences. This is foolish, but I think, like, she's ready to be scrapping. Oh, that cost everything, bro. It really did. Damn. All right. At least we can do this. Oh, that was action surge. Cool. All right. <laughs> I thought that was my heal. Actually, let's do some shit. Yeah. Good. Oh, you can't. You can't do something. Could probably, possibly still stun. Yeah, we got the stun. Hell yeah. All right, buddy. I would like for you to continue chiseling away at this little guy. Excellent. Two crits. Crit hits. Sometimes one crit miss. Now, unfortunately, this thing is in Gordius's face. Let's do the Moonflight Butterfly, dude. Where are the butterflies? Where are the butterflies? Shit. No butterflies. Where the female vocals find? Oh, during the um Raphael fight? Honestly, I didn't love those either. Sorry about this. It's gonna be like you 1v1ing this thing. Pinned down? Reduced movement pinned down. That's so crazy. Ooh! Gordius! Oh yeah, Psionic Backlash, there's really no point in it because it does zero damage to a robot. Which is fair. Honestly... Hey, nice, dude. <laughs> Crazy damage. And then it jumped away. Alright, so she's gonna hit it once. It's gonna want to explode. Yep. Uh, jump out of there. Get Yankee jump. <laughs> cool. And then give this guy a bop. Good. All right, so honestly, I think um, 
I think what I should be just doing is this shit. Yeah, that's a bro. That's some good dolo damage. Rough tempest I will raise. And I feel like you should help out your other friends down there. Target's too far. Can't help. Solo. On your command. Um. Gale's Dolo is way weaker than Gordius's Dolo. And I wonder if that's a matter of, um. Five HP. We need it. Class? Or like how I got him specked out? What is this shit? What do you what even what is this shit? You have agonizing blast, an invocation that adds charisma adds charisma to each beam. Got it. So it's like a passive skill. This guy's ready to pop. Sorry, Gordius, but I know you can take it. Critical miss on Gordius. Sorry, bro. He took that damage for no reason. Not enough movement. Are you sure about that? Really close, actually. So jump out of there. Good old get Yankee leap. Do it. Jump. He stopped jumping. He stopped. <laughs> Shit. All right. So we got to do this. Not enough movement. Oh my god. You have movement left. Gordius, move. He can't. That's so dumb. Okay. Gordius is probably going to get bombarded. Uh, I think maybe the stairs fucked him. I think what I wonder if maybe I jumped this way instead Can't fly chat Can't fly <laughs> You know what I thought of doing that which have been really cool and heroic would have been um Having Gale get in there and shove Gordius out Gordius, good luck, bro. Oh, we've had way worse damage done to us. I think that's meant to be his big, like, AoE. But fortunately, everybody else was around the map doing other stupid things. Repelling protocol. All right, yeah, don't do that. Lazelle needs an 18. They rolled 17. Let's get it. Let's get an 18. Oh. Cool. All right, bro. You just did your best shit. Is that all? What else have you got, dude? Um. Now here's the thing: is it, oh fuck, I didn't realize uh, Minthara actually died from splash damage there. That sucks. We got you. Time to push my luck again. Push your luck. Dolo. Okay. Out of shield form. It will be coming for you next turn. So maybe this is a better move for uh, old Gale. Oh my God. Nah, he missed. No, I think I need you to, like, maybe hang back and, like, do this shit, but you're not about to be unleashed anymore. You had your fun. Shit. Oh, 
shields back up. Great. All right, Gordius, maybe you can jump out of the way this time, bro. I don't think he's going to be able to. It seems like... Um... All right, so fuck. I don't want to take that, like, pushback damage again, actually. So we'll just hang back here, and unfortunately, uh, the no elemental takes take splash damage. Six? Woof. Yeah, that shit, that's, that's better damage. That's better damage, but, um... I feel like, uh... You're gonna want her to get in there with the, uh, other weapon. <laughs> Alright, that's zero damage. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Yeah, get the fuck out of there. What's wrong? He's inhibited somehow, bro. Gordius knows how to get out of these scenarios. He knows. I see. Flying from the start works. Got it, chat. Thank you. Path is interrupted. In your dreams. You wish it was interrupted. Zero! 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 Because of unyielding construct. What the hell is that, bro? What do you do? You just get zero damage done to you? Unyielding construct. Permanent. Only an attack dealing at least 15 damage can harm this steel watcher. Okay. Bro. Cool trick. Doom. Gale, do 15 damage to him, okay? Hey, you did. Good shit. Fresh orders. Uh, unfortunately, your order is... Ooh, well, we could do our sunbeam. Sunbeam! Zero. Got it. What? What? There's no fucking way anybody took damage outside of that circle. I won't hear it, dude. Holy shit. God, that makes... It actually makes me so mad. <laughs> when circles lie... When circles lie, I get furious, bro. So I think she's gonna have to step up. Smash the shield. Up. Under 15 damage. That's so rough. Another fight. Let's go. Up, up, up. No! All three shots under 15? Come on, bro. Shit. Ignis. All right. So now he's out of shield mode and he can't knock everybody back. Yes. Um, go brand your friend. My strength is yours. This is like the best shit we, he could do is try to just hit people with his sword instead of uh, go back into shield mode. Very good damage. Oops, I have still the spear equipped. Well, it did damage. All right. Good try. Still breathing, despite everything. Despite. Critical miss. Not what we needed right there, Gordy. So I think we've determined fireball is way better than... Oh, yeah. That's nice damage. Okay. Then it actually will fall on Minthara to walk up. Shit. Uh, to jump up. To fly over. And get the kill. This is how we do it. Min. I definitely thought this big bad boy was going to have his own uh, self destruct sequence. I hope. Oh. 
You know who needs this is Minthara. Her range damage has been really lacking. She could use some shit like this. And Celestial Haste, she just gets that for free? Cool. Our enemies are everywhere. Legendary bow. She needs it. What have we here? Yeah, honestly, I forgot about haste all day long. Minthara has haste. She gets knocked out of it so easily that I start panicking. But um, never a dumb. Oh, who knows? Who knows computers? <laughs> Let's save here and guess I fucked this up. All right, good luck in there, Gordius. Neurositor awaits your input. Attempt to decipher the symbols. Good luck. Plus one intelligence. Here we go. Fifteen. Oh, Gordius. Oh. Uh, I'll use two. I'll use two points of inspiration. I'll use two. One more. Ooh, Gordius. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that's that's my Gordius brain. He's like, I fuck. I know what this is. The Neurositor is the epicenter of the Steel That's Watch, the Neurositor. Controlling and connecting every single Watcher in this city. Its technology is far beyond anything you have ever seen. You need more than magic or steel to destroy it. Oh, well, I guess I should still press a button, yeah? The machine doesn't respond. Yeah, it's clear. there's something missing here, Fortius. We're missing something. There was like a similar kind of screen outside of this door. Moving in. Oh, by the way, chat told me there is a way to save that family. that the um, evil villains are actually more compassionate than they would have you. What's hiding here? This is just tasteless. Bandobris, if this note ever finds its way to you, it means I'm dead. But at least I died trying. As the chief art officer of the Titan Project, I just know that horror I know what just I know just what horror can do that can do and I'm determined to see it destroyed Xander Tubin mentioned that if the proper code is entered into the Neurositor it triggers a fatal psionic feedback loop I don't know what the code is but I might be able to guess it and if I die taking down that titan that will be a good death I love you Lula uh, fuck. I need that goober upstairs to uh, type in the code that destroys them. Unless it's in this book. Unless this is a good book. How Gortash hijacked the Gondolin. Gandhian Auto Guard Project to create a Steel Watchers is remarkable and horrible, and somebody ought to tell it. Honestly, not that interested. What I need is the key. I need the key. Oh, read through a hundred different books. Can you believe that, chat? They said I never would. Here I am with an achievement for reading a hundred different books. You said I would never. God, what a mess down here. This is awesome.
Remember the blindfolded guy you spoke to? Oh, I do. He's the only one who knows the password. Use the lever. Last book I read, IRL covered the cover. Uh, forgive me if I'm remembering the title incorrectly. The Last Smile in Sunder City. By the unequal Lugan. The last book I read cover to cover. I had a little uh, book reading spree during lockdown that just ended. <laughs> just like you know what I mean like the my, my poor book reading spree is just over I warned you I warned you of the consequences yet you had to interfere shut up bro I just my killed it I is dead you don't know you don't know shit they're all dead because of you how many books is a spree one You piece of shit. God damn it. I will slay you. Dolo. Dolo. Alright, so this man, uh, was the only one who knew the password. Hopefully he wrote it down in this book. Only Gon's new true name can destroy the Neurositor. Now, what, chat, what do you know about Gondonians? The true name of Gon. I don't know it, but somebody in this place must. Okay. I don't know it, but somebody in this place must. Uh, simple attack plus one gloves, actually, I think, are better than some of the other gloves we have. Kill collar, good god. I think one of our cool um, buddies upstairs might know what Gon's true name is. It'd be cool if you uh, like uh, had like a religion check, yeah. Anything of use? No, I've not read through Worldly World yet. Do I intend to? Yes. I still got it. It's still hanging out. These people are fucking gone. They're just gone. These people are gone. Oh, sheesh. So I have to, I gotta go find a human who knows what Gon's true name is. My god. What? Who? Gasper Throaks? You gotta be shitting me. At this point, do you know what we've done? All right, Gasper Throaks. Apparent ally of Jeremy Shockey. I'm trying to talk about Ooh, big misses. Victory awaits. Make way. No, you got one HP. You can chill out. <laughs> well, so much for peace. Yeah, so much. Very well. Fire elemental, I'm so sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean, I'm so sorry, my friend. All right. Um. Oh, Minthar is the one with one HP. Got it, So you retreat. A bold maneuver. Nice try. This is crazy. Uh, Gordius keeps that shroud until he gets a physical attack again. Fireball. Zero. Not on the doors game. God damn it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. 
No, that's on me. Victory awaits. Hey, could you quit your shit? Oh my god. There's a robot outside too. There's another book with the password's name in it near the zombies. You don't have to leave, DW. What's DW? Easy DW. What are you talking about? Yeah, I think because it already attacked, I couldn't swap back out. Don't worry, is DW. That's funny. I did not know what that is. Easy. No, no, no. Use the dolo. Dolo. Cancel that. Cancel it or dolo. Dolo. All right, DW. Got the safe key. Congratulations, son. Gaspa. Just a quick note to tell you, we are so proud of you for finally landing a job with the future. Lord Gotash with Goofar. And you would write to hitch yourself to his star. Pa is especially pleased at how you're carrying on the stroke's name. In fact, He's taking me out to the Elf Song right now to celebrate. Say hello to that sweet Tommy Ahoot for me. Baba. Now I really hope we can go find them and tell them that their dumb son is dead. Hey, we killed your dumb son. Gasper's fucking uh, what zombies, though? Oh, the brains? You're just talking about the brains in the jars? This game is long as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. No doubt, my friend. <laughs> I think Minthara got crushed between the floors, but I think we're okay. almost done with the game. I think we're not going to finish it tonight, but I think we can finish it next week. Another book in the zombie. Is this the end game? Apparently not. Traps, please. Uh, not in this ability of fluids. Control center guards. Now that the Titan is operational, there is no more reason to maintain Bay Knight guards in the control center. In fact, it would be needlessly dangerous. The Steel Watchers will handle guard duty in the center henceforth. Stay up! So that's why that was a robot only fight. the fluid. Good. I I guess good. <laughs> Was that a bad thing to do? I don't know if I should have smashed those brains. Your kind of curiosity. Gortash! A drow recruit brought this curious object in from the Underdark. I have no idea what it signifies, but clearly the kind of clockwork jiggery pokery you enjoy. So I send it to you with my compliments. And Eric. And it was the automaton. This peculiar head is part of an automaton. But it doesn't resemble any steel watcher you've encountered. So, uh, was that something I missed from Act 2? I actually didn't, like, you know, uh... Ober 
the meat suit lady was mocking the idea that they were friends, but it seems like Catheric found this cool uh, robot skull and then was like, Gortash would love this, and then actually just sent it to him. Should be a room with headless corpses. My god. Um, I think there is only one exit from this room. There is one headless corpse in this room. That robot head is from Act 1. That's cool. So anyway, yeah, I, li I like any, like, insinuation that they did. You know, there's there's some friendship. There's some level of friendship there. Okay, so I guess I'm missing an exit at this room. Because, I mean, come on now. Where else could it be? Maybe a nook up in here. Maybe a nook. We have not uncovered a room of headless corpses. We haven't even seen it. I think we found one of those in Final Fantasy 16, right? I like a wager rush. I mean, understanding the floor plan and industrial design here, it doesn't make too much sense. Oh, this is probably the headless corpse. This would probably be it. Let's get up. Oh yeah, headless corpse. There we go. There we go. There we go. We did. We did. I wouldn't call this a room. I'd call it a platform. So maybe they should update the guide. That's not our book, though. We've read that book. That's indecent, zombie. The many faces of God. Holy shit. What is in a name? Many things, in fact, especially when it comes to God. While the gods are no strangers to changing their titles, Mr. Make Up Your Mind. Few can compete with the Lord of All Smiths. Boasting no less than six secret names. Aranuras, Baladang, Dersadas, Clonadlauda, Mnangor, Tataba. Covered in chapter 85, by the way. The gnomes were not content with this. Instead, they chose their own name for God. Nebulum. And so we would think that a gnome... There it is. God's true name. Nebulum would believe Nebulon to be God's truth. If a gnome was programming the hack. Is this game sick? This game's been sick. Consistent. Yes. Is this game flawed? Absolutely. In too many ways to count. <laughs> What's the, uh, the uh, Metal Gear Solid thing? Ways too numerous to count. Um, but yeah, this, this game is special indeed. All right, Gordius, good luck with this shit. Computer programmer Gordius. And then we'll take a break after this. Awaits your input. Recall the code Tubin shared. Tubin shared it with me, are you sure? <laughs> By the way, thank you, Mimi, because otherwise I have no idea. I think we would have been locked out of this quest. Tubin attacked us, and then I think like we just would have been fucked. So thank you. Thank you for that hot tip. Successfully inputting this will destroy the foundry, wiping it from the face of the Forgotten Realms. 
Oh, fuck. We still gotta pass this check. I mean, like, chat, do you know binary? Can you flip these to spell Nebulin? This shit's not easy. Oh, apparently it's pretty easy. <laughs> Gordius! God damn it! No, 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 I have inspiration. I got inspiration. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get excited. There we go, Gordius. Just and just enough. And just enough, too. All right. Warning. System failure. Warning. <laughs> this team doing cool shit is always funny. Man, see, that's what that's what's cool about this game. We just blew up every robot in the city. We blew up their central brain core. I don't even care if this game loads. If that's the end of the story, so be it. There we go. <laughs> yes. So all of that, all of that in the factory, all the factory business was simply to debuff uh, one of the two, one of the, I, we should say three remaining boss, like large scale boss. That's pretty crazy. And then also one thing I'm curious about, I figured that four legged robot was indeed the thing that killed that mermaid. Apparently not. This game's still like, yeah, you got to find what killed that mermaid. Obviously we won't. I don't know if we can look those mermaids in the eye <laughs> after what we did in the basement. So uh, let's ignore this quest for the rest of the stream. And we'll take a, we'll take a long rest when we get back. Here's the thing is like sometimes when I take a long rest, shit starts happening. So I'll save, but uh, we'll take the long rest when we come back. This team is way more fun execution of a suicide squad than the DC property. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right, though. Like, Suicide Squad needs him in Thara. And Elizel. And a Gale. And a Gordius. And a Fire Elemental. You know what I'm saying? Stole from the ocean. I did. So what I, I went to the basement, and I... Oh, I didn't see this before. Um, That's how you got here, bro. Oh, that's right. I, um... Went to the basement, and some mermaids are like, you shouldn't be here. Okay, we're mad you're here. And I was like, let me talk to you. Let me use my powers of persuasion. They're like, no, no. And so then they started attacking me. Obviously, I defended my life. And then um, after, you know, dispatching them, they had a cool metal door. And behind that metal door was some treasure. And so I opened the treasure chest, got some money. But then after that, some... Aqua creatures attacked me. Holding spears, shouting at me. I dispatched the aqua creatures. But then we noticed, like, there's something not quite right about this hallway past the aqua creatures. You ever see a flat wall in the middle of a cave? Something's not right about it. So, Gordius Dolod, that, um, flat wall. And beyond that was the mermaid's true treasure. The one spell Gale can't yet learn. Disintegrate. So that was a cool quest. I'm pretty sure that's how they wrote it up. I think we did the intended way through the mermaid quest. Oh, this is so cool. Check this out. Obviously, I mean, dude, they're going to put a broken robot in front of that thing. But yeah, this is the result of that action we just took. That's sweet. All right, anyway, quick break chat. We'll be back. After this, I think, uh, but I, we're going to have to decide whether, which, uh, demigod to go kill. Is it Gortash or is it Oban? We'll find out.
We're back, baby. Hello, dear chat. <laughs> now, what does this poll mean? What does this poll mean exactly? You're trying to come over? Bro, it's, we just finished our third break. What's going on? You just wanted to talk to chat for a second? Alright. Ah, oh, welcome back, chat. Happy Monday to you. You're sweet. You're sweet. You're a sweet animal. I mean that. I mean that, dude. I'm not lying to you. I think you're sweet. I wouldn't lie about something like that. <laughs> I wouldn't lie about that. I think you're a sweet cat. He doesn't, he does not, uh, accept high fives. Saving my marbles because I'm finally close to a million. You should not have told me that. Because you know what I do? I bump up the prices. Now it's going to be 1.1 million. You should not, don't even, don't even tell me how many marbles you get. Give him a high five for Pete's sake. <laughs> no inflations. I absolutely inflate marble prices. Be kind to new viewers. Help them, uh, help new viewers win baseball bets. That's all I can ask. You need to balance both sides. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the problem is, like, uh, for the long cooldown ones, those are generally cheap, right? Um, and then the ones that, like, <laughs> the one for, like, the billionaire uh booby ghost the boobo ghost the boobo ghost had no cooldown so you could actually just like spam it because it was so expensive there was no way it could get spammed but there were almost two boobo ghosts on top of each other all right bro i need to start playing again no 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 don't i wasn't going to go pet you i need to start playing the game again we gotta take a long rest. Alright, so we're gonna push over. A long rest. We're gonna fill up, and we're gonna refill up all our spell stuff. Got it? Okay. The camp. Oh, we could have gone back to our hotel room. Oh, we did actually. Neat. Shit, chat. I'm actually pretty excited to go back to DC Universe Online. <laughs> I think I actually like like MMOs, you know? What's going on with Lazo? Hey, hey, Minthara wants it. I'd What's like some time on? to talk. Is Hog okay? As you I think about Hog Minthara, too. You feel her mind reaching out to yours, tentative and curious. Then it retreats, soft as a whisper. Sorry. Old habits. What's wrong? I did not ask permission. When we first met, before Moonrise, I intruded on your thoughts without hesitation and took what I needed from your memories. I would not do that again, unless I had reason to think you were hiding something from me. And I do not. I did not think we would ever share anything more than an uneasy alliance, born of our mutual enmity for the Absolute. I was wrong. A deeper bond has grown between us. I trust you. But I would like to touch your thoughts again, now that my mind is my own. May I? What is she up to here? Yeah, why is the sudden interest in my thoughts, Minthara? What's going on? Curiosity. Curiosity, Until you say? Time in the cult of the absolute, I think we're I so fucking dead. I spent a time on the surface, except to raid and pillage. I did not expect to find any outside the Underdark who saw the world as I do. 
and wanted from the world what I want. I did not expect you. Okay. You're rather special yourself. I have been told that I am special since my mother first held me in her arms. The burden of expectation. Before she approved of that too, it's so funny. I lived a life of certainties. I knew that I was destined for greatness because I was born to it. I also knew that my inherited privilege came with a cost. That the bonds of fellowship and family could be broken by envy and ambition. I could not enjoy the taste of food for fear of poisoning, and I could not enjoy the company of lovers and friends because I feared they hid knives behind their smiles. In spite of the danger, I was happy. I knew my Sorry, I thought Mucho barfed. And I understood the world around me. Now, nothing is certain without Lolth, without the Absolute, without my home. I do not know myself. But you do, I think. Show me myself through your eyes. Let me see what I am to you. Gene. Deeper. <laughs> Did I ever play the FF15 MMO? What are you talking about? Multiplayer. Yeah, I never played the multiplayer. I did do the FF14 section in FF15, which was kind of wild. All right, let's let her in. She joins her thoughts with yours, and you are as one. You share in her strength of mind and formidable will, but also the doubts that eat at her conviction. Those doubts cluster in swarms. And the thickest is around her sense of self. She pushes past, revealing the image of her you hold in your mind. What does she see? <laughs> Tell all your lovers and friends. And also, Chad, I'm getting now why um, uh, Horizon was bragging about their lighting. Remember Horizon and their like hero lighting? You know what I mean? If you're like, it's a bit much. Well, like right now we can't. Chad, if you're if you're on a film set. Chad, if you if you're on, if you're on a CBS drama set, and you light your actors like this, the director is mad. I mean, I chat. I'm gonna put it up to you. I think we all know what we're picking here. If you pick five, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna I'm gonna veto five. I'm, I'm already told you I'm gonna veto five. Change your vote if you voted for five. I'm not doing that one. This is DC online menu lighting. <laughs> yeah, it's too dark. It's too dark. You gotta uh You gotta account for that. You gotta light your actors. I realize it's not realistic. I realize, right, like, what they're just doing is lighting the characters as they would be lit if they're standing at this part of this room. You gotta goose it up a little bit. Alright, so I'm gonna hold out, because maybe Ally can take it. Let's get a few more votes. <laughs> the cold shell of Minthara's mind she approves. melts away, and you are drawn into the heart of her. Warm, passionate, and dangerous. I have never lacked confidence, but this conflict seems so much bigger than the two of us. It frightens me. I do not know if we will survive it, but whatever life remains to us, I would gladly spend it fighting at your side and lying with you at night. Now, chat unfortunately we should focus on the fight yeah now now is the moment where unfortunately we have to tell Minthara like this is it's been a fun little will they won't they but look we got like we got three gods to take down
Two is like, it would be nice, but fight first. You think so? Do you think that's what two implies? Because I think that's right. I think that's exactly right. I think th you know, three is probably there for like a, a no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. We'll try to. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the Charlotte Hornets announcer is like one of those like people I don't think they like make anymore. Like a 90s guy who's like always got like a shit eaten grin on his face, right? So anytime there was like a non-contact foul against the Clippers, like a double dribble, he would go, mm, no, no, no. That's a double dribble from Westbrook. The no, no, no fucking like punched my gut every time. Mm, no, no, no. Like what the, what the fuck? Just announce, just announce. Anyway, I thought of that the moment I said no. Th this is mm, no, no, no. All right. <laughs> Her mind touches yours. Feather you got it, chat. You got your two. Hesitant. You got your two. A stark contrast to the confidence with which her thoughts intruded on yours in the past. Tonight, there will be no voices, no orders, no gods. I belong only to you. Okay. <laughs> Gordis is like, oh, uh, so are we... Are we gonna, um, okay, uh, I guess I'll go talk to the fire elemental. <laughs> How are you doing, bud? But the elementals have been so incredibly clutch, honestly. It's crazy they have this massive HP pool. They don't do a ton of damage, but they're just so helpful. Can I get an Oya for getting the infinite wealth platinum only took 115 hours? Yeah, because here's the thing. Oh, yeah. My non-platinum playthrough, excuse me, is 99 hours. So while 115 seems ridiculous, I mean, like I, th I think that seems like pretty fast. Another letter from Orin. Wait, what what do you say about the letter from Orin? Hold up, hold up, what? What? I guess we should read this. Gortash's metal mannequins will not dance to your tune. They will only dance to his. To set yourself against their steel is to invite combination. So why slice the strings of one when you might make one cut to sever them all? Seek the blackened heart of the foundry, tear it out, then the Lordling will play Puppet Master no more, or Yeah, I did that. But I did I did that though. I'm sorry, was she suggesting that perhaps I could have um controlled them myself? The Super Dungeon and NG Plus trophies are in an extra DLC pack, so the Platinum is definitely easier than, than 7. No, you cannot. Okay, cool. We didn't miss shit. She's still using snail mail. I think that's exactly what happened. I think if we're like, if we're taking a rest and we're still kind of confused about where we're supposed to go with that quest, but I think we're all right. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Now, what does the phrase mother's milk mean? Hon quite honestly, my first exposure to the phrase is just MM from um, The Boys. I didn't know that's like an uh, expression.
No sausages tonight. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves, without guile, without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. I have no more secrets for you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now. Working towards a common goal. Um. Why are you naked? Let's just focus on the fight. Absolutely. In this case, like, hey, man. I think it's probably a cool playthrough if you are trying to romance the Emperor. It would make the betrayal nicer. we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together but few would trust a mind flare so i did what i had to to convince you i studied you your motivations your actions your desires i deduced the best way to align your goals with my own wait what so he was saying that, like, the form he chose as the guardian previously to this was like, I knew that was like, that was your ideal motivator. That is who you wanted to see. You tried to me. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how exhausting you would be. You were stubborn, antagonistic. You didn't want to listen. You even tried to kill me. True enough, that did happen. I did, I did, I did, yeah, I remember that. Let me get this straight. You're complaining about being stuck with me? Antagonistic to the very end. But you made your choices. Such is the burden of freedom. And now we must move on. Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hive mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. We must stop it while we still can, before we too. Why do you do that? So when you said I would want to lie with you just Mindar, I mean, can we just communicate what you meant by that? All right, we'll talk later. <laughs> what if he had matching undies when he finally stands up? Yeah, I would appreciate that. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. 
There's something in our camp. Rescue Orin's victims. The instructions are here? What are you talking about? Oh, there we go. We got a new letter. We just got a letter. Oh, I already read that letter. Come on now. Alright, I'm getting a little nervous about Gale running out of clown makeup. He only has one more application of it left, so I think we have to save that for the final boss. Uh, looking at our quests, unfortunately... Um, we still have no leads on how to free orphan. So it is time to decide. Gortash or Orn? You can go and buy more? Can you? I didn't buy that makeup. <laughs> Does Minthara comment on you ignoring her at night? I don't know who ignored whom there. You wish to consult me? Yeah, nothing new there. No, she probably just saw Gordius writhing in his sleep and was like, okay, well... I'm not in the mood. Water Queen's house. So funny, dude. Bunch of thought. Yeah, we're gonna go buy Gail some more clown makeup. You're supposed to find them when it does a second rest phase. Got it. So when we woke up and Gordius was in his PJs, that was your opportunity to go say Minthara, bed with me. Got it. At the ready. Well, chat, you're just not getting that content today. Minthara didn't deserve it? What do you mean by that? What's up for discussion? <laughs> Yes. All right, well, you got some clown makeup? Vibrant clown. Yep, perfect. I'll be taking all of these, please. The grand design. Um, and then you've got a thousand eight gold, so we can do we can do some selling, bro. Um, what is valuable? These are nice. 800. Boom. Paralyzing Ray. Dang, that's actually pretty good. We're talking about rings that I don't have on. And then obviously I don't need that fuck. I can sell that iron. Great. Thank you, mommy. Okay. So... Gortash or Oban? I mean, shit, we could afford the statue. We could. 
Ah, oh, all right, chat. We'll do it. We'll do it. We can afford it now. We've been selling a lot oh, of shit. Dribbles. My wife is heartbroken. Stable links bring a 10 monthly. Thanks for the happy Mondays. From dawn Thanks back at you. Dusk. Such friends they were. But I'm sure a sizable contribution from an adventurer such as yourself would cheer her up. I'm like a statue of myself for my camp. Oh, my wife shall be delighted. Customs are her favorite, particularly when their facial structure is as unique as yours. Oh my God, I'm buying this shit. I think two is our compromise, chat. <laughs> I think Gordius wants one. I think chat wants three. I think two is our compromise. Are the night clothes even fancy? Extremely. Pull it. Oh my gosh. Chat, I already... Why? This is the most pointless poll I could ever put up on this on this Twitch channel. Mm, that's a good question. Now, Gordius, while we're in nu no nudity mode, we're in no nudity mode. Meaning I can't get banned from Twitch from any content you see watching this game. We saw his little butt. <laughs> We've seen it. Uh, so there's no promise it'll be like underwear on. I'm actually, I'm actually wondering what they do here. Let us put this no stable. I said little but get away in the moonshay Isles. I'll have your statue shipped to your camp. You shall love it. We guarantee it. How much money do we have now, chat? Oh, darling, that was a lot of my gold. Well, now we still got three thousand seven hundred fourteen. I'm not sure how the rest of this party is going to feel about that investment. <laughs> but we did what we did. Um, somebody in chat is talking about this infernal book and saying that we haven't finished it yet. That's a surgery kit. This thing. You talk about this? Or you talk about, like, just general lore-wise, a warlock hasn't finished their book until they're, like, level 20. I'm pretty sure we saw this all the way through the end. It's still part of the quest log. Really? Let's make sure he doesn't die again. Oh, I remember that, dude. That was so annoying. That was so long ago. When Gail's like, here's a little list of things it'll take to revive me. Um... Approach Orpheus in the Astral Prism. I'd be happy to. It seems that Minthara has no loose ends right now. She's just happy. Unlock the Ancient Tome. 
We made it to the final page of the tome, but it's indecipherable. We need to find a way to read it. We managed to read most of the book, absorbing some of its necromantic power, but it snapped shut before we could finish it. I did not remember that. Now, what's interesting is that it's, that's a Baldur's Gate quest. Search the cellar. What cellar are you referring to? Let's check our map. I know. That would be, in my opinion, a fun final quest of the night. I don't think we're beating Gortash before the stream ends. You know what I mean? Um. Venture forth. The cellar part was from Act 1. Got it. So that's how we initiated this stuff. Oh no, we gotta go to Gale's bookstore? <laughs> oh shit. Alright, I'll do it. 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 But we're putting the makeup on, okay? That's our compromise here. Fair enough. One for me, one for you. So, uh, Gail's bookstore is here. We can hoof it. I was thinking, you know, this this one's actually closer, but yeah, we could just walk there. We might happen upon some fun nonsense on our way there. Volo's the body is still there, dude. That's so crazy. Right away. Can't give up now. What path lies before me? I wonder if this would be faster. Um. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, actually. We did just find that book in an old dusty cellar. So, and in a weird way, um, I bet that was really exciting for anybody who's playing the game early access. Society of brilliance. For their playthroughs to last kind of years, for for you to have this like multi-year payoff for something you picked up in Act One, I bet that feels felt so cool. Remember Voldo? You missed Soul Caliber. Yeah, I think. Ooh, look how cool this structure is. That's awesome. You see this shit, Jack? Is our own alliance not a case? Is that a restaurant? Murder targets in there. Yeah, I'm not doing that quest. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we missed our chance. I think we missed whatever. What you, Shabella, whatever you're saying is the way, the key, the clue to get here for sure. We've missed our chance for that, but I don't think we missed our chance to open that book. Um. Anyway, sorry, but I do think that like, uh, the. Forgive the mess. Your blood is far more volatile than I'd anticipated. All right, I need a previous, <laughs> Gail. I need a previously on. What is a Raj from? Anyway, I think um, I think the characters are valuable. So even if it's just like, dude, if you like, you don't even know, like, making a new Soul Calibur game would like lo lose us millions. You know what I mean? It's just simply not profitable. I feel like you got to keep like Valdo alive. So if that's like a tech in appearance or like like I mean like you know I, like keeping them alive in like other like crossover games, I think that's worth doing. In the tower you gave her your blood. I did? Gordy has agreed to that? Oh my. It's a breakthrough in the sanguine arts. 
the likes of which the world has never seen. The Grand Matriarch will have no choice but to restore House Ablodra after I present her with my research. But listen to me, rabbiting on about myself when I have you, the prize bleeder, on my very doorstep. If you'd come inside, we could discuss something far more exciting than drow politics. I mean, why not? Yes. That is, do follow me. I like her cool chrome makeup. Gail liked that, huh? All right, Gail. All right, yeah, we can do it. Chabello, don't leak, don't leak too much. I do appreciate all the tips, but don't don't leak too much. Where'd she go? Oh, there's fucking traps. What do you see? But if I take it, she'll get mad. Oh, I think we're gonna kill this woman. Burrito man, thanks for being a 33 monther. Yeah, honestly, I need Minthara to tell me about drow politics. Some of it, at least. I'm coming over. What? Ah, a cozy little spot, isn't it? These four walls have witnessed greater alchemical triumphs than the keep of Erngath Durand. And now that you're here, the crown jewel of my research is soon to be. More fasted. people should do this. That looks cool as hell. All you have to do is drink Formula Gruna. Formula Gruna? Well, yes. Formula Arku through Fruak were spectacular failures. But Gruna. Gruna is different. Believe me. Something about a Raj chat. I keep trusting her. <laughs> this is my character flaw. Can I get an oh no for being fired a week just after my birthday? Sorry I missed that. That's a, that is an oh no. Sad alien, I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. When you first entered this home, you saw the incredible latent power within your blood exposed in all its nuances. Formula Gruna will unleash that power within you. Risky, but, um, safe. I approve. Any who dare to make me bleed should suffer dire consequences. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Obviously, we weren't going to do it. Obviously, we're going to say no up until the moment Minthora said, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Shit. Hand it over. Oh, marvelous. I've never been Damn. so excited for anything in all my days. Just stand over there, far over there, and drink up. And Thara says, I agree. All right. We should make Minthara drink it. What I'm saying is the game was doing everything it could to dissuade me from drinking this. There was absolutely no subtlety in the dialogue. But they tried so hard that I feel compelled to give it a shot. All right. He lived. He sustained no damage. 
And now he's got a fire resistance. <laughs> not from that. It's not... It's <laughs> that's not why he has that. All right. Hey, can we talk? Oh, my. My heavens, you lived! This is incredible! I'm seeing stars! Yeah, rest up, Woojack. There is a new effect on your character sheet. Oh, I missed it, Metascension. Can you tell me what it was? I'd hypothesized you wouldn't, my friend. And you've proven me absolutely correct. You are the world's first detonative exsanguinator. To put it simply, from this day on, your blood goes boom. Big boom. <laughs> It's incredible. Cool. All it needs is a spark. Your blood is flammable now. Thank you. I assure you, the pleasure is entirely, entirely mine. This research will skyrocket House of Blodra back to the forefront of drow scientific thought. Indeed. It could protect my line for generations. Now, let me offer you a little treat. In exchange for the teensiest vial of your marvelous blood, I'll give you something that'll really throw your enemies for a loop. I'll only ask a nominal fee in exchange. Okay. <laughs> you really are a fine collaborator. I like this, bro. This is like all these things you should not be doing. You should not be doing these things very clearly. Don't. Dude, don't do it. But. Yeah, we need to get rid of some of this shit. The bloated inventory. I think I need to, I think that was a murder weapon. Gloves of cinder and sizzle. So cool. Man, I'm going to miss these gloves. They were so nice to me. That's kind of fun. I've got to, bro, you have enough gloves. You don't have to worry about every single pair of gloves. I know it. I know it. Oh, she's out of gold. All right, so what do you have for sale? Uh, you gain uh, bonus attack rolls against creatures marked by Hunter's Mark, True Strike, Fairy Fire, Guarding Bolt. Ooh, we do have ones. One, but one, somebody does um, Guiding Bolt. Who was that? I think it's um, Lazelle's new weapon. I think her new sword does Guiding Bolt. Not that. It was the bow. Yep. Excellent memory. Minthara's bow. Uh, on a hit, possibly inf inflict guiding bolt onto a target. So I mean, let's go. Let's give her a new crown. Honestly, I didn't even look to see how expensive that was. Exquisite focus. Thunder skin cloak. Nah, we're alright. Chat was saying I don't have enough rings, but I mean, I don't know, man. No, that's just a... God, that's just a solid ring, dude. Get that ring. Alright. You gain advantage on attack rolls, deceive disadvantage on saving throws. Well, let's not go crazy there, risk a ring. 
I like the risky ring, dude. That's a dragon smacker thing. All right. All right. I wonder what she was implying, though, when she said, like, it'll be a nominal... No, excuse me. Nominal fee. Oh, I definitely get potions. That's right. Until next time. Camp supplies were actually pretty good on. We survived the effects of the experimental blood potion. Now we've got fire in her veins and someone willing to give us explosive blood potions. Oh, so she's got more. It seems like I can convince more of my party members to drink that shit. Why does she, when is she going to stop pacing up and down? A little more work on my notes, and House Oblodger will be restored. Ah, my friend. If you've any more blood to spare, I'd be happy. Certainly. Certainly. Oh, and you know I like dyes. I'll get the camp supplies for chat. Remover? Yeah, right. Never. Uh, yeah, where's the blood potion? I feel crazy. You can buy vials of your own blood from her, which work like grenades. Smoke powder bomb? Sanguine explosive. That's the blood? Oh, create a surface of blood. I see now. Okay, that's weird, chat. We're not doing that. That's too Until wild. Next time. All right, here's the thing. I really want to get in that hatch. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand right here. We're going to wait for her to do one of her pacing rotations. What is she doing, bro? Okay. Yoink. Okay. And there we go. All right, split up. All I have Gale, to touch. you distract her. Ah, my friend. If you've any more blood to spare, I can. Right. Very well. <laughs> yes, I will do some. We got some equipping to do, no doubt. fucking traps around here, huh? Yeah. Oh my god. These experiments. A dead spectator. Let's have a look. Watch you go. Oh, a shit. Hanging in there. Don't give me trouble now. Don't give me trouble now. Hang it on to one toolkit, dude. Oh, we can't we can't fail this though. A dead giant spider. A dead skeleton. Empty potion bottle. So I think that we are to come in here and see what a strange creep this woman actually is. I think that's the point of all this shit. 
Are crystals valuable? I think I think I'm okay without grabbing any of this stuff. Beholder iris, so cool. Breakthrough at last. Watch your toes, Gordius. Nice. Sample of blood that adventurer gave me was a rare find. It is hot, ready, and unyielding. After spinning it for an hour, it didn't separate. After boiling and recondensing it, it reformed exactly the same it was. I think its droplets will be willing to attach themselves to even the trickiest of substances. Liquid gold, sal, sulfur, for, excuse me, sulfur, and mercury. Hair, chalk, and clay. It will make a special brew, able to adapt to any elemental quality. But which to choose? And she chose. Flame. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Good job, Gail. <laughs> We're out of here. <laughs> that's good that's fun um all right let's uh let's go to gail's bookstore we're really doing it gail i'm not even pulling your leg bro we're going those charms all sound a bit out of my price range for protection i'd really spare no expense Did he just stand and stare the whole time? He couldn't even improv any dialogue. He's just... <laughs> look, look. It's so, so just standing and staring at that poor woman. I'm sure he had a conversation. All right, here we go. Gale's Wonderland. Lead the way, Gale. So. Look. Welcome, dear patron, to Sorceress Sundries. I am an unperson in service of the revered wizard Lerogan, proprietor of this fine establishment. To browse our wares, say, trade. To provide information about the Night Song, say, Night Song. If you are a city official here to collect dues, say, taxes. For all other inquiries, say other. Absolutely insane. You could just say taxes. To learn more about the search for the night song, say night song. To learn more about Master Leroican, say Leroican. To learn more about my good self, say projection. I've heard enough. Oh, somebody died, bro. Hearing that noise always fills me with so much dread. Typically, that's like, oh, a fight is about to begin. All right. Um, we need to crack open that metal door. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the Night Song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Reconsider. Oh, some portals open. The Night Song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. The Night Song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command over an army of ancient beasts. I see. Alright, this animated Ormor is presumably going to present uh, prevent us from 
cracking that door open. This one's clean. That one is not. Alright, Gale. Do your thing, bro. Good. Actually, if you could draw its attention over here. Perfect. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Good. You won't deny me. Let's move. All right, so honestly, I don't think the night song is either of those things that's present. You've been spotted fiddling with that lock. Yeah, right, I was spotted. Yeah, right, I was spotted. Yeah, right, by who? Damn it, Gil. There are two more portals. song is an immortal being the child of a deity deity the night song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own yeah uh, night song being a child is like gotta be closest to what it means that's a friendly looking shadow Gordy, so you're gonna get us in trouble no, you're gonna get us in trouble. Law. As you refuse to speak to me following the incident with the three-eyed man, I have no choice but to make my request in writing. Master Law Roken instructs you to bring his newly acquired lamp and the one with the gin, by the way, the one with the gin, to the vault, store it behind the protective wall. If it is too dead, it is far too dangerous to be left on display in the shop proper. Vompta. Okay. There's a fucking genie lamp somewhere either here or in the vault. Either on display or it has been moved. Key on the table there. Oh, of course. Wink. Home of divination spells be brought to the basement. Uh, that is what we need, I think. He must focus without interruption in order to see the unseen. Since you refused to speak to me since the incident with the ape, I have no choice but to make my requests in writing. Popta. Cool. The weave is comprised of the body of Mistra, of the domain of Mistril. The threads connecting all the creation to the source of magic itself. I posit to the intrepid reader that the truth is far more fascinating. The weave as we know it is not invisible at all. No certain among us, whom I call seers, can sense the true nature of the weave as an incredibly fine but highly physical and edible substance left in our realm by far spacefaring giants called Immortums several aeons ago. Each time we wield this power, creatures called weave devils consume these strands of weave and the excrement is a powerful force we call magic. I know this will shock many readers, but I only deliver the facts as I know them, and as the esteemed wizarding community wants to keep from you. Something's not true, chat. It's not true. That's not what magic is.
All right, so I think the first the reason the first cling clang heard me is that I was not in crouch mode. So let's try it again. Have to keep going. Gail, yes. If you would get this thing to look at you, Gish. And save right there. Gordius, stealth mode. Spotted by Sorceress Sundries. You see that shit? Six plus two equals eight. Close the door behind you. Good. All right. Transmutation. Thank you. Gail would fucking love this shit too. That's the craziest thing. Cabinet. Never forget the importance of spell components for casters of every make and kind. Verbal, somatic, and material components must all be utilized correctly, meaning one much meaning one much be certain not to fall victim to silencing or restraining. Of course, thank you. That tip should be in Act 1. We know we shouldn't get silenced. This book appears to be a bespoke edition, not mass printed like the others in the series. A note is affixed to the front page. Dear sir, though I appreciate your attempt to contribute to our popular series, I'm afraid we are not accepting reader submissions at this time. Furthermore, I would recommend our fact checker, Hope Condor, for your personal employ should you wish to attempt to publish this volume under a different name elsewhere. Kind regards, Emperor Coyle. So the wizard who runs this place is a bit of hot fluff. The path to Casas. What is that? What glimpse of magic spoon port might Silver Hand prefer? Take the promised hand and watch Abjuration cross its palm. For you too shall need protection from the purge of Silver's fires. Only through its flames will Cassus's path be fit to follow. Alright, bro, that was a poem. Okay, and we stand up like we did nothing. Now, are we gonna play the night song game? No! No, we're not playing the night song game. I'm getting in that basement, bro. Would I want a slight spoiler warning for a story event before facing the wizard? Um, I guess basically if I'm going to get locked out of something, I do like to hear those. Home monger. How do I get in the basement of this home monger? Secret to the basement. Literature department. Can I help you? These books are. They prefer an environment of quiet reverence. That's not at all what this bookstore is. No, this bookstore is insanely loud. Is that true, books? Are you sensitive? I'll be on my way. I'll be on my way. My apologies. 
Where's your base? The basement, maybe you access it from outside. I chat. No, I love shit like that. That is so funny. You won't be hearing me complain about that. What's up the discussion? Sure again. Do you think that zombie looks fresh? Is fresh good? I never know with zombies. Um characters in this game have great eyes. And I'm wondering if it's like the lighting. You know what I mean? Like you just see like they always have like a little white dot in their eyes. You always see a little glimpse of light in them. Big Clive, you know where the basement is, bro? Oh well, it's too late for that now, isn't it, dear? Might Excuse me, can't stop. There's only so much shopping time left before the absolute breaches the city. He's not wrong about that. Some people have no respect for the into the bin where the bomb Welcome, dear patron, to Sorcerous Sundries. I am an unperson in service in of the In the first locked room you were in, there's a portal to the basement. But I forgot how to open it. Oh my gosh. To browse our wares, say, if you are a city official here to Witcher collect shit. dues, say, taxes. Full book on shelf. Okay. We'll give it a try. Gale to run interference. You have my attention. Say gish for me. Right. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. So, yeah, rows of books is all one chunk, so no really, no thing to like really pull there. Good eyes, chat. Okay. Presumably that opened something somewhere else? Maybe you gotta do both? Yeah, let's do both. Let's find the other one. Okay. It's in the room with you? No time to rest. What do you see, chat? <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. Sorceress Volt, you say. We should save, because we can easily fuck this up in a second. Open up. Chain lightning. Chain lightning is really good, dude. Hell yeah. Gale's gonna love that shit. He does not have a good electric attack right now. Storage and sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes. Yeah, the floor effect, I agree, is really cool. Like light shining through water. Some witch stuff. Dark vision, we pass. 
me to find a way forward. Wooden chest. Did Yankee jump? Yep. Right tool will do the trick. Ten? We can handle it. This is cool. Ten. Very nice. One or a two is the only thing that fails a ten with our plus eight. That's nice. No, a two would pass too. Oh, so a one would be the only way to pass, fail. Um, Oda Luke's freezing sphere. By the way, I love any named spell. These are nice, dude. Ten to sixty damage. I'm gonna guess that Gale can't even learn these yet. Circle of Death. Sculpt a massive sphere of entropic energy around a creature. Devastate the target and all surrounding creatures. Fuck yeah. Gail, I hope you can learn these. Okay, so he said there's a puzzle to the way forward. No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroican. Probably not joking about it. I'll do a quick scan to see if there's anything I'm missing in the room. It doesn't appear so. So we'll just lock pick it open. Easy. Hey, hey. Charlie Count, it sounds like maybe two more weeks. I'm going to try to finish it next week. But chat says I don't really have a chance of doing that. Uh-oh. He's never been very perceptive. Elminster, Silverhand, Carstus. Each door named after a powerful wizard. But what lies behind them? Ah! Quit that. Quit that. I saved just as I touched the cloud kill. Huh, what are all these fucking keys I got for? Oh, I think you simply can't open it while that button is being pressed. Okay. Very nice. So I got three of the trap disarm toolkits. There we go. Open lock. Lock picking impossible, you say? Okay. So there's some sort of gimmick to this, is there? Don't do that, Cordy. That's weird. Silver hand seems like it's just open. got it dude oh, okay that's it that's the advantage of that plus eight okay don't drink the gas all right so i think we got to do this room first oh shit oh no 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 okay evocation illusion transmutation Abjuration. Now, up above, there were several books that I said weren't important. One of them was about transmutation. I think I picked up that book. It might be a clue about what we got to do in here. Evocation is the one I picked up. 
This world of ours is rife with incredible power, the boom clap of lightning and thunder, the cycle of life and death inherent of flame, the flash of illumination and a ray of light. The devotee to the school of evocation dances along this power, guiding it with their own will. Key terms, elements, empowerment, creation, effect. Key concepts, fire, frost, thunder, light, and earth. Is that a clue? I'm thinking perhaps the strange spells we picked up might be useful. Oof. Gordius, be more perceptive, please. <laughs> oh! Alright, so each room is a trap in itself. Got it. So you're back in the invulnerability. Let's disarm that shit. Cool. That's alright. We'll take it. All right, so I believe that all the traps in this room have been deactivated. So we should be okay. The cloud is still there. Uh, you cannot pick these locks. And the only door we can seem to go into is Silverhand. So, using our knowledge of the wizards, Silverhand specialized in evocation, illusion, abjuration, or transmutation. What do you know about Silverhand? Gordius? Blinded. Nice roll. Not from Cyberpunk punk chat. God damn it. <laughs> Someday we could fail one, but we're doing great so far. Heed, 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 heed. This calls for careful footwork. God damn it, Gordius. If there's three in the six, I have the same spot. There might be a fourth in the same spot. Chat. Legitimate question. And if you're at work, don't do it. What happens if you Google Cyberhunk? All right, so um, my question to myself is, what is Silverhand's specialty? I mean, there is only one door that doesn't have a Z on it. So let's try the one door that's not a Z. Here we go. Damn, back to the entrance. Okay. Back to Silverhand. Um, I think we've tried illusion and abjuration. So let's try. Oh no, trans trans or transmutation is what we just did because it's not a Z. I think we tried evocation. So we got abjuration and illusion left. Let's try abjuration. Good. You're on the click right now. Okay, we've been in here before. Oh, we have not. This is a new one. This is a new one. Uh, he's so resistant to flame that did zero damage. I mean, was that forward though? You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe something good happens in that room. Let's go back in. Is 
this room. Fuck. All right, so illusion takes you back. Back to Silverhand. If we go into the e education room, that should be the fireball room. And it is. All right. While I stand on this button, nobody attacks me. It's when I leave that things go nuts. So why not let the mage hand do the work for you? You can do it, Mage Hand. Mage Hand has no bonus, bro. Okay, okay. Um, shit, it's actually not that useful here. Because the Mage Hand can't open any doors or anything. So I guess I could like conjure a, like a weight and keep the button depressed. Otherwise, at least things have stayed interesting. All right. Demon? Silver. Obviously, we're in the silver hand room still. Shadow. Let's try silver. Kyle, it's way too obvious, bro. And it's the only one that's not a Z. You'd be a fool to go in the room. Now we know that the no Z trick doesn't work. I'm doing silver. Oh, my God. All right. Cursed. wonder if the gods are watching me. Step carefully. There's a trap. <laughs> We saw one trap. Okay. Two carses. Walk here by the path to the Carsus vault. Cool. All right. One of three unlocked. Yeah, Gordius is way too imperceptive. Fuck. <laughs> to uh, handle this dungeon. Let's see. This dungeon is for a far more perceptive man than Gordius. All right. Um, and then I think Illusion takes us back to the start. Okay, so now Karsus' door should be open. Instead, it's Rama. Is it? Okay. No, that's where he came from. Got it, got it, got it, got it. There's Karsus. Through the gas. Okay, chat, do you think there are any traps or tricks in here? To the easy path. <laughs> All right, let's do a little Gordius leap to there. Okay, and a Gordius leap to here. Yeah, nice. All right, we see a great sword plus one, a uh, Merrigan halberd, a long sword plus one. We see a glaive plus one. We see a great axe plus one. Stacks of scrolls. And the Annals of Carsis. Chat says save. You got it. There's a great paradox amongst our kind. Who so value the art of learning that we believe ourselves ever cannier than the ones who came before? If envy is the disease of the artist, hubris is that of the wizard. Though I fear my warning will fall on deaf ears, I will say it again. The closer a wizard creeps to the domain of the divine, the closer oblivion creeps with him. I thought myself an equal to Mistra, and devised a plan to make myself her equal. I would pluck one strand of weave and contain it within an amulet I spent the better portion of my years devising. How regret that they heaved itself upon my head. I was trapped within the amulet instantaneously, and passed around from collector to curio hole for the better part of a millennium. Only now that I am freed with barely the strength to hold my quill, can I leave this final warning as testimony. Okay. 
So it sounds like something very bad can happen in this room if Chad is so insistent upon the save. Is D thrown a spell? Scroll of Dethrone. Shred a foe's very essence by pulling on strands of the weave. So cool. The book upstairs said there's a genie lamp behind a wall? Just that they had stashed it in the vault. I'm not sure if it was ever implied where it would be. Pain death is very funny. Put an ally in a protective coma. Now, this is the shit I would want to do if I'm playing D&D with friends. Wall of ice. Very rare. What's hiding here? Globe of invulnerability. Hell yeah. I mean, take it, because, I mean, we got these. Sunbeam, though, is really nice. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's open that book. My great spell of transcendence is mine alone. Not to be committed to ink and parchment, but I have also forged three supreme enchanted items that are the physical embodiments of my wizardry, and of them I shall make my record. There is a crown, an orb, and a scepter, each nigh alive and with its own power and purpose. And these I call the Regalia of Garces. The crown of Garces to attract to the orb and absorb magical knowledge and give the wearer dominion over himself so that he remains his own entity apart from the weave. The orb of Garces, a storage device or battery that condenses mystic power ever gathering so that it might be siphoned at intervals of its excess. And the scepter of casts, an instrument of projection, a focusing utensil, with the precise well wielding of unimaginably vast forces. Did I find the Tharsiate Codex? No, I have not found yet found the Tharsiate Codex. Um, none of these items you must, for if I fail to achieve immortality, they will persist, and dare I say, live on beyond me. Um, we need that shit. If we're to Quite use the crown... Knowledge hidden between these pages. We need the, the other two objects. The Codex is in the Elminster room he's yet to unlock. All right. Chabello? Quit panicking me. Quit, quit causing panic in me for things that have not yet been able to occur yet. Um, And I think I will leave the weapons alone. However, uh, we did get that neat spell, a double dip. Um, There's been no unlocking, right? I think if I go back to the first room nothing would happen so is there some sort of weapon puzzle here there's an empty rack so maybe we put something on the empty rack i don't know so weird yeah let's put that great axe plus Always one for more Oh, I don't think you can, like, do stuff like that. Where's that great axe? <laughs> Fuck. I got so much shit in this inventory. There you go. <laughs> Fine. You're super curious about the lamp. You've never found it. Crazy. Okay.
Maybe there was something about the way that the weapons were facing. How do I unlock the room across the way? Check behind the chests you saw earlier. Okay. Check behind the chests. These two, or perhaps you mean... Oh, those were the chests. Okay. Hey, we did say something about flat walls, didn't we? All the Dark Souls fans are saying, uh, a rudimentary, my dear streamer. Elementary, Kyle. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Elementary is a reference. My bad. I like rudimentary. You know what I mean? If you're just, if you're just asking me, like, what I like more, I like rudimentary. But yeah, I, I get that the quote is elementary. This tome recounts the experience of an unfortunate halfling forced to join the Seely Court during an ill-fated tour of the Beastlings. It is caked with dust and grime, yellowed feathers and black fur fall from between its pages. Beastial Communion. The Diva can cast Wrathful Smite, Revivify, and Concussive Smash. Chat, what's a Diva? Do I summon the angel? Remove cuss. Actually, I mean, we should probably have that shit. Just in case. I think somebody in our party does have remove curse. Lord Colin, we see you and we always will. Do take care to maintain utmost respect for the art. And our purposes need not cross. Signed by the collective, the cowled wizards of Aim. I swear it to be true, Lord Cohen. I was on the very cusp of joining my fellow mistress. All the ritual wouldn't crash. Right on top of me fell a gangle of tussled hair and magic most strange. Just then, something happened I could hardly describe. Soon forward was the weave. No, not the weave at all. That instead me. This fellow, I don't quite catch his, didn't quite catch his name. Uh, something with a T and a Q is a queen created some manner of anomaly that temporarily trapped me, twixt our world, and who knows where. Tell me, have you ever heard of such a thing? The Hurst. Now, chat knows the T and the Q. Chat's like, yeah, that's that's a stellar reference to, uh, Baldur's Gate 2. I feel my moments trickling by, a sense of me growing older, grayer, with every chiming of the bell. This morning, when I awoke, my back ached with such force I nearly cried out. Such indignity is a weight unless I can arrest in the process entirely. There are ways I wouldn't be the first, but the night song is so near. The magic so will prove in the drawback practically non-existent. This is my path, and every moment counts. Now, uh, something I'm realizing is that... Uh, there was an ice trap room too, right? We did the fire trap room from this door, but we didn't do the ice trap room. So I think the... Yeah. Okay, so only one of them is in illusory wall. Got it. Uh, I think I think our key out of there is... You don't really don't have to... <laughs> obviously not. Ooh! We almost had something there. No, don't even think of, about doing that again. Okay, so silver hand... Uh, abjuration? No, this is the fire room. Damn. Wow. Take me back to the start, right? Yep, silver hand. Uh, 
a vocation. Good. Okay, so silver hand evocation is a vulnerability, which is not gate, wish, or foresight. Now, evocation is the one I got the book for, actually. Okay, key concepts is, you know, fire, like elements, elements, elements is your empowerment, creation, effects. Okay, so what are our doors called again? Gate and vulnerability. Foresight, wish. Nothing to do with what I just read in that book. Uh, no, because you can honestly, you can, um, you can brute force this shit. It's not too bad. Uh, we've already done invulnerability. Uh... So I'm going to take Foresight. Not Foresight. Silverhand. Um, Evocation. Not invulnerability and not Foresight. So it's Wish or Gate. Ah, uh, let's take Wish. Hey, hey. A trap. Sixteen. Watch your time. We'll make it out of here. I'm watching my time. We'll make it out. We'll make it out. Don't you worry. We won't be stuck in here forever. Unlock nearby the path to the Elminster Vault. Okay, we open the path to the Elminster Vault. Be careful to exit the same way. Just to not activate any more traps. And then the foresight will take us back. Okay. So, uh, causes we've been through. Elminster. You little scallywag. Uh, let's do a just, just in case. A little hook. Walk to here. A little hook. Oh. <laughs> there are no fall deaths here. We'll save. More shit to steal. Gilded chest. Don't mind if I do. 235. Not a bad check of change. Minthara doesn't need to know about it. Necrotic resistance. Giant cloud giant strength. Malice. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Increase your creature strength to 27 is ridiculous, actually. It's ridiculous. Sorry, what was the last one? Coach your active web with poison. Chat says poison's bad. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Chat says poison sucks. And then what do we have here? The display case. I might just pick it open. Do you remember meeting Elminster? Yeah, he's the one who told. He was talking to Gale about the bomb in his chest. Come on, open up. Yeah, that was. I think that was like early. No, late Act One. It was late Act One, basically. It was just as we were about to like cross into the bridge that takes you to Act 2. Difficulty class 20. We might fail this a few times. Never mind. Yeah, that was Bob Wackett. That was all Bob Wackett. <laughs> the pages are covered in esoteric symbols and strange runes. Some indecipherable, but some strangely familiar. Your eyes are drawn to one page describing a long-lost book. You don't say. The Necromancy of Thay. There are secrets of life and death known only to the Red Wizards. <laughs> 
Committing such secrets to parchment is a risk they are loath to take, lest the unworthy gaze upon them. Who better than to guard their secrets than the spirits of the jealous dead themselves? To look upon the necromancy of Thay is to risk madness at the hands of its spirits. But the wise traveler who can read the line between life and death, will find knowledge witnessed by precious few mortals. The rest of the entry details the precautions and risks associated with reading the text, but lays out a clear path to unraveling the secrets contained in the tome. Yep. Now, hold on a moment. What is this? <laughs> Your constitution score is reduced by five while cursed by Thark Codex's warped arcana. Oh, no. Oh, that's a pretty big debuff, bro. Let's try to read that book, shall we? Arcana, bro. Who says arcana? Forgive me. Forgive me. I do. All right. Good luck, Gordius. The book radiates power, but the words you read in the Codex echo in your mind, guiding your eyes safely across the page. The once indecipherable glyphs now feel dangerously familiar, promising unholy power to those who can take it. Oh my gosh. Saving throw. Oh, we got a plus eight on this. We got a plus eight. I saved before we hacked the door open, I think. Or maybe I did save after even. I think we did. I think we saved after we opened the door even. Plus eight. Hey, here we go, Mojo. Easy, brother. Easy, easy, easy. Add bonus. Why not? What is this? Hero elixir of heroism? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I'm a hero. Okay. All right. All right, Buster. Okay, Buster Brown. Ooh. We're going to need that reroll probably. Let's see. Plus three. Damn. And that was a good roll on the potion, too. That was a good potion roll. So the potion is one to four additional. That's so fun, dude. All right, here we go. Two more retries. Oh, my God. Gordius just out here trying to make content right now. All right, Gordius. Get your shit together. There it is, Gordius. There it is, Mooch. We got it, bro. We got it. We got it, buddy. It's ours. All right, you got to get off the armrest. You got it. You're not. Yeah, it's not stable, bro. Find sound footing. Okay. Here we go. As you pass the strange glyphs, you can feel the book resisting. Ghostly voices whisper at you from the dark, probing and fighting your mind. But your will is iron, and you brush past these shades of the past, devouring every secret the book has to offer. You see now life and death are malleable as clay. Oh my god. And reshaped by your will. Gordius, no. Your power. Oh, Gordius. You close the book and nagging doubt whispers in your mind what consequences will there be for calling the dead from their rest anyone
chat. Anyone? <laughs> yeah, that's complete now. The power to summon powerful Thayan undead is ours. We got a new ghoul icon. Dance Macabre. Create four ghouls that fight alongside you. Level five necromancy spell. So perhaps not as cool as lore wise, like narrative wise, not as cool, but that's a, that's a good, like, we're going to do that every time we're in a tough fight. Doesn't use a spell slot is nice. Really? It says necromancy spell. Um, however, we do seemingly have this, uh, curse. Let's, uh, I guess I got that, that scroll, right? I have an undo curse spell scroll. And I think Gale, hey, look who leveled up, by the way. I think Gale has a spell. Gail, show me your shit. I can recognize this image projection spell from your studies. Though you'd expect a great wizard to execute it less shortly. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Um, Gail, do you have Dispel? No, who has it? Who's got Dispel? Maybe Minthara? That would make sense. Shit, no, it's not her. Hmm. Alright, so what I should do is... Minthara can remove curses, chat. Okay. Maybe it's not a spell slot thing. Those are just your prepared spells. Got it. So, Minthara has removed curse. It's just not prepped. Yep, there it is. Good looking out. Um, command never fucking works. You should try it, though. Okay. We'll get rid of that one. Put this in. Put, cannot prepare spells at this time. Got it. No, get rid of that one. There we go. Great. All right. So, Gordius, let's get you back upstairs. What? No, no, no. Gordius. No, Gordius. Still alive. There we go. So that's progress. I think we're done down here, yeah? We did not find the genie lamp. I used remove curse on myself to get rid of that and then got some weird bug where I got extra hit points after long rest for the rest of the game. That's a good bug. There are many, there are so many secret rooms in here. Make sure you find them before you leave. All right, well chat, we're at midnight. We're at when we normally end a stream, right? So what I would ask you is like, that should work. Just kill. <gasps> Cloud kill, of course. Uh, maybe this way? Can carry me. No. Yeah, this, this seems like a prime spot for a hidden... Uh... <laughs> when will that cloud go away? Damn. 
none of those actually. Was there one door out of the portal room? I can check that. Um, oh yeah, look at this shit. Look at that shit. That's a really good theory. I like that. That's a big flat wall. <laughs> well, you have to perceive it to believe it, chat. <laughs> DM has insisted upon this. <laughs> All right. All right. Shoot, I can't even like get up there. Super get the Yankee jump. Time to bring everyone down. Oh my God, chat. All right, oh, we'll do it. No, promise me it's worth it. I mean, I guess it's a fucking genie lamp. I guess it is worth it. All right. We can't get everyone down. Well, I guess the door is open already. Let's keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. Mm-hmm. That's why this is annoying, chat. <laughs> All right. Gail, can you distract the robot? We're not getting everybody down. It's not happening. Hopefully they sell it. I know, and I know, I know, but we're gonna have a lot of levels up soon, so we might as well do everybody at once. Okay, Lazel, come over here. Do you see anything? Something over there. Hey. She's still creeping. Good job. Repositioning. You're the main character. Curious. Ooh. Stop it. Acorn truffle, forget about it. Take all of those. Those look precious. Display case. Oh, we're gonna need uh, a lot on my mind. Gordius's little fingers. And well, in it. Bet I can crack that open. And then I'm guessing uh, one of the those chests does lead to uh, a secret space. Ooh, that's a good roll, Mordius. All right, what do we got here? That book we're about to read. Before her time as an exarch of Tempest, the goddess and goddess of strategy, the Red Knight was a paladin most devout. She touted armies the world over as both student and teacher, and thus was she elevated by Tempest to her current status. These pages contain that of her, which was left on the material plane after her ascension. Give that spell. Yes. Artistry of war. How cool, dude. Summon the apparitions of six master strategists. Each apparition strikes a target of your choosing, dealing 8 to 18 force damage on hit. Great. Gail's got... He's gonna be so excited when he learns all the weird shit we found down here. Old monster, we got it, but we'll take the 400. Gail, it was so cool. Gail, it was so cool down there. Moving in. There's like a... It looked like you'd fall down a pit, but there was actually like this light that would protect you. Oh, I used the key. Shit. We found chat's favorite bone shard. Let's have a look. Still a pass. Walk behind the chest. You saw me walk behind that chest. That's our one. <gasps> Is 
suppose we could give it to Rub. Why not give it to Rub? Curse to put my hands on everything. You've arrived in the nick of time, saintly adventurer. I've been trapped for so long, I dare say I'm half mad. <laughs> oh, this is an unreliable Thank genie. You. This genie will fuck you up. Sacrificing yourself to save me. Such courage brings a tear to the eye. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No, 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 it's, you've made yourself clear. Oh, we picked up on something that happened here. Look at this shit. Warlock knowledge. Free me, bro. Bob, save me. You have a patron. Wondrous! I'm sure it will happily take your place. But until someone swaps with you, I'm afraid you're stuck in here. Toodles! That shit is so funny, bro. We gotta summon Bob Wackett to uh, trade places with us. Better Joker than Suicide Squad Joker. Okay, chat. Ooh, that's cool. Summon a familiar with the form of a closet that can turn invisible and scare enemies. Permanent. Hell yeah. Can anyone learn that or is that Gale only too? He said Toodles, which is something. Toodles is an absolute Joker thing to say. Potion of flying, oil of combustion, yellow dye. I do like my dyes. A lot of grapes. Potion of supreme healing. We'll take that. Don't mind if I do. I do. I like how the potions have different sizes too. Get it, Gordius. Get that potion. Okay. Now. How would a man so bold and brave and clever as Gordius find his way out of a lamp? He could choose to go to bed. Our problem is, um, Lazel was just wandering around. You know what I mean? Like, Lazel's not going to just walk into a wall. Okay. No good. A little Jenny Diddy. If you were trapped in a magic lamp, you wouldn't like it a bit. It's tiny and stuffy and oily and damp. And you've had to be shrunk to fit. You sit here and ponder your only hope. That some other fool will enter, then you'll get out, but the entering dope. We'll find that they're the lamp's new enter. Okay, alright, alright. So... I feel like, yeah, the solution is to swap to another party member. Swap with Gale is not an option right now, chat. We don't rely upon Gale. Perhaps the geometry is a clue. There's some sort of tube. The tube is the clue, chat. If I can just get out of that tube, I'll get out of the lamp. Kyle, the tube is the lamp, dude. Do you see the geometry now? Oh, yeah, that's that's cool as hell. So, yeah, if we can just crawl out of the tube, we'll leave the lamp. <laughs> can we hire someone from Withers and then trap them? Now, here's my problem, chat. Here's my problem with that. That's breaking RP. Right now, nobody knows what happened to Gordius.
Right now, nobody knows. Oh, that medium toughness is something, dude. You can solo this. I agree. I think there. I think there is some solution here. There's something to this room. Perhaps it hides in like one of these uh, long lists of fruits and potions, you know? So the oil of dimin diminution would make us small, perhaps? Potion of flying, I'm also thinking about? We could already fly. So maybe we make ourselves some guileful movement, combustion. Yeah, let's uh, let's do oil of diminuate diminution. <laughs> diminution, I guess. Sure. Let's take a peek at that bad boy. Love the music in here, by the way. Coach your weapon in oil. No. Not what we were hoping for. Maybe we summon that little imp? Did I already pick up stuff? Lots of stuff, yes. Yeah, we might have to give ourselves up to that. Or we might have to uh, make that poor little imp take our place. You know what, I kind of want that anyway. Guileful movement, dude. I think we gotta summon the imp. Poor guy. Try it. Gordius cannot summon an elemental. I did not teach that to him. to save chat's idea is to uh have these bad boys take the spot you want to try it fuck yeah look <laughs> at this fucking pose bro <laughs> And he's like, where's that fucking genie? <laughs> so it's just if you touch it. Just if you touch it. Damn. All right. I'm not trying to fast travel. I'm just trying to rest. I'm just trying to rest. Get a ghoul to touch it. Oh my God. Yeah. So there is a ghoul outside. Ghoul, touch peculiar lamp. It won't do it. It won't do it. Touch the lamp. Don't think they can. Um. So we obviously, obviously we can reload. Uh. But no, no RP. She so can't find them. Okay. Yeah, we gotta reload then. <laughs> Gordius, where are you? All right, uh, reload. 
Blazel can mage hand because she's a gith, but she doesn't know where Gordius is right now. You can kill the genie? Is the genie still down here? If you have the party outside near the lamp. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it is too late for that, unfortunately. Okay. Don't touch the lamp. Don't touch it. <laughs> this poor fucking guy. No way. No way. That feels so bad. Yeah, you can't tell them to touch things. Devour seems good, dude. Damn. Use Mage Hand to free the fourth ghoul. Okay, let's try that. Live in more interesting times. Oh my god. Alright, so Gordius comes out here. Let's out! <laughs> It's not, you're not gonna fucking you're not gonna fucking believe this. Come over here. Black it's well be done. What? Onward. Go and go and look in there. <laughs> what the fuck? Use mage hand. Uh-huh. Can't touch it. Can't touch this. Did I save after picking up all those items? Yes, we did. I saved before summoning these guys. Um, all right, cool. I guess that's all we can do. I have to accept that. Eager for battle. Consider me intrigued. No one back home will ever believe this. Oh, can I dismiss them? <laughs> I think I gotta leave them down here in this wizard basement for now. <laughs> Seems simple enough. And once you unsummon With them, haste. it breaks. How cool. Now he doesn't have like a little unsummon icon. So if the if the lamp is empty, it just breaks. That's crazy. Uh why am I leaving them behind? Just because we're trying to be inconspicuous in the bookstore. Shit. They're here. Uh. <laughs> you don't stay behind? <laughs> You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order. Right. I'll be on my way. Now you, Lazo. Actually, let's get Gale, the master distractor, to talk to this robot. Great. All right, Lazo. Eager for battle. Proceeding. You've wandered into a forbidden area. You sense it might be time to leave. Right. I'll be on my way. On my way. Great. <laughs> all right, team. Link up. Hey, all right. all right. All right, let's level everybody up. Crazy Gordius is the one who's behind. Gordius needs some XP right now. Class features. I love passives. Improved extra attack. You can make two additional attacks after attacking. Oh my God. That is so unnecessary. And we love you for it. Thank you, game. That's nice. That's nice. I accept. I accept these terms. She looks so cool in this armor. Congratulations, Gale. Level six spell slot. Oh, he's about to learn some crazy, crazy shit. Because most of those scrolls we have are level sixes. So we have Disintegrate. 
Um, High Blight we don't have. Flesh to stone. Atrophy of foe. Restraining them until they temporarily turn to stone. Oh my god, until they do? Create undead. Circle of death, we got a scroll for that. Chain lightning, we got a scroll for that. Arcane gate, no scroll for that. We got Odalug's freezing sphere. We don't have the irresistible dance. I agree. I think we got to pick that up. Um, Wall of ice, we got. All right. So I think the only other level six spell I might be interested in is this weird like eye bite one. Everything else we have a scroll for. And arcane gate. That's actually arcane gate's probably sick as hell. I bet that I bet you can really fuck the game up with that shit. Let's do that too. Except. The dance is perfect for a clown mage. <laughs> the gold dome, we got that. We actually have a scroll for that. Improved Divine Smite. Don't even worry about it. I never use it. Level 3 spell slot? Sure. Oh, so she can just prep another one. Got it. Now we also have some gear to distribute. Um, can I organize by type? Yes. We have a really nice... Circlet of Hunting for our new archer. Minthara. Uh, let's get you that bow equipped. Great. Um, otherwise, all good. I think we got a new ring for her, too. Yeah, Risky Ring. Honestly, Risky Ring is for Gordius. Hell yeah. Why not give that to our hero, Lysel? Genie ring. That We stole that from the other genie. I think it was pretty cool that because Gordius is a warlock, he's like, he understood the genie's trick immediately. He's like, I know what you, I know what you fucking did. God damn it. Yeah, and then let's give Gale all those scrolls. You have a ring on Gale that's got Paralyzing Ray. Right. There you go, bud. Uh, well, I guess it makes sense to give, like, let's give that to Minthara, actually. Because she is kind of, her shit kind of sucks. All right. Gale, wait till you see all this shit, dude. Uh, Artistry of War. Bestial Communion. Blight. Blur. Chain Lightning Gale! Circle of Death Gale! Are you, are you pumped or what, dude? Conjure Elemental, you know it already. Oh, but you know what we could do? Like, in a dire circumstance, free Elementals without having to waste a spell slot, we just get to stack Elementals. Dethrone Gale! How stoked are you? Globe of Invulnerability Gale! Old monster you got. I'm going to sell all these other skulls. Seeming, we don't... You don't need a Gale. Sunbeam! Sunbeam Gale! Oh, it looks freezing sphere Gale! <laughs> Gale! Wall of ice! Alright, Gale's happy. Alright. I think we're good with our distributions of gear. I'm happy with everyone's look. I think Minthara needs new armor before anyone else. Lazel's current look is iconic. I can't see this ever improving. Gordius is accepting like this weird demonic blood armor is kind of nice. Um, so if Gale, maybe if we get something a little more clownish for Gale, we would put that on. Um, but yeah, Minthara, Minthara could use a boost. Though this is a boost. That's a boost. <laughs> Gale's 11 armor class. It's the best we got for him. Haven't seen anything better. You're checking Gale's hype level with the scrolls like your dad was at the game. Chat? Rude and accurate. I accept. <laughs> I'm like, Gale, you don't seem very excited. What's going on? 
And Gail's just like, well, I've been through a lot. You're like, Dude, just understand the context of this, please. <laughs> Fucking dark clown mage Gale. All right, chat. We are way over time. Let us, uh, let us save and end it there. I am feeling really good right now, though. Oh, sorry. One more thing to do before the save. I am listening. Would you please remove the curse from Gordius? There we go. Wolf. Now we can save. These <laughs> guys. They're just a part of the team now. What I like was um link him up. All right, I mean yeah we we escaped. Link him up. <laughs> the book was hard to read. We actually we actually had to pass some tough uh, checks to even get to that page of the book. Um, I'm wondering if when you once you find the codex, it like automatically like you read the whole book no problem. But um, that was a pretty cool resolution to something that began hours and hours and hours and hours and hours ago. Uh, we can cast dance on someone later. I don't think he, I don't think he's even got a prep. Yes. For now. Next time. Next time. I gotta get rid of this shit. Everett's black tentacles is not as cool as I thought it would be. Gotta be honest. All right, chat. That was a fun romp. No, we did not come close to completing the game as I intended today. And as I spent this day not coming close to completing the game, it is clear to me that we might not even possibly um, complete it next week. No doubt. Uh, yes. But there's been fun shit. And also, like, we're not we're not doing every possible thing. We are not 100%ing the game. So it's not like I'm doing everything I possibly can and wasting all of our time. You know, we just, uh, we do the things that interest Gordius, first and foremost. It's good shit. Most of us thought you'd still be in Act 2 at this time. So at least we're, we're slightly ahead of schedule. Are we going back for those spines next week? No, there's no stealth kills in this game. We'll simply have to accept that there was a time in Gordius's history that he tried to do a comedy battle with a comedian and failed and lost. What is the hour count for the save at this point? Interesting question. Fifty-three. Not bad. That's not bad. I thought that would have been higher. I thought that would have been way higher. That's good. 53 hours in. Just a few more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, easy mode's been nice. Easy mode has been really, really nice. And like even like uh, that robot battle, that wasn't super easy, right? Like, that was still like we had to think about it and use our best shit and reposition ourselves and stuff like that. Uh, so I would say even on easy, on, on difficulty explorer, uh, it's still fun. You know what I mean? You're still like, you're still pumped to have more experience or, uh, hit points or anything like that, you know? You've played 700 hours of this game. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Dan on the couch, you have arrived just in time for the stream to end i gotta make you a vip what are you doing just popping into the stream right at the end uh what do i think i do i think i do forward slash vip yep dan on the couch there we go. Dan on the couch is my friend Dan, who you may have seen play Pokemon Emerald with me for 12 hours. Play the song. Oh my god, okay. It's a critical hit! <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Let's go. <laughs> That's the wake up song. Um, uh, Chad, thank you so much. Uh, Friday stream. Friday will be uh, more DC Universe online. More adventures of Maguana, the lizard woman whose main power is her incredible bite force. Uh, however, she did catch the attention of the Joker. She is the Joker's protege. One of many, but still, like, the Joker is her master. So, like, she's kind of a big deal in the criminal world. Uh, we'll be playing more of that game. <laughs> I'm just kind of having a really good time with it at this time. You know what I mean? It hasn't, to me, like, slowed down or become uninteresting yet. Uh, Friday will be a stream in which I try to fix the Dreamcast that is currently blinking out sometimes because of some power connectors. So we're completely, uh, replacing the power source. I can go full cam, the noises are annoying me. Um... <laughs> this shit, bro. And that, like, here's my- chat. Here's my actual question to you. Will this change at all before Friday stream? Or will I start Friday stream and this will be up there? What do you th what do you think is the actual like what is the possibility to actually clean that shit up? And twenty percent, yeah, that feels about right. Gravity might just handle it for me. That's a good point. You know what I mean? Like if you just let it let it just <laughs> let it fix itself. Uh. So, um, yeah, and also we do have a Tetris cup. We'll probably do that Saturday. We'll see. Friday or Saturday. Whatever, whatever feels right. Um, we got to get that Princess Peach skin for our, for our Tetris uh, 99 background. Um, all right. Thank you so much, everybody. Super fun Monday. A lot of really cool shit happened in the game today, and I feel like, uh, Chat gives me just enough guidance, right? Like, we try to figure our stuff out, you know what I mean? We try to, like, happen upon things as they come. Um, nobody had any problems with me killing the mermaids, so it seems like we're all on the same page here. So, yeah, that was a, that was a fun playthrough today. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I mean. This game has some weird quests, man. Really, really weird stuff. Uh, that was fun. That was a fun day of... uh. Baldur's Gate. So, thank you everybody. Looking forward to Friday. Looking forward to Saturday. There will be a new delayed input on Friday as well. And uh, hopefully no more April Fool's jokes anywhere. Hopefully they're all done. I think at this time, at, at 12.34 a.m. Eastern Time, I think we made it. We survived another April Fool's Day. Great, everybody. Thank you very much. Enjoy yourselves this week. And I appreciate you. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. Tie your shoes.